All right, here we go. Wait, kick the music, man. We good with that. Yeah, we good. We good, man. Yeah. On another mission, time to run them duffels up. Quarterback and running plays, I tell my niggas huddle up. Then I move the ball around, side on like Pac Mahomes. Coach hit me on the helmet, nothing play came through the man. phone. Vet how I oh, read yeah. the zone. Yeah, Threat yeah. in the streets, I run. Custom protocol got me mixing what I'm drinking on. Smoking like I'm cheating chon, serving what they tweaking on. Never too much soda, only dope is in my beaker home. I told boss, I've been a ziplock boy. I got some homies in the loot that like to push that boy. I got some fam that's in the lamb that like to move that snow. And I got fam that like to scam, and I'm tied in like rope. Yeah, feel good to be a gritter. This shit is just not in me. Look, it's on me. Look, nigga, the you're on my feet. 200 on the teeth. Take me out the hood and still can tell a nigga street. I'm the nigga with the D. Crip hustler from the three. I don't get it out of rap, but I get it out the street. Co hustler in this game, little nigga. Swear to God, I stay motivated. You keep winning and they losing, so you know they ain't. Oh, that KC shit, nigga. I'm a KC crook, I don't need no hook. I'm a KC crook, I don't need no hook. I'm a zip block boy, Gucci flip flops boy. Bad bitch rolling zips, so that chips a hoy. No nine to five, used to sell soda and hockey dives. Now I sell elbows, have security pies. You ride with the ooze, huh? Now you ain't gonna lose, huh? Y E E Z Y on your shoes, huh? OG professor, nigga, I'm teaching the step. So Coca Cola 30 in my Dr. Pepper. Lee Wood in your bitch like a massive splinter. If that nigga out already, Ready, boy, that's master splinter. Hustle summer to winter. We gon' eat like dinner. Got boy and girl just like Caitlyn Jenner. In the 9 hole 30, I think the 40 hole 17. Surrounded by birdies, greens, and methamphetamines. I want the cheddar cheese, yeah, I want the glue, nigga. Check the scoreboard again, cuz the shooter, nigga. Shout out to Rich the Fact. I'm where the Grizzlies at. Henny and Remy Yak. We ride like pickets. Oh, we about to turn this thing up. <laughs> this thing about to be turned up in a minute, man. We got. Got a lot to talk about today, you know what I mean? But I gotta, I'm just trying to get my mind right. Yes. yes. Get my mind right. Wait till y'all pal in here, man. We about to clothesline somebody, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I heard this rap shit being dry as fuck without me, nigga. You hear me? Yeah, I go. Yeah, I go. Yeah, I go. I'm hey. back, nigga. Hey. You already know the town. Been trying to sound like other niggas for years, man. West Coast. West Coast. Yes, Down south Atlanta. south Atlanta. So I had to double back real quick and show these niggas what that authentic Kansas City street shit sound like. You hear me, baby? KC, yeah. yeah. KC, yeah. Nigga, tap in. I'm back then at the gas station. Oh, Cush lit. Hennessy privilege like Caucasians. Yeah. Hustler. Yeah. No money wrinkle like five raisins. Bad bitch riding shoddy. Box wet and her eyes Asian. Yeah. Big fish. My niggas killer whales and sharks. sharks. Trying to dodge rat snakes, prison cells and narcs. Let them glizzy spark. Nigga, we bite. Y'all yeah, we starting to move some people in here, man. I'll turn him down a little bit, man. But I just want to let y'all know, man. I want to let y'all know, man. Today, we're going to say it. We're going to rest in peace to high value men. That that term is done. Rest in peace. After tonight, I don't want to hear not another motherfucker say it. High value motherfucker, man. We, we not doing that. Oh, you nasty, huh? Niggas ran online, but never at me, huh? I ain't scared to use them shit. We can box, nigga. So a loser if I lose gunshots, nigga. We gon' hustle, nigga. We gon' grip. Lil' cuz out the window screaming, that's on crap. KC fitted in some Yeezys, nigga. D-boy drip. Motivation came from young Jeezy, Nipsey, and Rich. Making money like Mitch. Got no love for a snitch. Fuck the love. What's good, everybody? What's happening with it? What's happening with it, man? You know, um, I always say, uh, I knew for some reason, man, when I, every time I do a review on somebody, this shit just come back. You know what I mean? I think I may have to do a Rolo too or something. Cause like it, it, it's, it's gotten pretty bad. It's gotten pretty bad, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know? it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really gotten pretty bad. Yeah. Really uh, bad. Really bad. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to everybody in the house, man. Uh we up in this bitch, man. We up in this bitch. So uh yeah, I got I got the I got the I just downloaded it. So uh if you want to start talking to them first without uh uh unless you want to yeah. talk okay, nah, yeah. nah, you know now nah, we, we we can talk about this real quick. So for everybody, I mean this is just the intro of the of the of the, of the show. Um support the show. 
Um, if this is your first time in, go ahead and subscribe. I don't know what channel you on, but it's running on both channels. So subscribe, like, that's how we rock. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, today we're going to review this Fresh and Fit had on, uh, what is this, Destiny? And, yeah, and uh, Fresh Fit, Destiny, Sneeko, and uh, Rolla Tomasi. Rolla Tomasi. Yeah, and, and, and to be honest with you, man, I you know, I don't, I mean, look, we all are here talking this man stuff, but some is true and a lot of it is fake. Like, And this is where, this is where the fake come in. I want you guys to notice something. Do y'all see people reviewing Steve Denny? Do y'all see people reviewing Lucario? Now, what they'll do is they'll try to talk shit about Lucario or they'll try to talk shit. But what they won't do is review and, and challenge what we're saying. It's a reason. And a lot of the reason is, is because a lot of these individuals, and I'll say individuals, because they're not, you know, it's not a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of these individuals don't want to see us with, with a, on a, with a head to head matchup when it comes to what we're talking about. You can't you can't challenge the truth, and so that's a lot about what happened, man. But we can get it started, man. We we can we got a lot to a lot to cover. We here. got a lot, to unpack, a lot to unpack. But guys, if y'all want to call in, the number is live. Y'all can call in if y'all have questions and stuff like that, or y'all want to contribute and then or challenge or debate the high value man. Guys, if y'all have questions, uh, please put a Q and we will answer any questions y'all have as well. Shout out to everybody in the in the building that's listening, all those coming in. All right, so let me grab this motherfucker. Oh, uh, let's see. So is there a time stamp where you want me to go at? Where, it, it, is there no, nah, I, I know we start from the beginning, man. I, all right, I don't we, even... all right, we start from the beginning because I know when we get to like the 150, that's where Rolo comes we'll, in. We'll skip up. We'll skip up. Right we, we, now, I just want to hear a little bit of the show. No, it's all you, brother. Oh, okay, yeah, let me grab this yeah, yeah, yeah. right quick. Here we go. Here we go. So here we go right here. Hey, we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. We're here with two special guests, Destiny and Sneeko. You already know it's about to be an argument. Let's Rumble get into it. Let's go. You can fast forward, yeah. Well, over there, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta, you I gotta know. pause it real quick. I, I will say... Uh, fresh and fit, you know. I, don't, I disagree a lot, but what I'll say is that, that intro is is dope. I, I got, I got, I got to give credit where credit is due, man. The, the Miami Vice, the 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 Scarface feel. I got to give him some credit. <laughs> okay, yeah, dope. I, I like dope. that shit. The gen, yeah, the gen, short, yeah, make it, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, it's also oh, an audible if, if you wanted to. But me, like, uh, when you ready to stop? Just just stop me. Just, yep. you know, okay. Um, all right, cool. So uh, why guys, don't you do an audio book of it? Have you? Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's an, an audio book. book yeah, and, oh, I, and I narrate it as well. Beautiful. Yeah. And there is an Easter egg in there. If you let microwaves, you might hear it. All yeah. right, moving on, smartly. Yeah, 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 smart, <laughs> I, I want you to voice your own book. I will. Uh, <laughs> I will. I'm not perfect. perfect. No, 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 network, bro. I'm not perfect. <laughs> but I'll, I'll get it done, though. All right. All right. Uh, yo, <laughs> we know who you guys are, but welcome to the goddamn show. Introduce yourselves. I'm tired of your faces yeah, at this point. Go, I see you guys go, all the time, but yeah, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Go ahead. Welcome back. No, go ahead. Ladies first joke. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Rumble.com slash Sneeko. Make sure to follow. I'm doing uh, pretty well over there. Ban on most things. You got uh, here we go. No, but <laughs> the CEO network is better than Creativity Kit. No. Uh, not yet. No, I wanted, hold on. I wanted to uh, see yeah, it. You can oh, man, I want you to rewind it. Remember I told you, I, I, in the beginning of this, of this show, I seen mm -hmm. Sneeko grab this man's hand, dog, a couple okay, of times. Okay, where, what point did he grab the hand at? That was like right in the beginning. That's what I wanted to see from the beginning. Oh, cool, Rewind it. I think they was talking about books or whatever. All right, right in the beginning. Uh, yo, we know who you guys are, but welcome Not to the goddamn show. It was before that. Back, uh, hardcover He's and rocking. all. It's only 86 pages. I, it should be wrong right here. I just gave one to Salim. Women deserve less. I just gave one to Salim because Salim, is, he calls me a lot about girl problems. And he, call, he talks to you about yeah. stuff like this, too. I'm like, bro, you really need to read this book. And he read, he read some pages of the beach. <laughs> and his attention span is terrible, but he was actually starting to pay attention. I think he's nice. going to finish it. Yeah, man. I mean, that's why I made it short because it's like targeted towards like younger people. Yeah, retards. I, yeah. yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Well, no. towards younger people, because young TikTok. people don't like to read. Yeah, the gen, yeah, the gen shorts it, make it. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, it's also an audible. And, and fifth, real quick, you do understand that uh, he was in the twenty one convention. Uh, Myron was in the twenty one convention uh, four years ago in the audience. He wasn't. I, he I wasn't. Didn't know that. He was a. Yeah, he he he. Uh, I, I I met it because he was in the audience. He wasn't game to fuck up, so he, he had no game. He, he, he was in the audience watching shit. 
So he he never had any game. So just understand all the shit he's saying is is full of shit because he, he just regurgitate. But you will see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Mm -hmm. If y'all wanted to, but um, all right, cool. So uh, why guys, don't you do an audio book of it? Have you? Hey, yeah, shout, out to, uh, seven, six, yeah. two, oh, shout out to seven six two. And I it well. Shout out to seven six two Ghost for the five dollar cash app. I appreciate that, brother. Oh wait, yeah, seven, wait, and he folks, uh, thank you very much, and I'll catch up if I missed your um. I just want to say thank you for that. Thank and you. I'm gonna do King's Ranch. You're right. I got to do that. I got to do King's Ranch. Hey, comment on 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 this video when we're done, and then that way I can log it in for. I'm gonna I'll try to do that next week. Yeah, I just want to say if I missed your super chat, I apologize. Uh, I'm just uh, I was getting everything together. So if I missed your super chat, I'm sorry. I'm going down and, and I'm gonna correct it. But yeah, just we got you guys. But thank you. We appreciate the super chats and all this other stuff. So here we go. I'm trying to wait for the touch. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, you know, it's an Easter that, egg in there. Feel like microwaves. You might hear it. All right, moving on smartly. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I want you to voice your own book. I will. Uh, I will. <laughs> I'm not perfect. To, no, 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 network, bro. I'm not perfect. <laughs> but I'll, I'll get it done, though. All right. All right. Uh, yo, we know who you guys are, but welcome to the goddamn right, show. Maybe this. I don't know. What's up, bro? I said, maybe it's after this. We play it through. Let's see. Yo, I, I, I seen it. I know for time. sure. Yeah, I apologize yeah, myself. Go ahead. Welcome back. No, go ahead. Ladies first show. Yeah, that's you. No, that wasn't it, right? Hell no. It was a pure grab. <laughs> Rumble.com slash Sneeko. Make sure to follow. I'm doing uh, pretty well over there. Ban on most things. You guys already know. It's going to be back. And I and, and real quick, for all those that don't know, y'all could go to my react my receipts page and see me teaching Sneeko game live on the air. So just to let y'all know that these motherfuckers can't touch yeah, me. He, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. I pulled I pulled his uh, hair designer, whatever the fuck is his, his, his makeup woman or some shit live on the air but here we go guys here we go look forward to this debate today i just i had a long vasectomy surgery i'm a little bit sore a little bit tired I can't stand properly but uh, i snipped up and i'm ready to be a high value man where's your purple here it's coming tomorrow got it hey, he's being an asshole right there he can do that uh, also creativity <laughs> no, yeah the creativity the second one is out now right the, the 2.0 2. 2. yeah yeah what's the difference between the 2.0 and the 1.0 it's way better see, see awesome. pause it pause it and i'm gonna and i'm gonna say this i, I gotta tell everybody in the chat 50 will never be around <laughs> none of these motherfuckers. But especially this motherfucker in the blue hair. Let me just, let me just tell you, dog, that's against all of my beliefs and expectations of men. I will never ever in my entire existence be around that guy. And he was the guy that told the principal. He was the guy that I dug in his pockets and told him, don't move or you're going to get the real of it. Yeah. And he went and told. This is this is the type of guy. He's the goofball that will go up to your girl and tell her, hey, you know, he has, he talks to several women. I just wanted to, you know, I just, I, hey, I just want to make sure you knew because, because I, don't, I think it's wrong. That's him. He's a bitch ass nigga, man. And, uh, and he was a book guy sitting in front of the class that I used to throw paper balls at. I used, to, I used to, you know, a little straw back of your head in the back of the class. That was him. Well, go ahead, Steve, man. That That's his bitch ass. I, I couldn't stand motherfuckers like that. Oh, let me go. Fuck. Hit the wrong button. Here we go. And people are, they're happier with it. The yeah. first one was a little bit of a mess. It was more childish, but this one we have, it's more professional. What's you better? exclusive meetups. I see on the Twitter videos, you like hang out with your dude sometimes, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're doing a, a meetup in Miami soon. And mm, there you go. a lot of actually people have been doing meetups in the creativity kit on their own. They've set up their own dinners and stuff like that without even like me controlling it. Out, it's been cool, cool to see. Like, uh, shout out to our dog, Zag. I'm off my, my nigga, man. That's my nigga. Yeah, Zag. We got love. I'm motherfucking dog. I'm motherfucking dog, Zag, man. Oh, no. We ain't doing this today. Don't be. Don't, well, question. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Real nah, quick, guys. Uh, we two can't. Games, one. No, no, bro. I think we, it's no, we got to go. Dude. I know we got to go, dog. Playground, dude. He looked like a pedo, too, for right. Mr. 950. I make her call me dad. I like that. Bit, okay. dude. That's awesome, bro. All right, brother. We'll call throw you back dad. in. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got it. We got to keep this going, dog. We got to keep this going. We got a lot to talk about. Shout out to our dogs. Uh, that people find like minded individuals because the, the number one. The number one bonus about that is the fact that a lot of people in their hometown, they just have a bunch of losers and they just kind of bring each other down. They're not really progressing. So you need to go find people online that have similar ideas. And it's, it's hard to find that immediately if you don't have clout. So I think groups like this 
are really helpful for those people. Nice. What cool. is the cost on that? Creativity Kit 2.0. Same price. What, what was that? $50 a month. Less than a cup of coffee a day. <laughs> is I'm it- uh, YouTube.com slash Destiny. I don't have a Creativity Kit yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, you should Insta- speak in it. They would like to hear from you. And uh, yeah, anytime. Invite me over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instagram.com slash Destiny as well. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got for now. Okay. Okay. Enough. Lovely. Uh, okay. Yeah, y'all rushed us through that just to say that. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> well, to get into the debate, it's an other uh, microphone yeah, yeah, plug, yeah, plug, yeah, plug. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. whatever. They already know us, right? Yeah. Like, do we really need to say the links and stuff? I just got to say one thing, though, real quick, just so you know. What? The CEO network is better than Creativity Kit. Oh, God. Ooh, I what's the CEO network? CEO network. CEO. Well, they're different. They're they're not uh, they're the same. I'm not saying what you mean. They're just fucking lolly. The King Happy Kingdom by MLD. I agree. I agree. Uh, marriage calls divorce. Does Destiny have a prenup? If not, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I hear uh, Tombstone, sneak up, beloved husband, Destiny, blue hair, and shared my wife with another man. Okay, fantastic. Hey, what what the why, fuck? why Tombstone? What the uh, fuck? Tombstone. Oh, Tombstone. 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 He said, What's up, my brother? I text you. Okay. All right. Let me see what's up. All right, um, no, you can play it. Uh, Destiny right. prenup, and then what do we got here? Eric Johnson, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thanks, FNF, especially Myron. You have given uh, back to me what I lost in a 10-year relationship. You are the father I never had. Authority, Bruh. confidence, self-respect, return, relationship with women restored. All right, man, great great to, to hear that, bro. I appreciate that greatly. Um, when Big Act coming back would be cool, uh, Destiny and AK. That would be great to see. Dude, I fucking love. He, he watches all your shit. He, he likes never. watching your content, yeah, too. Yeah, I watch his shit, too. That guy's like, li- bro, did you catch the shit where he was talking about his... Is it his ex or are they still dating? Selena Powell? I don't know. Listen, man. I like, Dude, I, when, he, when he was telling that story, yeah. she faked getting an abortion, right? She faked taking a plan B, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. And so you, might, you might want to make a small so they can see There's so the much camera. drama to this. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, I think a week later, after they'd figured everything out, she caught him fucking around again. And then she said, I didn't actually get the abortion, motherfucker. I tricked you because I knew you'd do this shit again. <laughs> Dude, that whole story is the funniest fucking shit. Yo. So, got Keemstar. I think he he might, but most people they don't. The Twitter accounts they just talk about kick and they speculate who's going over there. Patrick CC, all these people. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they don't care about that. That that's the uh, yeah. Well, obviously part. they don't care about that. <laughs> even but even the independent journalists. Yeah, who, but I don't even think they pretend to care about that anymore. Like the free speech stuff. Like they're pretty so, big on so, the we should censor bad like, stuff. That I got a question because I don't know. I, I've been doing my research on him. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna do him eventually. This dynasty guy, Destiny is his name. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but what is he like? What, like, is he like? I don't. Want, I'm trying to really understand how is he around. Like, what what is he? Because I see him. Uh, he's playing he's like gamer. he's playing like he's a gamer. But but I see like he's like involved with like man shit, and he's not none of that. Like, I don't understand. He's yeah. not representing any of that. He's I, I I just don't understand why people allow him to be around. Like what? What is? Well, you you have to remember uh, the the how this works in, in, on this space is that people are going to follow him based off of his skin color first. So yeah, they they if it mo- most nerds follow him because they see themselves in him. So they're following him off of I'm like you. I'm a nerd guy. So you can give me game on anything because i'm like you so they follow him based off of his skin color then subscriber so that's how that's how this works in the spaces so that's how he's got this stuff so here we go so let's keep going Whatever. They're, like they're, they're full on on that no one's gonna pretend that like oh yeah we care about free speech at youtube youtube doesn't care about that anymore journalists don't care about that anymore I didn't they, anymore. Me, they move from that to like okay religion their religion to like other stuff i'm just saying well hold on that to seems fair, like a though, pretty clear trajectory like, yeah isn't that a natural progression <laughs> yeah, i actually remember you guys saying it like he's in his red pill rage right now like you go through that and then you go to the next that's what we said right? on the first show you here. can't do red pill rage for like yes, 30 years but right? at, the same st- at the same time you're standing on a point so hard that like it's it looks weird because now it's like okay cool he said this but they, no he's saying this so it looks really really weird for not standing growth point. is weird no no because you're you're like this is how it is oh no no tomorrow this is how it is but so, what, what if I change my opinion on specifically? Uh, so they said he flip flopping because he was all red pill at first. He was straight red pill. And it's just like, um, who is that other motherfucker? Okay, you remember the roommate guy of uh, Fifth? Yeah, he's the roommate about, uh, guy yeah, that once he got married, he flipped. It's like, well, no, that red pill, you know, that's what they do. They, I they don't know do. why people have, like, what the fuck? Like, so the Sneeko character, and I'm gonna say character because I don't think he has an identity for himself. I right, think he yeah. just kind of rolls yeah. with the punches. You know what I mean? So I, I again, like, like those two gentlemen, I don't understand. Like at least, at least you can say fresh and fit. And even though, like, I I agree with nothing they say. 
you know, they're they're trying to talk to men in regards. Like, what are these guys? Well, well, they're all the, okay. All of them are not okay. The fresh and fit are are regurgitating Rolo Tomasi. Uh, the Sneakos regurgitating Rolo Tomasi. Only one that's not is Destiny. I'll give him credit. Destiny is not regurgitating red pill rhetoric. He's the, probably the only one out of the whole, all three of those guys, all, all four of them, that's not red pill at all. He's, he's he's more challenging the their their uh, ideology and shit. So, yeah. but they all they all these guys are like like if you look at the you remember like because you football guy because I'm gonna use your 49ers. Think about the Bill Walsh tree. Mm-hmm. Rolo is the Bill Walsh, and then you have the Mike Holmgrams. You know you have all the all the people under Bill I Walsh. The, the, so coaching, the coaching tree. Yeah, the coaching tree. So that's what we have right now. But let me go ahead and add. And wait, before I bring him in, let me add him his YouTube so we can uh, have his viewers watch it as well. Uh, he's in also with us. He's a, a, a our brother from another mother. We appreciate him. Got nothing but love and respect for him. Your boy, Kerry K. Zag in. Zag, what's up, brother? Zag, man. What's happening, hey, man? What's good? What's good? Oh, fucking dog. What's, good? what's, up, what's man? good, fam? Yeah. What's good? What's good? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we we just chopping up, just starting it out right now. But uh, Zach, please uh, fill in, say we everyone, you know, it, we we chopping this up. We're gonna be here for a while, taking calls and stuff. But uh, we just, like I gotta say, Des- have you heard anything about De- Destiny? Is not red pill. He, he's not. He he might be a little bit of an asshole and a dick, but he's cool. He's not cool, but he's like cool, nerdy cool. You know what I mean? Thank you uh, for the twenty dollar twenty dollar super chat right there. But he remember the Bill Wall Street. So these those three Sneeko, these uh, other they come yeah. from the the Rolo Tomasi tree. Destiny is not on there. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just, well, it's just weird right. business. I'm not I'm not familiar with the dude in the blue hair. Like Fifty <laughs> said, I, I I could I couldn't be around him. Like nigga, we we couldn't no. hang in the same spot. We couldn't be in the same room, the same width. No. I no, I ain't fucking with you. Um. Now, 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 he, hey, just, he just look weird to me and shit. No, no, no. You know why I hang out? You know why I would hang out with him? Yeah, yeah. I, you know I hang out with him. What's that? Because he got because Go he, he got a bunch of bad nerdy bitches around him. I promise you. And you know what? I would take I would take his cupboard. That, that's the only reason I, I would I'd hang out with him. I'd be around him because I, I know. Do he it. Got, well, no, he's got like he's he's the Didn't kind of that has cosplay women. The women if that if that nigga has to take a picture with a nigga, I'll no, I'm not taking a picture. Nigga with <laughs> Now I'm not hey, taking a picture with him. Hey, Fifth, now, can you now, take a picture? Steve, now when it when it comes to like Comic Con, yeah, and cosplay chicks, that's yeah, him. Yeah, I'll be that, 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 that day. Yeah, some I hate Comic Con bitches. No, I, I hate Comic Con bitches. No, Phil, There's some weird bitches. Phil, There's some weird bitches. No, them, them, them bitches be dressing man, up man, as motherfucking chicks, bro. Yeah, man, shit. Are you serious? Hold yeah, the fuck up. Flat, Miss no, Flash. No, no. Yeah, nobody no, want no. them little raggedy are bitches. You, what? Hold the fuck up. Hold Hell you. no. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, fuck you, kid. They're fucking, no. they're fucking wearing uh 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 uh. uh <laughs> Motherfucking, uh, what's your motherfuckers, uh, minion outfits and shit no, down you, there, man? Oh, 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 I got Miss that, Miss that, Spider Man and shit. No, just, the fuck no, out of here! I'm, I'm all good. I see yeah, one. I see one painted green like she was a, a, a She Hulk or something. Ner- okay, the fuck bro, is that? Get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of yeah, here! They're nerdy bitches that bro. Are, like, they're nerds, <laughs> dog. They're nerds. Let them sell. Hold up, man. Let me show you some. I, I like a nerdy, regular nerdy. I can't go. Yeah. No, that's too far south. The fuck what? That's why I used to go to eat dog. I used to go to Beverly. I used to take the Beverly Hills where yeah, look, look, and, I, and, and I'm a and I'm a Wolverine. I got Wolverine back here, yeah, my nigga. I'm a I like all that shit, but bitch, I don't really want you into that. No, why I want you into the cooking yeah. chef. I don't like none of them little bitches. Man, come on, Fifth. You gotta be fucked. Look, me, hold on, real quick, Steve and 50. If there's any chicks that are into like the Comic Con and cosplay, hit me up. I'll fuck with you. Hit me up on the back end. Come on, nigga. Y'all want these weird bitches? Fifth, they're not weird. These bitches, look, look, I'm telling you, they probably spray themselves with Raid. That's their perfume and shit. Fifth, they're nerdy women. Look at that bitch with, she got fangs. She's supposed to have. Man, you got me fucked 
all the way up. Nigga, I'm not fucking with these bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll pass all, every yeah. single one of these bitches up. Now, I, like the Supergirl, I would look. She she not bad. Oh, hell no. The Supergirl. Like the one in the in the in the blue, she she ain't bad, but her Shit. but she got she got her she like she got palm hand. Her hands look real big. If these want these nerdy bitches are fucking, they're, they're they they nah, need, need, need us. They need us. They don't need me. Man. I, they hey, do need you, man. Dog, I can't be. I can't be in there, man. I, I, have y'all been down there? Have y'all been yeah. in the Comic Con shit? I used to go to E three. I told you, I used to go to California when E three E three. Oh, oh nigga! Oh my God! Bro. The nerdy bitch. Oh come on, fifth. Fifth, nah, I can't do it, dog. Oh, I, I don't know. It's something about, oh, oh, man. and then I don't, I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't like uh, women with too strong of a, a hobby. What your hobby? Your hobby need to be me, bitch. What? I want. <laughs> I don't even like them. Hey, oh, you know, I love the new Marvel movie out. I think if my bra <laughs> told me the new Marvel movie was out, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, bitch, get get the fuck yeah. out. You know what? That was the end. That's a deal breaker, bitch. Get out. Fib, tell me a new Marvel movie coming out, Jeff. Fib, you you tell Fib, you telling me these nerdy bitches that they're around a bunch of nerdy dudes go give up some pussy to a man? You telling me? Oh, they they gonna give it up? But I I, like, yeah, I, yeah, I just lay up. And even when you when you when you banging after they're done, Supergirl to the rescue. My, my, Talking my, weird and my, shit. My, my nigga fifty. I, I, he ain't, he ain't, he don't know the fuck he my talking about. My nigga, my nigga, you a hood like, nigga, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, Fib, you can you imagine a nigga like me at the comic con, nigga? So you oh hell no! Oh man, stop! <laughs> man, fuck you. Fuck and you, look man. at this goofball in the back. Look at this goofball. <laughs> goofball, he ain't fucking. He ain't that, fucking. Look, look at the goofball. Look, look at these bitches. Who is she supposed to be? Uh, a Chun Li? Is that Chun Li? Yes, it doesn't matter, Phil. Oh my god! Bro. God damn it, Phil! I'm in just bro. Oh my god, bro! I'm, I'm, I'm look, let me tell, let me tell y'all something. Um, I went to um. Uh, back in back in the day, one of my partners was into that uh, like the patch mode type of music, all that type of shit. The patch mode, yeah. And, and I'm, I don't really get into that music, but but the chicks though, you know what I'm saying. So I went to the he paid for the concert, paid for the hotel. So the chicks though, so the type of chicks that I saw there were the type of bitches that would be at the Comic Con and cosplay. I'm fucking with That's them. What I'm saying, Zach. I'm fucking with them. Fifty. Oh, damn, what you got to say? Hey, I'm fucking with them. Right. Fifth. None of these. No, no, there's a few. Man. Come on, fifth. Fifth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Let me blow this up because you know it's a little small. <laughs> let me, let me, let me run through these bitches. Run through. Run through. Every single that top row is horrendous. First, I just look at the top. <laughs> That's our bro. I would hold on. Throw back up. Throw back up. Here you go. What about this? The awesome homie looking bitches. I can't run. Hold on. 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 Cosplay this one, women with bodies. That's and look at that. it. Like, look, the bitch got the. They got. I'm telling you. And this is. It ain't even Halloween, Steve. You know what we need to do, uh, right. Zach. We need to all go to this event live. <laughs> no, yeah. we, we need no. to go to this event live <laughs> because nigga, you gonna see me. All I'm doing is roasting. Why? I'm roasting no, bitches wait. all day long. Why would you roast this one? These women that give the pussy up easily. Why? Oh hell no! You see this oh, bitch on the right. Fair. Could you Fair. imagine that bitch coming in the room? Fam. Hell no, y'all nigga. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Hold on, my nigga. Fam. Hold on, my nigga. Hey, fam. y'all into some shit. Now, I thought I was a nasty nigga, man. <laughs> but that bitch to the right. Fifth. Fifth. Hell no. She's a nerdy woman that likes oh, shit. nerdy. Nerdy. These are nerds, man. These are oh, women who are nerds. God. Hell man. no. Hey, hey, I'm telling you the chat, man. I'm telling y'all niggas, if y'all fuck with that bitch to the right, that bitch, I will will have her sweating all that makeup off of her nigga. Hey, hey, (laughs) hey, hey, capture her fucking lying ass and make her growl. Fifth, none of these. She'll sweat all that shit off, nigga. None of these, fifth. Yeah, I, I think the one all the way to the right, the, the, the one she ain't now. Okay, now we rocking the one all the way to the right. <laughs> all right, then, Fib. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah and I was like, maybe because she turned around like that. But if I went to the other side and seen how she this whole swag, I don't know, dog. I'm gonna keep yeah, the band tricky. I'm not even. Being, I'm not even a a, a picky nigga when it comes oh. to my style. Like if, as long as you're in that range of my style, I'm with it. 
But yeah, I'm oh, telling you, these God. ones, they like that. They love to have fun, sex. They they just nerdy. Yeah, They're okay. nerdy with nerdy hey, guys. This, this Destiny nigga is definitely not around none of them type bitches. Well, no, no. I mean, that's that's his, that's the people that, that's his, it's his thing. It's his concept. <laughs> that's his thing. These bitches right here, I'm showing you. Yeah, these, you these over here tripping and shit. Are you fucking serious? If that bitch touched me with that little leopard painted on her skin, I, I may mistake her for a, a threat. Like, I'm telling you right now, though. Shit. That yeah, shit, you, she had fangs and shit. Oh, my God. Could you imagine the lights off? She turned the lights on quick. <laughs> yeah, that she'll bitch cry. in that outfit. She'll oh, no, I, 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 probably put her, I ain't never knocked a woman out in the, in the bedroom, but, but she is going to sleep. <laughs> Why would you knock the bitch out? <laughs> the bitch is, you, bitch, get out of the roll. Go take a shower, and wash the paint off. She would startle me. I would be startled. Nigga, Man, wash the paint off, bitch. And now we got something to talk about. Wash the paint off, bitch. Wait, God. wait, wait. Are you shit? Yeah, y'all are fucking with me. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help her sweat the paint off, dog. That's, that's, that's a little more fun. <laughs> <laughs> playing, you know a little more fun. How y'all? How y'all? Yeah, this, this is untapped. This is like Christopher Columbus untapped pussy. These nerdy bitches are around losers, and they will find. I will, I will agree. They're around losers. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We kind of went off the key. Yeah, my bad, man. We, you know, we, right, we, we, we went off, guys. Sorry, guys. We just went off the we, side. We, 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 we got to get back. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, get back yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. He yeah. smoked the bird. Yeah, let's continue this shit. I'm sorry, man. Here we go, guys. Jesus. Like people keep saying that. Like, what what opinions have I changed? I've always said that kids are the most important part of being alive. Always said that. Always. I've always said that family is the most important. At thing. the very beginning. Yes. No, it yes. I, don't I, I, I never said any. I, I can't like if you could tell me specifically where I've changed my. Of course, like I have a different philosophy for life. I have a more clear set of what I think the world should be governed by. But like, what have I changed my opinion on? When I met you, you weren't focused on kids. You were focused on smashing girls. So I don't know what. What? what well, excuse me. Is that not mature? Kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But no kids were involved in this. Plan, only, only plan B's. That's what you think. Yeah, I mean, no, no, that's I, what... I met you like when I was like twenty-one. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, you you grow, you mature. Wait, has it really been three years? Or right, I was twenty-two. Twenty-two. I was okay, twenty-two. All right, all right. The nigga's twenty-four. Way, I'm just saying, it looks like you say one thing, but then a couple months pass, and you're like, on this way. Okay, but what have I changed my opinion on? You, you're not telling me. So we brought up the uh, the uh, argument about Rolo's tweet, right? Mm. Oh God. Right? Because you know go. what? Let's just charge for something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Fifth, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna knock you off your fucking thing. I forgot to show you. This is what they're talking about. Let me fifth. Got to show you this right here. This is the Rolo Tomasi. This, I think uh, Zach, didn't Zach, are you posted this one? I posted it, yeah, but this okay, is okay. for you to see that this is what they're saying. Now remember, he's married. He has do not, do not get married. Avoid family creation. What? Vasectomy. Let, what? This nigga can't be serious. This is not. No, I swear, this is what these See, motherfuckers that, are calling. This is what the, this is what the argument's on. Shit. See, that, I got a problem with all that shit. Wow. Yeah. You know, you but know, see, you know what's crazy. You know what's. Let, yeah, let me ahead, say this about this list. Number one, it's disingenuous to, like Steve said. No, just real quick, like Steve said, dude is married. I hate when 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 dudes have a certain type of lifestyle, and then they teach guys that have the opposite of what they got going on. That's bullshit. Because what he's doing is he's playing to the fears of all men. About not all men, but most men in this space, he's playing to their fears. What are they worried about? Getting married, the chick filing for divorce, getting alimony, that type of shit. Avoid family creation, right? Vasectomy. That goes hand in hand, because basically he's saying, don't have no kids, because if the shit don't work out with the woman, she can get child support, and then you on child visitation. All this shit works hand in hand with the fears that most of these guys have in this space. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I, I automatically look at it, and I'm looking how toxic this is for young men. Mm -hmm. Young men that just don't have anybody to look out for them when it comes to, you know, what they're processing from the from the world. Um, you know. I was raised Islam. A lot of this is like worldly stuff that goes on. And um, and for him to even mention high value, man, he, I mean, he's a bitch ass nigga. I, I don't I, I showed his um, um, his review on my channel and I just really just went in on some of his talking points. And and I even went to his his IG. You know what I mean? 
And it, it's just wild to me, man. It's wild to me that he would even the audacity for this nigga would post something like this, man. This is this is quite disturbing, though. Mm-hmm. No, it, it is. Here we go, okay. So we'll take that down. Let's get back to the thing. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm not to you. Yeah, yeah, y'all niggas fucking up the show. I'm <laughs> okay. trying to get into something. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I wanted to cover the Trump thing. Then you guys could go ahead and argue. All right. The anonymous go. podcast. How is Sneeko a trad con when his girlfriend Kuro is on OF selling for 99? Okay. When did I say that? I don't that know was my girlfriend. Is, I, I, who the fuck? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Uh, she just got Zena Witch, uh, Some heart emoji. Shout out to you, Zena. And then we got here. Uh, how do you define a three or four? All I think is when she sleeps with a guy and without feeling emotional attachment, all girls are three or fours until proven otherwise. Okay. Soul Fist goes Destiny, I j- only have just over 2K subs. But we'll love to interview. Could that be possible? That's from Soul Fist. Mo. And then, uh, uh, I don't know. Would Who's you ever that? collab with somebody on that level? Let me keep going. Bro, Destiny, what is with the hair? Is a woman. Um, uh, I will, I will say this about money? Destiny because I've seen, <clears throat> I've actually seen him. Uh, go to real small channels and and talk to people in regards to stuff. And I don't know why people. Yeah. I would. I don't give a fuck if I had a million motherfucking so If I got the time, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll fuck with a motherfucker. See, I'm a real one though. Like I said, when y'all come to Vegas and shake my hand, y'all understand what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm for the people. Oh no, absolutely. Like, what, they, all... what they saying? What they saying? They not though. And what, it, would you really do this? What they saying, they're not. They're not for the people. Let me tell you something. I may not be able to take them all because of my time, but I would randomly select a motherfucker if I had them numbers. I'll randomly select a motherfucker. All right, man, let's rock. I don't give a fuck if it's your first motherfucking uh, podcast, first video, motherfucker. Let's rock out. All right, that's like, all I love. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying, dog. I don't, I don't like motherfuckers that's like that, dog. You know what I mean? All right, well, here we go. That nigga, da da da. Boom. Now you, next thing you know, you got an article in the paper saying you did this and that. I mean, so it's crazy. That happened to Tate. That happened. Uh, all the news articles started contacting his exes to try to bribe him. Like, if hey, we'll interview for Wait, a... y'all. Just saw, y'all saw the new post from the Andrew Tate thing, right? The Tate when the Tate brothers judge. Y- y'all saw I posted that, but I guess people didn't see that yet. Did y'all see that? What I showed y'all guys? I need yeah, to show you. I, I ain't yeah. gonna lie, dog. If he yeah, really exactly. said that, huh? I, I got a lot yeah, of respect. He, for him. Yeah, I, I respect him, but <clears throat> again, moving the goalposts. But this is what. This is weird for y'all who missed it. Let me go and download it to show everybody real quick so you guys can uh, see it for yourself. And this uh, is Trump, Trump 2024, man. I'm going to go ahead and put that oh, out yeah, there, yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. Trump okay. 24, baby. Okay. Let's go. You know, because Trump to me is a, is a man's man. But let's look at this. He don't give a fuck. He don't, that's why I love him so much. This is <laughs> yeah. coming from, from Christian Tate, uh, Andrew Tate's brother. Don't refer to me as Red Peel. See that shit? See all that shit? Also, as a half black man, right? Descended from there. There you go. There you go. There wow. you go. Hey, 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 y'all, y'all see that? Y'all, y'all, wow. hey, a lot, a lot of people gonna get hurt feelings over this shit. Mm. A lot of people gonna be in their feelings. They like, wait a second, you being Andrew is oh my god. So you notice, you notice how the tide switches when people know it's time the Titanic has already hit the uh the Titanic's already hit the iceberg. These motherfuckers getting off the boat really fast because they realize it's a bullshit. Zach, anything before I play this? No. Well, yeah, I just want to point out real quick because I like how you said don't don't liken me to Red Pill because those dudes are autistic. You know, I always talk about how dudes are remedial and shit. They walk around with dunce caps on. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, here, here's the thing. Let, let me just say this real quick. I understand that guys want a place they can go where they can vent their frustrations and all that type of shit. But with any type of movement, there are always clowns that infiltrate that movement and they fuck it up. And and I'm not saying any of these movements are good. That's not what I'm saying. But I understand what it may have been intended for. But the, the, the reality of it is most men in this space, YouTube content creators and dudes who follow them are weak as fuck. Right, and, and and this is why he said that because he knows that because even even when we talk about our shit, dudes come to my channel. Well, a lot of the shit you talk about is red pill talking points. No, nigga, it's man talking points. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, for real, for real. So even nigga. with us, they try to hijack what we say and try to say it's red pill shit. Y'all got it though. All right, here we go. Let's let's get, let's keep going. Let's get into the uh, the debate because they're not. Story will give you fifty thousand dollars. I didn't just talk about it's what they're but, trying but, to hit Trump. With. Okay, that, mm-hmm. but that's a federal charge though. It's not sure. a state charge. Um, I I don't I'm obviously know. I think in New York, it I think they yeah, zero base in his voice. So I I just 
I mean, I'm not even trying to say like I hate Trump or whatever, but I mean, like I, running him against a candidate that he already lost to mm-hmm. is is already rough. Okay, and I, and I like to say this, and I'm not trying to make this political, but I think a lot of people don't understand. We wouldn't have any. We wouldn't have people trying to challenge us a little bit. We had Trump because Trump didn't give a fuck. Trump was a man, a motherfucking mm. motherfucker who didn't give a fuck, and he and, was like, and they knew he was reckless. <laughs> And they know if you any petty, uh, a petty and reckless. Yes, yes. Yeah. They knew. So, so yeah, absolutely. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if they, let's did he really it. lose? He, well, <laughs> if you, uh, let's get to the yeah. back. Like, they might have had a GoFundMe. She had to move her house like five times, too. All right. They're just talking about and power to, to basically, you know, whether it's to sell a book, get them uh, in, a, in a weird position where they can't maybe run for office or, you know, decrease their influence, whatever the fuck it is. We've seen it be weaponized, and I'm seeing this more and more. And yeah. with the Donald Trump thing, and you did make a good point that his deposition was kind of crazy, which was hilarious. It was, um, right? But <laughs> well, during this thing, the defense didn't even try. Yeah, because uh, his <laughs> deposition was funny. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, I guess we could go ahead and pull up the, what y'all were talking about before. Yes. So let's pull up Rolo Sweet real quick because this has been a point of contention uh, with Sneeko. A lot of things. Um, we got it right there. So this was a tweet, right? It goes, um, and this was from well, a week ago, about a week ago. Well, a week ago, we can uh, go. So the quickest path, uh, the quickest path to becoming a high value man: number one, don't get married, avoid family creation, vasectomy in your twenties, life uh, lift consistently, eliminate all sedations, learn game and networking, play to your strengths, build wealth, resist easing up on your focus, and the, and it's uh, the quickest path to becoming a high value man. Um, and I know that. You know, Sneeko had some point of contention specifically with number three, which is get a vasectomy in your 20s. Um, Can I just ask, why yeah, did, he, did he need eight points? Did he like get contracted to write all eight of these? Because like I see some duplicates. <laughs> so, like, number two, avoid family creation. Number three, vasectomy in your 20s. It's kind of the Couldn't same. Couldn't that be like collapsed into one point? Did he need thing. eight? Did he feel stupid with like six or seven? Or, okay, I mean, you're. <sighs> I'm just curious. But I, I like think a he's clarifying it out. It, it's just eight things. I mean, he oh. could have said put them together. I guess the best to person be to ask question to is Rolo directly. That's true. Mm-hmm. So we'll do it next week probably. Oh, so, yeah. But to, this list is concise because once again, he's just saying in general, fastest way to get to that point. Yeah. What is high value, so, man? So yeah, yeah. I mean, let me let me chime in real quick. Yeah, yeah. So 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 what they're saying is is that you know fastest way to get to what they claim to be as a high value man and this is a list of it and i almost i'm almost hearing the voice of these fresh and frit dudes like they almost believe this shit oh, like no, this is do. oh no this is do. this is unbelievable this is reckless this is toxic toxic to any community you know for me i i'm you know i'm pro life so i don't even like for me i don't even believe in all that other stuff like for me I, when i see shit like this like what we're doing is we're telling men to stop their creation to chase fucking money. What 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 fun is that? What how is your life going to be as a man mm-hmm. if you if you just eliminate your legacy? Yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. There's nothing bigger than a man's legacy. Oh my god, everything. It's everything. nothing bigger everything. than everything. that. That's where that's the pinnacle oh of your life. There we go. So you I don't know. I don't understand when you tell a man that dog to me. That's reckless and dangerous, dog. Hey, real quick, uh, Fip, we, we celebrated Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all y'all and your mothers and all that. We celebrate no, Mother's really, Day because yeah. of le- that's because of legacy and bloodline. Yeah. And how can you, how would you, how do you sit there and listen to a motherfucker tell you what to do with your dick? To to to, to say, don't get have a vasectomy. It, 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 listen, if you fucking like exactly you said it, if you're fucking a lot, you have a bunch of kids, man, get your shit cut out because you, you don't know how to control your dick. But uh, it, it's amazing. But let's let's keep going. Unless Zach, you got yeah. anything to say for it? All right, here we go. Here we go. I think he means <sighs> what he means in this context is getting no, 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 being go, a go. guy that's like desirable to women and being money, being attractive to women so that you'll be, uh, I guess, a marketable. Sex. I, 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 okay, real quick, fifth. The root of okay, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop him. I gotta stop him. Yeah, the root is this is women, Zach. This is women. I, this is the shit that I hate. Cause, okay, no, no, go ahead. You got it, bro. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. 
Bill, go ahead, Zach. You got I, it. I think he's delayed. So, he can, can, can you rewind it a little bit? Can you rewind it a little bit? Just, just back maybe about five, ten seconds. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Ten seconds. Yeah. About five, ten seconds. Right, I got five. Attractive go. to women so that you'll be, uh, I guess, a marketable sexual partner. Well, but that doesn't make sense, right? Like, avoid family creation and get a vasectomy That's what and like, be attractive well, to men. But, well, no, like, no, no, no. Go, go a little further. Go back. Okay, hold on. I'm going back. Here we go. Fuck. Exchange right, Ryan Dawson's really, really smart. Because he said something man. about uh, money and, and, and desirability. I'm going to have to say podcast, but can this podcast handle the tension of Destiny and saying the center we're both on? Oh. Sure. There's no way he would agree to it, but that would be really nah, funny. He would, he would do it. Would oh, okay. Do it. Yeah, he wants Mark to, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he would do it. Maybe his dead friend uh, can sell some more fake merch while I'm here. Uh, oh, God. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we can go ahead and pull up the what y'all were talking about before. Yes. So, let's pull up Rolo Sweet real quick, because this has been a point of contention. We've been sneaking a lot of things. Yeah, I can hear you, but it's delayed. Yeah, We can hear you. We can hear you. So we're just playing it. Tell us when to stop, Zach. We're playing it. Just tell us when to stop. Right there. So this was a tweet, right? It goes, um, and this was from well, a week ago, about a week ago. Well, a week ago, week ago. Uh, so the quickest path, uh, the quickest path to becoming a high value man: number one, don't get married, avoid family creation, vasectomy in your twenties, life co- uh, lift consistently, go, eliminate go, all go, sedations, go. learn game and networking, For, fast play to your strengths, build wealth, resist. When, when Myron is talking about money focus, and women, and, the, and it's uh, I, I, I the quickest that. path to becoming a high value man. All right, let me um, and I know you. that. You know, Sneeko had some point of contention specifically with number three, which is get a vasectomy in your 20s. Um, Can I just ask, yeah, why did he, did he need eight points? Did he like get conscious? That's what women and, like, want. Be attractive well, to men. But, well, no, like, no, no. It's because, women, right? again, like I, I said it before, I'll say it again because you're here. So he gave the instructions to retard proof it, right? Because when you give advice, typically you have to, you know, appeal to the lowest common denominator. So, like, there's guys out there, right, that could have been – I'm being honest here. There's guys out there that, you know, might have could have played basketball back in the day, maybe football, Bullshit. whatever. Bullshit. That? So, Zach, yeah, I don't I, – yeah, I, I'm just going to play this. Tell me if you want to stop, Zach. Okay, I don't, I don't like that he said that. Okay, but no, go ahead, go ahead. So okay. the, way, the way I can make my point. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go. And their career got smashed because they got a girl pregnant and they couldn't pursue what they want to do because they had to be a dad early. True. So what he's saying is – Okay, this is how you mitigate risk so you could become a, a higher status guy. We're going to eliminate all the things that could fuck you up. Now, I want to make this very clear for some of y'all because some of you guys don't understand. I'm not saying I advocate for vasectomies or whatever. I don't have one. I've never gotten one. But what I am saying is that given the context of what he's tweeting for this specific situation, it makes sense because he's saying, hey, these are the ways so that you don't fuck yourself up to ensure that you're going to be successful. He's retard proof. Hey, what the Oh, fuck? my God. What the oh, fuck? God. What and this is their lead. What the fuck? What? This is bad, dog. This is terrible. This is bad. Like, this like, I, like, like Myron. I don't know Myron, but nigga, when I finally meet you, my nigga, I'm gonna say, nigga, you, you on some fuck shit for this. This mm-hmm. right here is so fucking dangerous. This yeah. man has a lot of influence mm-hmm. over so many you know, people, it, and you have a responsibility. Yeah, you have a responsibility for those people to know the truth, and for you to say, yes. if you do this, this is the blueprint for your success. Use a fuck nigga for that. Use yeah. a straight fuck nigga for that one. It's it's reckless. It's it's reckless advice. You know what? What I don't like if if guys want to say, "Hey, this is why I'm not getting married," but I'm not telling you guys not to get married, or if guys say, "This is why I'm not having kids," but I'm not telling you guys not to have kids, cool. But but when you give advice, blanket advice, and you try to tell dudes to change the course of their whole fucking life with with fear based advice, it's reckless. Yeah, it's it's really sad. Here we go, and and, and again, he's just uh, he's just spewing roller. But here we go, yeah. watch. But that is a pretty <laughs> retarded advice because you're saying, do- "Thank you." See that shit? He, here we go, retarded. Do this so that you become more attractive to women. So what's even the point of having a relationship with a woman if you can't have kids with her? Then you're just having an empty relationship, just to fuck her for your whole life. And no, then what? he's saying to become high value, which means you make the choice. Do I want to do that or not? So he's giving you the choice to do that, but once become now, the choice, you have a choice, what? fucking anyway. What the fuck is that? What mean? is he talking about? <laughs> this motherfucker is just a puppet. He don't know what the fuck he's saying. He he's just regurgitating this shit. Myron just said that it's to become high value, to become attractive to a woman. Yeah, if that's what you choose. You I feel- when did we when when did us three 
decide that we doing shit for a bitch anyway? When did when did when did the game become about women where you gotta you gotta show your wallet and not your mind? When the fuck did that happen? When the man, fuck? I'm I'm telling you, dog. I may have to clip this up, man. I may have yeah. to do like individual shit on every one of these points, bro, because this right here is just this is disturbing and disgusting. Yeah. Oh, it's not not for us, never. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is sad, but this this is okay. We will keep going. It gets worse. Like we're two to. months away from tweets of like, give your bro like the key to your fucking cock chastity cage to make sure that you guys are <laughs> fucking around without permission. Or whatever. Like I feel like we're That's like, don't you guys tweet all the time about how like oh like women are fucking disgusting that are freezing their eggs at like twenty and they're never gonna find yes. out. And now you've got like guys that go to sperm clinics. Like here you go. I'm never gonna be able to impregnate my wife because there's like a thirty percent reversal rate on this fucking surgery. But maybe in the future I we can inject my who want to freeze their eggs semen all the time. Yeah, like but, it's like the same but shit. But notice right, he has two no, points. Ninety like percent reversal rate. Yeah, actually. Well, depending on how quick it is. Wait for vasectomies. Yeah, to get it reversed and be able to actually after like ten years, it's like thirty to fifty well, percent. Yeah, but your twenties is ten years. You're supposed to do. You're supposed to. Can we fucking stop it, dude? We got grown men that's arguing about fucking vasectomies, dude. <laughs> arguing about vasectomies at, you know, the statistics on it. Like, why would you tell a man? It's, it's, it's sickening, I mean, bro. It's sickening. I, let, me, let me tell you something. I see my motherfucker. I don't know, what, what, what Italian actor is that? That motherfucker from, uh, he just had a baby. That motherfucker like 73. One of the best actors in the world. What with the Italian nigga, man? That mother, what's that? De Niro. Uh, De Niro. De Niro. That oh, motherfucker here, 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 just here, here, had a baby and yeah. he was 70 fucking three years old, my nigga. Yes. Like, nigga, this is what I'm talking about. Nigga, he won't see that child do through motherfucking high school. But that nigga's, nigga, he's carrying on his legacy. Nigga, fuck that. I need more kids. You know what I mean? Fuck that. That's what he's saying. This is what I'm talking about, men. Don't fucking listen to these bozos. These motherfuckers is both. They're reckless. Yeah, don't man. fucking be a part of this shit right here, man. Yeah, here we go. Oh! Well, wait, hold on, wait. Your so you're gonna get a vasectomy years. at like, yeah, you're gonna get a vasectomy at twenty, become high value by twenty three, and then get it reversed. <laughs> like, what? I mean, I'm gonna say twenty three. You're being extreme as usual. Well, he well, said your twenties. That's ten. But okay, like okay, and this is what bothers me. And and again, I'm not here to knock his platform. I mean, they they have a freedom of speech. But when you are in the light, you have a responsibility to impressionable young men to let them have, because all these young men that cut do, do this stupid shit that they do, Fifth and Zag, when they get older, they're going to be like, well, oh my God, because, okay, oh, let, me, let me explain what I'm talking about. So y'all know I've been doing it for shit over 40 years. So there was a, okay, there's a lot of suicides with a lot of older guys right now, right? And the reason why these guys are having this everything, shout out to our dog, Angry Man in the house. Shout out to Angry Man. Uh, uh, shout out to Angry Man. Uh, what, what's good, man? We got much love to our what's dog. What's going on, my bro, man? What's happening with you, man? Shout out to our motherfucker. Hey, hey, yeah, Angry yeah. Man, you right. Straight up, though. Yeah. Like, right. I already have 10 motherfucking yeah, baby yeah, mamas. Quick. You damn right. Real quick. <laughs> real, real, real quick. No, real, real quick, Valdez. <laughs> It's something about another man holding my balls in his hand, snipping my shit. I, I can't get past <laughs> okay. a nigga holding my dick. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? I can't get no, past no, that. Angry man was right about No, I'm just saying that what people don't understand is <laughs> the reason that. why there's a lot of suicides, a lot of older men really doing harm to themselves is because in the 90s, they were the same age as the kids that are listening to Fresh and Fit right now. And now they have midlife crises. They don't know how to function. They have bad marriages because a lot of people manipulated these, these guys back in the 90s with that subduction community shit. Damn, shout out to our motherfucking dog. Hey, hey, hey. Greg, hey, what's happening with my nigga, man? Hey, Greg, you told you could get this <laughs> fucking like, dirty man. He don't want to Greg, 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 my nigga, Greg, you know what I'm talking about, man. Hey, man, hey, man, let me, let me just say, man, hey, let me just say this, let me just say this, Brody. <laughs> I, hey, you, Steve, Zag can have all those weird bitches, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Greg, you know what we do, Greg. Oh, hell no. Greg, man. you know. <laughs> You gotta bring him to the light, dog. He don't see the nerdy bitches, dog. He don't understand. Yeah, 
the nerdy ass. But Greg, shout out to oh, our yeah. dog, Greg Adams. Greg, you know what we do in this motherfucker. So shout yeah. Angry Man know too. We we hey, we wait. The only motherfucker on this thing that don't fuck with cosplay is nineteen fifty. So we well, got. You know what? I don't do weird bitches, man. <laughs> you know what? Fifty with, with, with vans and shit, and bitches <laughs> painting their face and shit. Yeah. Shout out to my yeah. nigga. Shout out to. I appreciate kids. my nigga, man. No, no man, 50, man, 50, 50, 50, see, you, you, you missing the point, Fifth? Yeah, he he missing out. Talk to him. But Zach, you like behind to fix your shit. No, Fifth, it's, it's, it's okay. something about a chick being free to be herself unapologetically. Yes. It's something like about it, that. Yeah. That's some refreshing yeah. shit to yeah. me. Come you know on, what it is, man? I don't like bitches with too many hobbies. What I just f- told you, man. That, hobby, that's, hobby, a, that's, some weird, that's some weird shit to me, man. Come on, dog. Are you serious? That's some weird shit to me. I'm going to keep it a band, my nigga. Like, look, How man. Do- look at this blue hair nigga on here, man. It's let, me, let, a- me, let, me, let me just say this, dog. All right. This is who's breeding those bitches. This no, type of motherfucker right here, though. We, like, okay. like, a couple of them got a little bit of body or something, man. But, like, mostly, dog, they, they kind of <laughs> weak to me, though. Uh, wait, wait, allow me Real, one more time for for my a hey, hey, because you know angry man understand because angry man's a gamer he understands and greg adam understand zag understand i understand so you're telling me that n- none of these women that are nerdy uh, cosplay women you, me, you ain't fucking with me, nothing let me let me tell you right now dog <laughs> i'm gonna I'm look through this one and, and that first bitch right there i'm gonna tell you that one with the little scully hat on pass that next bitch that looked like uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, pass. Uh, this bitch with a bow and arrow. I don't. I can't really see this bitch. So you know, she's about ten percent. All right. This one right here in the middle. This pink. Now you know. Hey. Uh, she. She don't seem too bad right there. But again, we're gonna go right next to the bitch. Anybody that's covering their teeth up. Pass. Uh, oh my. This God. predator mask. What bitch is going? What a bitch in a right yeah. mind is going to pick a predator mask. They say- I, 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 I pass. Uh, this other bitch right here, this this RV bitch. You can tell she lives in an RV. Uh, pass. <laughs> this, uh, then this other bitch with this uh, Caesar outfit on. I don't know what the fuck she got going on in here. Let me tell you something. She looked like her hygiene is bad. And any bitches with bruises on their face, uh, or not I, as a black man, I pass. A- right. Angry man right now is lighting up a cigar. Greg Adams right now is, <laughs> is probably jumping on the show right now. About to tell you motherfuckers that y'all are fucking up. I I angry, hey, hey, I, hey, angry man, and Greg hey. Adams on behind. Shout out, hey, shout out to my girl China in the in the, in the chat too. I can't pull you up. The lion, the lions den. Oh, wait, hey, shout out, shout out, shout out to her. Yeah, she's she's in there, man. What, what number she has? So we give her a shout out. Uh, uh, it says the lions den. The lions den. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. So Appreciate wait, you coming wait. through. So, so if the lions den, if the lions den, now let me see, Fifth. You like you like Star Wars, Star Trek? What you like, Fifth? Which, which I don't like know? none of that uh, science, oh, sci-fi. What, what sci-fi shit do you like? Just give me something. Uh, oh, no, wait, 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 John Wick. So if the lions den, John, John Wick is. I mean, is I, it really? I, Science, that's really not science fiction, dog. I, I know. I'm saying if she's she, not killing if, zombies and shit. Oh god damn it! If she, just I don't like none of that. Dog. I'm a hood nigga, man. I, I like. like <laughs> I like the lion's den. The lion's den had a nice little sexy ass outfit on. Hey, hey, I will, I will say, uh, she's she's a New Yorker and she's definitely got some hood in her. So she's not wearing none of that uh, incredible hoax shit. I couldn't even imagine her doing that. Like that you, you don't know. Maybe Lions has got a little bit of ring. Oh, real quick. Let, let, me, let me say something about Fifth real quick. What the fuck is he talking about? C- can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can, can hear, you hear me now. Man. Yeah. Hey, I think Coach put a uh, super chat up in there. Oh, my shit All fucked right. up. My, my shit doesn't delay. Right, hold on, let's see. We go, oh, go ahead. We're going to no, say Fifth, yeah, we Fifth talking about he a hood nigga. He don't like sci-fi, but this nigga would watch a romantic comedy Eating popcorn with a chick feet in his lap. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I I don't know about no romantic comedy. It just depends on which one it is, though. But I I like regular shit, my nigga. I can't do it, man. Shout out to my boy Coach hey, Greg. I was hey, to catch up to the point. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Greg, Greg, we got him, Greg. Greg, Greg, we gonna flip this hey, motherfucker. Greg, hey, we, we gonna hey hey Greg, we gonna be out in uh Vegas Greg, in September, Greg. man. Me, Steve, and and the crew, man. We gonna catch up with you, brother. No, no, wait, wait, wait. So you saying lines did? If she came with one of these outfits right here, they, it, like like now that, that bitch to the right, um, the <laughs> Superman. 
Uh, but they cosplay though. So yeah, you I, mean, I, tell- took, I took the shit out of that one with the oh, Superman right there. This motherfucker here. Y'all yeah, a little thing? super, but we that look like a regular uh frat party, don't you? We don't know that. Yeah, it's cosplay. It's cosplay, man. dog. I don't know, man. We let, let's get back to the show, man. We we out here. Shout out to you, Greg. Hold on, that angry man coming in. Let's see what you gave. Let me see. See what that shit. Hey, that, that's my motherfucker. That's my motherfucker. No, you say angry man, light that shit up. You see, that's my motherfucker. Hey, hey. Come on, come on, angry man. You a hood nigga too, man. You know good and well, dog. You're not fucking with no bitch that's putting fangs in her motherfucking mouth. Hey. That's my motherfucker right there. No. Yes. Angry man, I, I remember in, in, in his early videos, he talked about the comic shit, but he into that type of shit. He into that shit, man. Angry, that's why we got. Hey, hey, and, and I like Marvel and shit. I like the shit, but I don't like bitches just into it. Dog, he goes in with the sword, but he got the mouthpiece to pull the bitches and get the pussy. Man, I like to go to bitches' houses and I see cookbooks on the shelf and shit. I don't, I don't like them bitches. That I come in here, she got motherfucking Superman on the wall and shit. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. What? Come on, dog. hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, dog. She got, she got, she got fucking, she got fucking a uh, uh, motherfucking uh, 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 oh, Terminator and shit on. She like Arnold Schwarzenegger and shit. You fuck all that. Wait, wait, you're t- wait. I got one. So you, because Angry yeah. Man, because he but, talked about the lightsaber, right? So. But, but Phil, what if she got a super girl apron? She got a super girl apron on. Yeah, I know. I, I I don't mind that, but I just don't want the bitch into the shit. I don't think y'all really understand what I'm saying. Look, I don't what? mind some of these bitches. They probably are kind of cool, but like I don't like weird bitches. Now I like I, I can't stand a weird bitch. Nerdy. Weird? I, I don't mind a nerdy little bitch, right? A little nerdy little you know little shy little nerdy bitch. They be nasty as fuck. But what I'm talking about on the real, I I like bitches. I can like. If we just talk about straight fucking, there's hella bitches I can just straight fuck. Now, nah, you know, let's keep it a band. But I'm talking about like talking, like if I had to really talk to a bitch, yeah. y'all talking to a comic bitch? Yeah. What you think? Oh, hell wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Oh, hell, hell no. no. Wait, wait. Hell no. Let me, I'm going to show you how the game Angry Man trying to show your motherfucking ass because you don't see it. So let me find, let me try to find something to show you how Angry Man is doing this because it's an easy uh. life. Hold on, let me see. Can, can, can I remove his comment? It's, it's covering up my handsome face. <laughs> I'm not looking at myself on the live stream. Nigga. Hold on. Out I out out was that. All right, so wait. Follow me on this one. I'm going to just show him real quick. Angry Man <laughs> is running around with his lightsaber, okay? Angry Man, Angry Man's got his cigar. That's much better. He's got his Angry Man hat on. He's going, you, 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 right? So while he's swinging his lightsaber... What do you think the what do you think these bitches gonna do when they see Angry Man with the lightsaber? They're gonna be like, oh my God, save me, Angry Man. Come save man, me. Look, look, man, like I don't know. Man, look, if they had regular clothes on, these no. bitches would probably be cool. How? I look at these bitches, I'll be like, these is some I'm weird fucking, I'm fucking, bitches. I'm fucking the chick right there on the left. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Oh man, I'm bad. Oh, Yo, nigga, I'm telling you. If I, if we all went to this event, nigga, y'all niggas would be laughing at me because I'm talking about bitches in their face. Ow. These bitches is not it, dog. I don't even know why you be, nigga. We talked about this twice, and and, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I still stick to the point, nigga. These are some raggedy bitches, and most of these bitches, most of these bitches, is something wrong with them. They're not. They don't deserve. They don't deserve this dick. None of these bitches. Are the, Hey, none of these bitches at the Comic Con deserves this dick. How hey, the fuck you say? Ain't getting fifth nerd. dick out there. See, Angry Man, I got you, dog. Angry Man is gonna have some <laughs> lightsaber fight to these bitches. How the fuck are you not seeing? I'm this telling shit? you, I'm telling you, dog. I cannot do weird bitches. That's just like me. I don't like, I don't like these black women with their fucking uh, pink hair in the hood and shit. These green hair, uh, these green hair hood bitches. I can't do none brother, of them hoes. Brother, how the fuck can you I not don't do want that? none of them hoes, dog. That's like the same thing yeah, to me. Them are horrible comic that's bitches different. that's, that's different. walking around in that's different. That's different. <laughs> this one's the difference. They both look the same. That's, that's different. Brother, brother. Oh, I don't, I don't. Bro. Got fucking oh, Nicki Minaj is walking around in the fucking different. hood and shit. What, what, fucking Nicki Minaj is walking around in the hood and shit. Man. I, I, I can't do okay, it, dog. All right. All right. Uh, wait, one last thing. So you're telling me, 
Because I know I know Angry Man's DC yeah. and Marvel, and I know Greg DC Marvel, all of us but you. So you're telling me that you walking around Comic Con, and let's say you with Angry Man with his lightsaber and shit, and then all of a sudden, motherfucking Batgirl comes up to you and says, "What's up? What's oh my god, nineteen? Bro, what's bro. up? What that looks." Up? No, tell me, bro. What? Come on, bro. She her chin is like twelve oh inches God. wide. What? I don't want that. That bitch. That bitch got a, a Jay Leno chin. Are you serious? That bitch. That's Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> that's Man, fucking Jay know. Leno, dog. You gotta be fucking with me. Are you serious, <laughs> nigga? That's Jay Leno, my nigga. I, I, I'm not fucking with Jay Leno, nigga. Y'all, even, y'all can have Jay Leno. Oh my god, I'm not a skinny guy, shit. but you're telling me you you, would, you wouldn't you wouldn't fuck this with that. Got me. This nigga got me. Bro, look at her Jay Leno chain on my nigga. Her chin. Oh, are you? Nigga, she's, oh, come on, my nigga. I pass. Hey, Angry Man got a super chat, man. You bring him up. Uh, Angry Man super chat. Uh, Angry Man, please, uh, please save the day. Let's see what Angry Man say. Oh, let me get this Angry Man. Nah, man, that, that's, that's Jay Leno. That's Jay Leno, nigga. This motherfucker. All right, man. all right. Let's see. Get what he says. It's a broke. That- God damn. God damn. Hey, hey, hold on, Angry Man. I hey, will man. find Super Mario. I got. Hey, you, hey, 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 find out when the Comic Con is. When is that? When is it? It's in the uh, summertime, brother. Hold on. Hey, nigga, I'll fly out. Is it? I think it's in L.A. Is it in L.A. or what? Oh, they got it in Florida. They got it all around. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to get some Super Mario. So they got weird bitches all over the country. Is that what we're saying? They're nerdy bitches. Oh. They're nerds. They're nerds. They're Fuck. nerdy women. That's what Angry <laughs> Man trying to tell your cake ass. You're telling me. You went mess with a woman that's nerdy, that's looking for hey, you. Look, look, hey, look, Angry Man. Question. Angry Man. Let hey, Coach. Let me ask hey, hey, Coach Greg. Angry Man. Tell me this don't look like Jay Leno, though. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 come on. Don't you do that. Hey, no, Greg, y'all know that they, they hey, Greg and, and, and fucking Greg, 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 Greg said, go to the Wonderland. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me, see, hold on, let me get to the Super Bowl. Let me get to these motherfuckers. They know they're trying to wake this motherfucker. Hey, go to Wonderland oh. in April. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Anaheim, huh? Let, 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 me, let me ask 50 a question. Mm. Let me ask him a question. Let me ask 50 a question. I think he's delayed. Question. Yeah. Would would you fuck with gamer chicks? Chicks that are into video games and shit like that? <sighs> I ain't never I ain't never oh. smashed a bitch with a gamer bitch. I ain't never smashed one that got owns the controller. Oh. And I smashed a whole lot of bitches. Maybe I just didn't know they had a controller, my nigga. I ain't never if a bit if I walk in a bitch house and I see a PlayStation 5 controller, my nigga, I, I like I'm I'm disinterested. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, I, I'm not really into that. Wait, wait, did I not did I not show you I made that? Let me bitch tell you, man. I like girly girl. I like girly girls, man. I like girly girls. What the fuck? I like wait. girly girls that that motherfucking that they don't even want to catch a basketball. They don't even want to throw a football. Are they you- don't they don't want to fucking they don't want to do none of that. You know what they want to do? What they they want to cook from scratch some fucking some 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 food. Oh, so you know, baby, I just learned this new recipe today. You think any of them bitches learned recipes right there at the Camacon? Look no, at no, these. No. Bro, are we we can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be serious, Steve. What? Because you're actually picking them out because you obviously feel like these bitches is they, no, they, they, they got no, it or something. No, no, I'm saying that they, okay. What about these? What about these? Any of these? I mean that poor looking black woman. This Amazon <laughs> bitch, the audacity for her to put on that uh motherfucking Wonder Woman suit. Like she's fucked. I, 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 angry man, I'm sorry, dog. I, I, she I was six so, eight. Angry man, I am so sorry. And Greg Adams, I'm so sorry. We lost, we lost one, dog. We are trying everything we can. Oh, man. This they got. Hey, if I want to see Comic Con, I'll go right to the hood, and I'll stand at the liquor store, and you're gonna see blue hair, uh, pink hair bitches walk in all day. They, they already uh, Comic Con up. <sighs> I can see them right there. Y'all know it. You're, you're fuck, I'm, 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 let me just say this, dog. Now I'm gonna really look at. I'm gonna go on YouTube after this, and nigga, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a video. I'm gonna look at these videos y'all talking about, dog. I have never seen a bad bitch at none of that. I, 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 I don't am, want them bitches into that. I'm truly disturbed. I, I cannot believe. Okay, let me show you some black women. Here's some black. Let me see if I get these black women real quick. Right, we'll get back to the thing, guys. So we just, we got, we got that dog, Angry Man and Greg, trying to get this motherfucker the manner system and shit. This motherfucker want to be hardcore, not one of goddamn. Nah, women. Hold on, you're telling me you're telling me these black women right here, Comic Con, because they're not just white, they're black. So you're telling me you got these three black women right here. You're telling me 
that these nerdy Comic Con women, you would not smash any of these women right here. Do you see this bitch all the way to the right? I cannot. Nigga, I cannot. you you got hey, hey, keep it a hundred. I quit. I quit. This bitch got a fucking Spock shades on. I, 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 we're you know, into this shit. What the fuck you think you got damn right? That's why he's a Power Ranger. Ranger. That's why you are here, this blue haired Power Ranger bitch. Exactly. Guess what? Oh, guys? hell no, my nigga. I, 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 hey, no, hey, let me no, say this to y'all niggas, man. No, let me say this to y'all niggas, man. Fuck no. I like bitches to get their nails done, their feet done, French tipped. You understand me? I like bitches to put on dress. Oh, you, hey, you want me to wear this pencil dress? Look at, I don't want to see none of that other shit. So oh, you're telling me she's gonna be like, okay, oh my god, they're we're, we're in trouble. They're the monsters. Can you come save me? Go, go, Power Rangers. Let me. Be hey man, the- hey, <laughs> if I if I role play, it's gonna be something. I, I, you know what I do? I, let me just tell y'all the role play fifty do. You meet the bitch. You tell her you're gonna drop her off in the worst part of the neighborhood. I'm gonna circle the block twice, bitch, and I want you to come to the fucking car. And I'm gonna spit oh. this game to you. You gonna slap me up in the alley where we drive in there? That's that's, that's the role playing. Hey, Angry Man, it's a dark. Day. So the one to the right, you want to get that one? You want to get this one? Bro, we we can't be serious. Oh my, what? Are you serious? Sorry, Angry Man. I tried. Angry Man, I'm sorry, dog. I gotta apologize for my dog. Hey, Angry Man, right now has just. Hey, hey, no, bring that, bring that back up, bro. Hey, All Steve, right, bring that back because you picked this shit out. <laughs> nigga, look at these raggedy bitches. Now I like the little choke thing around her neck. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I like to choke a bitch around her neck. I, I put a little leash on that bitch right there. But at the end of the day, look at this bitch. You see her third eye on her face, and then the bitch to the left. I know she got rainbow boots that's about twelve inches high. I, I can just see it. I can't. Are you fucking? Well, nigga, I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I did not know y'all niggas was into this. Dude, exactly. So you know what? We will never have any issues in life. No way. <laughs> hey, 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 what's that song? What's that song with a uh, uh, motherfucking? It was Usher, and somebody else, same girl and shit. Art was it Art Kelly? Nigga, I never. We will never have the same girl. Y'all niggas can have these raggedy RV bitches. Now, 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 wait, now, hold on now. Now, I got to show you one thing. Now, 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 fifth. Now, before you lose your your shit right now, I want to understand now. There is a thing out there where you dress up like animals and they leave the slit open. So I want you to know, would you do anything with these right here? Oh, my. You know what, dog? I almost, <laughs> almost fucking logged off right there. <laughs> Nigga, if you Hey, Greg. Angry man. Greg and angry man. I want y'all to put in the chat. Y'all fucking these bitches? <laughs> Keep it a band. That's all I'm saying. My nigga, hey. Hey, angry man, Greg. Hey, I'm looking in the comments right now. Are y'all fucking in bitches right hey, here? Hey, Greg, I'll, I'll wait. Greg, I'll wait. Angry man, come on, Greg. Come on, angry man. Y'all know. <laughs> y'all, know y'all know what's up. Y'all, angry man and Greg. Hell no. Y'all know what's up. Y'all Hell, know. look at he said no, sir. Come this on. nigga, this nigga Greg said no, sir. Exactly, my nigga. That's Steve's a wild nigga. See y'all, what y'all don't know. <laughs> Angry man said it right. Angry man, right? They freaky. Hey, freaky. I seen Greg said yes. no, sir. Greg, stop lying, Greg. He Greg. did. He said it. No, he no. He said see, these bitches had you see, fur. You see, you see, Phil. You see, Greg, Phil, I, I, I on, fuck with chicks that I fuck with chicks, bro. Hell, Zag, you too. Oh, my nigga, boy. My nigga. Man, come on. Greg, hey, Greg. Hey, nigga, on, hey. Greg. <laughs> Greg, Greg, come on, Greg. You know, if she's like, oh, Greg, I'm coming over, and I'm going to wear that Wookiee outfit. Hey, hey, I know Angry Man did not just say that, dog. Hey, Greg, no Angry way. Man, hey. <laughs> my nigga, yeah, Greg, man, a wild nigga. This shit. nigga's a wild nigga, bud. Greg, Greg, see Greg hit it. You hey, like I boring love boring, but you right. I love boring, boring, ass. boring, basic bitches. I love them. So you I love a boring. No, no, look at the super chat that that, that, that angry man just said. Right, let's see what angry man. Look, look at it. Look Come at that on, shit, dog. Angry look angry at that man, shit, we got dog. You, dog. Hold on, let me see what my dog angry man said. He gonna break it down. Where is it at? Hold on. Oh my nigga, bud. This, on, this is. On. I'm gonna have to clip this. Angry man. This right Okay, my nigga just. Oh shit! What up, what up, Justin? 
Yeah, he, he just down, dog. He he on the His girl be like, I want to be a rookie, and I'm gonna dress up, and I'm gonna go, Hur! and I want you to fuck the shit out of me from the back. You wouldn't hit it from the back. You wouldn't from the back. Hey, look at this shit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, Angry Man. You hey. in the woods. Hey, you let me tell y'all, nigga, y'all. Hey, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna in say this. Woods. I'm I'm gonna say this right here live, Angry Man. I'm gonna clip this. In the woods. My nigga, Angry Man, Steve, Zag. <laughs> I, I'm gonna exclude Coach because he he said no, sir. No, if y'all fucking bitches with that fur outfit on, y'all some wild niggas, man. <laughs> no, y'all some, no. some wild ass no. niggas, man. You chase it down. <laughs> Angry man, get it. Angry man, Angry man has this nigga said, Hallen, hey, y'all so wild niggas, no. bro. I, did, hey, I, I can't. No. That, is, that is wild, my nigga. No, nigga. keep I, game. I, Angry man's I, got his cigar. He got his <laughs> anger hat on his lightsaber. He <laughs> tells them bitches to run in the woods, and he captures them with the lightsaber. Y'all so wild <laughs> niggas, bro. Hey. My dog, Angry man. My dog, Angry hey. man. I would never be able to go back to the hood, nigga, ever. Nigga, okay. that, that right there. Let me just say this, dog. Hey, nigga, I'm over here rolling, nigga. I cannot believe I did not know niggas was into shit like this, nigga. This is a, this is an eye-opener, nigga. How the fuck? I done been around some shit, nigga. I done been a motherfucking sex fucking shit, nigga, walking in on. Nigga, motherfuckers is orgy shit. I done been to a lot of shit. My, oh, my nigga. Oh, my nigga. Right there. What about that? Oh, That's oh you. my nigga, bud. Come on, what? First of all, you can't tell the gender of that motherfucker. No, you know she's the so one. You reach, reach up under there, Steve. You will reach up under there, Steve. And it, it will wake your mother. Steve, 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 will, Steve will reach up under there and try to throw on something. Oh, and he, he gonna get a hold of a of a something that he don't want. I'm telling you right now, dog. No, no, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, no, 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 Oh. You can't tell, my nigga. I, that's all I'm gonna say. Hey, I, hey, I don't care. Hey, I see a lot of motherfucking chat niggas in here. I, I see a lot of y'all motherfuckers into this shit. Let me just say this: Fifth is I like. Give me, hey, 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 Greg, give me the boring, basic bitch with glasses on. That all she, all she want to do is get her nails done. She want to watch Martha's fucking Stewart videos. The bit, the, the oh, hey, that's the type of bitch that I like. I like give me a regular bitch. I don't want none of them hood bitches, and I don't want no comic con bitches. They on the list now. Wait, wait, wait. So, so let me let me ask this you. Nigga. Here you go. Let me this nigga's so judgmental, bro. No, I, it's hard. This is hurt my heart. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I, hey, I'm telling y'all niggas. We get to Vegas, and y'all niggas start doing some funny shit, <laughs> nigga. I got to get on y'all niggas, man. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right, Fib. Oh, you have sexy women. Dress like this with the slit in the back. Would you hit? Nigga, you can't be sick. Nigga, I know you're just throwing shit up here now. You, right, you, got, right, you got, this right, has got to be a joke. That's too much. This has got to be a joke. I draw the line. I draw the line at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Steve is Steve is the nastiest nigga on the internet, bro. This is the nastiest nigga on the internet. Wait, you're telling me women dress like this? I gotta draw the line, man. That's too much. No, Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I'm saying you see them before, you don't know what costume they're wearing. It's nigga, like, nah, nigga. Steve, you are no, the no, nastiest no, no, nigga no. on the internet, nigga. I, I'm hurt. I, I'm really hurt. I, I'm Let hurt. me tell you something. Let me tell you I'm something. Hurt. I'm hurt. Hey, look, look, look. There, there's freaky. There's there, there's nasty, there's freaky, and then there's Steve. This is nigga, sad, then there's Steve, nigga. This is because nigga, when this nigga said, nigga, she they had a full wolf costume on, nigga. Yeah, of course. And you talking about you talking about doggy with a wolf costume on? Okay, wait, let's go. Angry you gotta man. have a fantasy to hit an animal to do no, some no, shit no. like that. You, you have you have to do it. Wait, you My nigga is beastie beastiality. Hold on, hold on. Let's take angry man with the weird. Hold on, wait, wait. These some me. weird niggas, no, man. No, no, no. You have Angry Man with his woman. You know how she looks. She dresses up in the animal costume, and she runs in the woods, and you chase her and capture her and fuck her. You're telling me you wouldn't let her do that. You wouldn't let her dress up in one of these Nigga, outfits, if any bitch, with. if any bitch even said that to me, she has to go. Angry Man, I, I will, nigga, she, let me just say, I would know first off, nigga, First off, how weird to be. I'll figure her out we in lost. one quick conversation. We lost. So I already know, my nigga. But let me just say this, dog. Let me just say this, bitch. See, at one point in my life, I, I was like Lil Wayne. I, I, hey, I wish I could fuck all the bitches in the world, right? I, I was like Lil Wayne. Hey, man, you know. 
But nigga, look, I will not. Hey, Comic Con ain't got to worry about fifth fucking they bitches. If you got if if your bitch is a Comic Con bitch, fifth is never gonna fuck your bitch. You got a weird motherfucking bitch. This nigga, this nigga Steve is nigga talking about bestiality no, no, animals. No, 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 no. no. That was a full week. Did you see? Hey, Zach, did you see the Zach? Did you see the full animal face, see, nigga? And, 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 and that's why I was all, Steve. I was no. with you up until you started posting the fucking dog and shit. Wait, 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 wait. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, listen, listen. What I'm saying is. I'm oh saying, my like, nigga, bud. Is, is that, nigga, is that Snoopy? <laughs> nigga got Steve got a Snoopy fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got a Snoopy fantasy, nigga. This nigga in the house with the football. And nigga, this nigga's playing, nigga moving the football for the bitches, nigga, so they can fall down so he can fuck her. No. What type of shit is this? I'm not saying that. I'm saying you know who the chick oh. is, right? Oh if my nigga, this is wow. I'm gonna put this costume on. I'm gonna wear a wolf or a costume on. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be making them the costume. And like Angry Man was saying, I'm gonna run around the woods. You get your lightsaber hey, and you chase let me, me down. Let me just say this. I'm, I'm gonna say this to, 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 to all y'all in the chat and, and, and my niggas, Angry Man and Greg. I'm gonna say this to all y'all niggas, man. If you like this shit, this tells y'all, y'all done fucked. Way too many bitches. You, laun, regular lingerie ain't enough. You get a regular lingerie ain't enough. I'm numb to regular non lingerie. Naked bitches. This is how you know we fucked too many bitches. When a nigga, when a nigga, when a nigga got Snoopy from the back, you want to hit Snoopy from the back. <laughs> nigga, it's too many regular bitches. Regular bitches is. Regular lingerie. I, I, what I happened to? I, hey, when I was coming up, it was a song called "T Shirt and Your Panties On." Nigga, I, I, no, I'm, is, I'm, I'm still fucking with that too. Yeah, y'all niggas I, is beyond this. Nigga. Yo, I saying. just want to point out that that the show was supposed to go in a different direction because of oh my, uh, 50s oh my nigga, sexual wait, wait, inversions. Wait, wait. We went in, a, in another direction. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're gonna just get saying. back. But I'm just saying. Hey, <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Hey, no. No. Hey, if you open Steve's closet door, <laughs> nigga, he gonna have motherfucking Power Rangers coming out of his motherfuckers. Why not? All type of dress, nigga. This, nigga, I, 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 I nigga, I'm wait, shook, my nigga. What I'm problem? Shook. Problem is, I'm just gonna keep it uh, all the way hundred, man, nigga. Andrew, man, hey, and I'm telling y'all right now, nigga. No. Hey, oh, I've shit. never heard this shit in my entire life, nigga. This is brand new to me, nigga. I'm dead hey, serious. No, hey, you make understand this, fifth. Angry man, follow me. Angry man, look, this is how she's going to do it. She, he knows how she looks. And she's like, angry man, I want to do some cosplay out in the woods. I'm going to dress up like a deer with nothing going and slit the back so you can fuck me. But all I want you to do is wear your cigar, put on your angry man hat, and grab your lightsaber, and chase my ass around while I fall up in the woods. And then when you capture me, you can fuck me in the wilderness. You no, know but that nigga Steve, if we see Steve 10 years from now with a case, and that nigga got a mug shot, this nigga don't fulfill one of his fucking wood fantasies, nigga. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga done chased the bitch down. I ain't, I ain't even got to read the police report. The police, I ain't even got to read it. I know he done chased the bitch down and done fucked the bitch in the fucking woods. And this is what I'm talking about. Uh, Steve sound like now, now Steve sound like a nigga that got one of them uh, double horse outfits. No, no, no. Hey, Steve, you probably might have to get Steve some fucking mermaids. Steve fucking mermaids and shit. Yes, <laughs> wait, why not? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You don't have the women. Oh that my nigga, like wait, 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 wait. I don't want no half looking fish, bitch. Oh, oh man, that nigga is wow, nigga. Oh my god. Wait, I so can't, you're, oh, shit, I can't you're, you're, you're telling me that you never had a woman say, "Let me dress up like a mermaid. I'll swim around, <laughs> you me, you and we can fuck." What? You never had mermaid sex? Oh my nigga, but I I cannot believe this is nigga. Wait. I'm a hood nigga, man. I'm not having mermaid sex. Are you see, look, look half fish, bitch? 
No, she's in the oh, beach. Oh, hell no. She's in the beach swimming like a mermaid. <laughs> Women dress like mermaid. They dress like mermaid. <laughs> what? They dress like mermaid. And they go in the water and you catch them and you catch them in the mermaid suit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Are you serious? This cannot be real, my nigga. Dog, it is this real. It's not real, blood. Motherfucker, this I is not real, my nigga. No, I promise. Oh my god, you. you're oh, telling me nigga. if your woman says I'm gonna dress up oh, like a mermaid, shit. I want to jump. Oh my nigga. nigga, oh you fifth done came so fifth done came so far, nigga. Nigga, I <laughs> I used to run around with niggas that used to say blood and cuss to niggas, man. You want you want, and you now want. I'm on the internet talking about fucking mermaid bitches, my nigga. Right. None of them bitches, right? Bring that picture back up. All right, here you go. Nair, what in them? These are some weird bitches. <laughs> Wait a second. Let me show you the black women. The black women dress like mermaids, too. Oh, I better not. I, oh, my sisters oh, no. better not be out here doing oh, they that. Are just, hold on. Let me show you. God damn it. I'm showing you. They, 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 they nerds, too, man. They nerds, too. They will dress up like mermaids, big dog. Oh, my nigga. Hold on. Let this me show is, you this shit. This, this is a wild. Hey, this, this show done there, turned left. There. <laughs> my <laughs> nigga, <laughs> but, my nigga, this this cannot. You never had mermaid. I, I, hey, hey man, mermaid. hey man. Let me just say this, dog. Man, this has got to be the most classic fucking show. Cause nigga, I've oh, never shit. in my entire life heard of no shit like this. Y'all niggas just put me on, and the more pictures you show, the worse it fucking gets. They dress like mermaids, and they just want you to fuck them like they're they're in the water, oh, and nigga, you bro. you capture them. Give me, hey hey, hey give me, give me a uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check out, check out what Coach Greg said, man. Oh, right. Greg, now, hold on, Greg, hold on, Greg, hold on, Greg, Greg. He said hold he on. got a whole <laughs> Hold on, Greg, hold on. That, that nigga do be pulling him out pretty quick, though. Hey, he, he got a ring, hey, I was <laughs> thinking the same thing. How is this nigga got all these pictures? Wait, 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 Greg. That nigga. Hold on, Greg. <laughs> You're telling me, Greg. You wouldn't fuck any of these women that said, let's have some mermaid sex, Greg. Come the fuck on, Greg. Greg. This nigga blood. Greg. Oh, my God. Greg. Oh, my Greg. God. Greg, you would not smash any of these mermaid bitches, Greg. You too, angry oh, man. This oh, my God. I, I, we this have, I'm speed. sorry. We'll get back to the show. Oh, I, my I'm God, saying, man. Nigga, I, this I'm, is, saying, uh, I, I'm hurt. Wow. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I didn't even I didn't even think about that nigga having this all on his hard drive though. Nigga, no, that hey this nigga is up. flopping. This shit is coming up quick. No, I'm just pulling up mermaid women that love to dress like mermaids and have oh, a sex. Yeah, have mermaid. They like to dress up like mermaids and they want you to capture them. They'll have them <laughs> split the back and you've hit them from the back. Why? Why y'all not pulling this shit? Yeah, up? Hey, man. <sighs> Hey, like I said, bro. Hey, long y'all niggas. Hey, long. Hey, this is, hey, Vegas. This is gonna be regular bitches, man. We we just we. All right, now Greg. See, well, now, Greg, Greg, now Greg said the bunnies, right? All hold right, on, what he say? What he Greg, say? He said, he, he, he said go back to go back to the pink toe. All right, hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Watch this. Watch hey, this. Ain't, ain't, uh, nothing wrong, ain't nothing wrong with bunnies. Regular bunnies. Give me the regular bunnies. No, no, no. We ain't talking about those bunnies. I'm gonna show you what Greg talking about. Greg, you know, talking I know you talking about though, but I'm. Oh, I don't know. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. No, let me let me, let me let me let me show Greg. Greg, Greg on Greg don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hold on, let me find one. Hold on, let me see here. All right, now no, let me see. Hold on, Greg. I, I I'm I'm understanding Greg. He wants a, a bunny rabbit outfit. Now, all right, so let's grab this button. Uh, that a bunny rabbit. All right, here we go. What about this? All right, what about this, Greg? Greg, what did Greg? Let us know. Th this your speed, Greg. This is a Greg. Greg said bunny. I'm going to give him bunny. Hold on. Now, Greg said bunny. Greg, let me know if this the bunny we talking about. Are we talking about a woman that tells you to come over dressed like this? Oh, my nigga. Bro. <laughs> what? Bunny. My bunny. nigga Steve. Uh, what? It's a fucking bunny. It's a fucking my nigga, bunny. My nigga Steve. Bro. It's a fucking bunny. <laughs> you can't be for real. It's bro. a fucking. What are you talking about? It's a fucking bunny. Hey, hey my nigga angry. My nigga angry man. Hey, send angry man the link, dog. Singer, right. man. Hey, 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 man, get your ass up here. Hold on. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm just going to keep it a band, my nigga. I'm going to say Angry Man. I, I don't want to think 
Oh. Nothing different than my nigga Steve, but no, no, this, no. This a wild nigga. This is a wild nigga right here, my yeah, nigga. Hold on, I'm gonna link up to Angry Man. Hold oh, on, Angry Man. No, we'll post it because we bring you up, Angry Man. And Greg, you, Greg, get your ass up in here. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, no, my nigga, it. my nigga is a. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, dog. I'm gonna mm-hmm. tell you right now, nigga. Nope. And, and I and I'm not just saying no because. Nigga, I I just don't like these type these type of bitches do nothing for me, my nigga. I don't like all these weird fetishes type bitches, man. No, it's sad, dog. I, like, I'm, like I'm I just you shocked. know, like it's it just like these bitches, you know, just just wow. Angry just man, check wild. the email. Angry man, email Greg. Let me know. I send you. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, man, I, I, it's it's crazy, man. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, it's, it's cool, man. If you don't want to get back to the video, man, this is oh, yeah, we got, we got angry, angry man coming up real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting to know each other in, 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 in a way that, that, that niggas wasn't there. Hold on, I'm gonna just nah, say, hey. say it is for angry man only and Greg only. So Greg and Angry Man, everybody else will get kicked the fuck out. This is for Greg and Angry Man. Greg and Angry Man, please come the fuck up. Greg, Greg and Angry Man, please come the fuck up right now so you can defend your hey. boy. Because you, hey. Greg, Angry Man, you nah, nigga, nah, boy. nigga, don't. Angry hey. Man said he oh. put the bitch in the woods. So, Angry Man, you got to be on my side hey. with this. No, kid. no. Zach Come said on, that too. I was cool with the with the cosplay and the Comic Con, <laughs> but when you had bitches in full wolf costumes, I'm like, oh, are you little, fucking serious? That's a little. That's a little too much for a hey, nigga. Hey, 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 thank you, Zach. You know what, Zach? I knew, I knew Zach was the guy too, dog. Nah, come on, nah. come on, my nigga, man, my Greg. nigga, Steve. Nah, fuck is that. a wild nigga, man. Nah, Greg is wild. That nigga's Angry into man, it. Wild that nigga's too. into it. They're wild too. The angry man just said the bitch running around in the woods with his uh, lightsaber. Nigga, Come on up, Angry Man and Greg. Come on up, please, so we all can go ahead and lace these guys with game, please. Um, Come man. on up, please. Uh, I, I, all I know, all I know is uh, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the chat, and a lot of these motherfuckers is not. It's, they, oh, come on, these motherfuckers. Know. They they understand me, dog. No, nah, they don't and understand. Steve me. They don't. counseling. No, I don't need counseling. Steve, I'm telling y'all, there are women out there. Steve, Angry Man, know they free. No, I, I'm saying that they understand me. Angry Man was the one that talked about chasing the bitch in the woods. So he understands me. He's got the light. That, that nigga Greg said he's about to come up, man. Here, Greg, because we got, you said All Snow right. Bunny. <laughs> and I just showed you a Snow Bunny. So you can't tell me you wouldn't smash that Snow Bunny, Greg. Come on, man. All I know is my nigga oh. that, hey, man, I, I never thought what? that out of a lot of motherfuckers, man, that my niggas, my nigga no, Steve. We gonna see how freaky Greg and Angry Man nah, come and nah, they nigga, they, they, these pictures and watch their ass light the fuck up. Greg ain't gonna start shining and shit when he see these bunnies. I'm about to show him. He will nah, fuck a bunny, a woman I, in a bunny I, outfit. I, 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 I don't understand, my nigga. No, nah, yeah, we I, I'm walking in and pop in. No, we 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 got y'all on the show, but no, we got our dogs coming in here. And we're gonna and I'm gonna show y'all I'm not the crazy this one. This shit is wild, I'm nigga. Not the crazy one, angry man, and fucking Greg know what the fuck I'm talking about. Nah, they nigga. Know I, this shit. I, I, hey, I'm gonna say it again. I, I'm gonna speak up for all the guys who don't like weird bitches. This I'm, is not I'm him, weird. Dog. How these is it bitches, weird? These bitches have fangs in their mouth, Steve. Because they want to play the role of the <laughs> El- Elfarian shit. God. They want to be an Elfairy. Oh, hell no. They they not, for, all, for all my, my Lord of the Ring bitches, I fuck with y'all, though. Oh my I, nigga, Lord I, I of the Rings. Fuck, I do fuck. Hold on, no, <laughs> my nigga it. Zag, my nigga, come no, on, bro. We, no, we gonna get that. We gonna get that out too, Zag. See Zag, come on, Zag. <laughs> my nigga Zag just fucked me up with that. Thing. <laughs> well, I'm about, hey, so y'all, so, so y'all, y'all fucking with Harry Potter bitches too? <laughs> yeah, damn right, we fucking with Harry Potter bitches. <laughs> hey, Greg, Greg, Greg. Greg. <laughs> Greg Adams, we yeah. love you, dog. Talk to hey, hey. Oh, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just say, oh, uh, it, it was old school. You know, he come from the old school. Look at my man right here. Good oh, lord. Fuck that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that oh, he, he don't know that the freakiest chicks out here is is these chicks right here, man. That's facts. Y'all know that they are the one a fifth. 
they've been having that missionary, <laughs> born ass, flat, uh, car ass tech. <laughs> I got my nails and my hair done. I don't got oh, it. my nigga, I just can't. Hey. I real, just real don't want to be quick. showing up with fangs and blood on her shirt because she want to play out a part. These are some real, weird bitches. Real quick. I, I, I've never met you, uh, uh, Greg, so salute to you, fam. Salute to you. Hello, man. What's going on, man? I'm a, I'm right, let's a, go, let's a Lord of the Ring bitch for you, Zach, because this motherfucker here don't want to fuck a Lord of the Ring bitch that's dressed oh, like I'm a I'm fucking with it, no doubt. I'm a fuck, but, but, but I can't fuck with the chick bitch. in a full wolf costume, though. Yeah, but. I'm not doing all that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know what? You know, thank you, Greg. Yeah, I'm not. You know that? That's what I'm talking about. This I'm dude, Steve. Sure. I'm telling you right now, dog. You know, cross the line, dog. No, 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 Greg. Yeah, my problem. Yeah. Beastie, no, no. Bestiality, dog. No, no, no. Some, no, no. some's wrong with him. All right, Greg. Snoopy, Greg. Snoopy con- costume. Right, let me break I, it. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. What up, AM? I wouldn't say I wouldn't if she showed up. Yes, look. Because look. Because them Gen Z, them Gen Z chicks, they off on another level. They will show up. They will show up like that. So where's the lightsaber, Angry Man? Where's the fucking Come on, lightsaber? bro? Bring hey. it home. Bring it home, Angry Man. Hey, hey, look, Fifty. I get what you're saying, bro, but I'm a, I'm a different kind of nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Got the freak here. Bro. Got the real freaks. That's I'm going. my dog. He going. Yo, I, yo, I would, yo, back in the day, fam, I smashed the chick in the woods without a costume, nigga. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> See, I don't mind without a costume in the woods. Okay, I'm with it. All right? You know what I mean? We want to play high and go get it or something, you know? But I'm talking about that's right. Look, I'm not. Look, did you <laughs> see the fucking full lion's mask and shit on? Y'all niggas is fucking. What is the one with the put the what? What is the beast with all the hair? Put that shit up, Steve. All right, let me that, try. That I, shit I, with I, all the hair. Yeah, the wolf girl. And you, what is it, nigga? There's no attraction. Wait, wait, wait. Zero. No, you know what's That's underneath? That's an animal looking bitch. If you know what's no. underneath no. it, and that woman says to no. you, you don't know what's underneath it. it. That's the problem too. You already know. See, the thing is, you already know what's underneath it. Right. She's coming so, over. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that. No, nah, I'm gonna say now nah, she's gonna have to come over with that. <laughs> no, by no, 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 no. I'm not yeah, fucking with that. You know it. If yeah. I already know she got it, hey, if I already know she got that in her her, her backpack, she said, I just want to wear this, daddy. All right, all right, all right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, all right. That's what I'm saying. Angry man, come on. Hey, you know the fuck hey. I'm talking about, man. Y'all know hey, that. Greg, come on, bro. You ain't gonna do you I'm see that mask? Yeah, what you talking but about? That is an animal mask, it's like a dog. Yeah, bitch, I'm not aiming for that. I'm not aiming for that. To, look, any bitch that want to be an Alaskan husky will never fucking fuck with me. <laughs> no, I will <laughs> never <laughs> fuck with an Alaskan husky bitch. <laughs> ever. <laughs> this is wild. Hold on, Angry Man and Greg. You you knew you see her face. She's like, Daddy, I got a fetish. Oh, I just I what I want to do. Angry man, I want you to grab your lightsaber and I want oh, you to grab your cigar nigga, is, and I want to oh. dress up like this in the woods <laughs> oh, and I want to follow you around in the woods and I want you to capture me and fuck the shit out of me and slump me over. You're telling me you're not doing this angry Steve Greg? is going to the pen. I'm not okay, you, you are going to the fucking look, pen, bro. Steve, the, the, I, I think there's two trains of thoughts and, and, and Greg Adams, he said it. If he already know what the girl looked like he been fucking her, right. first you want to put that shit on, that's different. That's but different. if you walk into... A joint, and you ain't even met the bitch yet, and she got on all that shit. You're like, nah. nah he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna, hey, fuck it, I'm gonna reach up under here. I'm gonna see what, I'm gonna see what it is up under here." <laughs> that what you saying, dog? Hey, I'm hey, going. I ain't with hey, did y'all see that? Um, did y'all see that episode of Entourage where they had to bet over who was gonna get some first? And um, they cross swords. And that shit. No, Johnny, Johnny actually linked linked Turtle up with a chick that was a it was a bad chick too. But she sent him to the dry cleaners to get the costumes. And he's like, oh, it's a furry, right? And Turtle oh, wouldn't furry. do it. Turtle wouldn't do it. But Johnny was like, fuck that. I done lost this bet. I'm going to do something. He had on a full yeah. bunny outfit smashing. What? <laughs> yes. That's what I'm trying hey, to tell man, I, I, It's wild. Like, I, even, even porn with the fucking leather mask on. I, I'm, I'm not with that shit. Man, how about, that's decent though. And the bitch don't do that though. Leather, they be having like leather mat. Not now. I hold on. Is my ski mask in this mama? Oh look, he got the leather mask on. It's just a matter of time. I, now, 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 so I do. I do have yeah, these. Though. I do have the ski mask. Put the ski no. mask on. Put the mask no, on. No, no, I, I'm just saying. I will. I will 
put that on yeah. for a bit. Now, the all women that got great fantasies, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they can't, let me yeah, let me yeah. comment. Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know about that one. Angry man, hold on, because I'm getting this is brand new to me, nigga. I, I, I swear to God, I've never heard no shit like this in my life. I know these two motherfuckers are freaky. I know they are. Angry man is twinkling. Nah, nigga. It did, nah, Steve. Steve, you're on a different level than these niggas, man. I'm hearing these niggas, man. Angry man. I don't think you. I don't think you're hearing yourself, my nigga. This nigga, look. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Bring up them three animals again. Them three animal bitches. No, not no. It was some other ones with just a, no, they was pure pink, blue, fuzzy, furry bitches. The wicked shit on. The now wicked remember, shit. Angry Man's a Star Wars guy, so he understands me. They my nigga is not hitting that. Yeah, Angry Man. Hey, hey, my nigga. They my nigga. My nigga. A A M A M. <laughs> my nigga, is you on, hitting angry, that nigga? You know what they are, angry. Come on, angry man. You hey. know, angry, angry man. You hitting that? Come on, angry. Hey. Come on, say. If, come if on. she if she bad under there, bro, I'm going. <laughs> bad, hey, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I, I already it. know. I can't Greg, do it. You come on, Greg. I can't do you it. Know too. If she already, if you already know her, I can see not knowing her. But yeah, you know, if you know her. So, if you so know, you rolled up. So, oh, Greg, if if uh, you rolled up in there in the spot and she was just like, hey. <laughs> hey, I, I need that today, right now. You want to you would decline that because you don't see how it looks up under there, right? You already know what she looked like. Yeah, you already know she she's cool. Like or if she, right. I, I couldn't do it. Hey, my nigga, I'm I'm cool with the little dress up, but I'm a dress up apron you. guy, bitch. I hey, put on the apron or something, yeah, bitch. Yeah, I, that's that's basically basically the lingerie, basic lingerie, bitch. Give me some nasty right. whole. Greg, yeah, you know I mean, mermaid, <clears throat> mermaids. If y'all had mermaid bitches, say fuck me, like catch me in the water and fuck me. Would y'all? Yeah, you, you had uh, you had those yeah. bunnies up there, snow bunnies that had the mermaid mermaid costume on. Put them up. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I have I have fucked chicks Wait. in a pool before. You know what I'm saying? I did some. Yeah, yeah, I done stroked oh, in the pool. Oh, no, not them. There was another one. Uh, oh, hold on, that little one in the front wasn't bad. Look. I'm he sure. got See that nigga, that nigga changing his mind slowly but surely. Nah, I ain't taking my mind, nigga. I just seen one right there. Face. Her face. Yeah, that's oh, hell no. What? Let me just what? say this to y'all niggas, man. Oh, man, you tripping, man. Every that's one of these bitches live in an RV, nigga. Every <laughs> one of these bitches. <laughs> Every one of these bitches live in an RV. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it. I Are can't do it. Hey, y'all my niggas, but y'all my niggas, but let me just say this though. I'm, a, I'm and I'm gonna say this, and I'm and I'm keeping it real, nigga. I've never learned something so quick today, nigga. I never even knew this shit existed, my nigga. Like I, I I'm, I'm a uh, Wolverine, nigga, man. They just call me that in college, but but my my nigga, I don't, I just like, I, I don't like bitch. Look, this nigga got the mug out. Look at this nigga, man. Got the mug. It's everybody. some shit. Mug, this okay. shit is wild, nigga. I, I I'm hey, all right. Hey, I learned a lot today, man. I appreciate y'all niggas, man. I learned a lot today. Steve is on a different level, Great. different type of level, my nigga. My nigga Steve was good knowing you, nigga, because you got about five years left before they figure you out, nigga. <laughs> they gonna figure my nigga Steve out, my nigga. And when they do, niggas gonna be all over YouTube, nigga. They gonna have you. <laughs> gonna have Steve you ain't out. fucking none of these. You ain't fucking none of these. None of these. <sighs> The one, on the, left, the one on the left ain't that bad. She looks a little choky. I could choke the shit out of that bitch, but <laughs> I, I'm just saying overall, I don't I'm not into that fucking costume. No legs and shit. You won't get what her. What we gonna do? You won't get what her. What we gonna do in that? Capture her. You capture what, what her. What we gonna do? She can't even throw it back. And, and you well, you flip her over and she cut the slit in the back. Oh, um, see now he's talking. Back. See, Steve's just talking this shit, bro. <laughs> you, you gotta be trolling. You trolling, Steve. Just no, keep it on no, y'all are hurtful. Y'all are really hurtful. My nigga, I, hey, man. Hey. I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to oh, keep it real, dog. It's almost seemed like a troll. You cannot be serious right now. No, I'm dead. Because, though, I'm looking at these bitches. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Go. You, you ain't never been watching Star Trek and seeing James T. Kirk with the green chicks and the blue I'm chicks. I'm looking at Techie. Thank you. I, 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 ain't, I ain't seen them Techies. I, 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 I'm not, I, don't, I don't like the Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't do the see them. Maybe because I don't do sci fi shit. Word. Like, 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 I, I don't do the um the zombies, the all that shit. Now I watch, I like gladiator shit. Nigga. I like fucking Viking shit. You know what I mean? I do shit like that. So what if the chick? What if the chick dress up like a Viking? You know, oh, a Viking right. bitch look like a regular bitch though. Oh no, that no, just, no, that, no, that, no, that's no, just no. a bitch with that, that's just a bitch. If you have you been to Berkeley, California? You, have you been? I know, I know. Greg probably had you been to Berkeley, right? <laughs> Berkeley, California. Yep. Them, them look like Viking bitches out there. They, they that's what they look. That's how they dress. Viking weird bitches walking all day long weird. with Converse on. Hippie, they got yeah, Converse yeah. on. Yeah. Right. The, the, I don't you, know what they doing, you know what they doing when they go home? 
<laughs> you know, you hey, you dress up. Up. dressing up. So yeah, they dressing up. So you're telling me she called you up with this outfit you ain't fucking at? Now that that right there, see that's a reg, that's a Berkeley bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, nigga, that's how they look out there, dog. Now the little I'm that's telling that's bitch, man, the barbarian shit. I, I fuck with bring that, that too. Bring that back up. Bring that back up. Yeah, see that. Now I will tell you. Now I will tell you that's not bad. But I'll tell that bitch, take the hat off, bitch. Just take Why? the. I don't want no horns coming out of a bitch head. <laughs> All that shit, nigga, just fucks me up. Let me tell you something. When I was like twenty something, I would try it. Because the stamina at 20, I was a mother, I was a monster. At this age, oh, nigga, I'm shit. not going in there not performing right, nigga. She's gonna be like, oh, he we. She tell what? like 10 people. I hey, I would be turned off to the motherfucker. I'd be like, bitch, it's over. Bitch, get out. Wait, you know, wait. just too many, it's too many all this dress up, all this old shit, bro. I I'm I'm telling you, dog, I'm cool with the the lingerie. Y'all niggas done fucked a lot of bitches. Yeah, y'all tell you what, y'all, y'all didn't start out talking about this, but y'all had my stomach hurting over here, bro. Like like <laughs> 1950s outrage about this. Like, this is crazy, this, bro. Hey, I'm keeping it. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm keeping it real because nah, nigga, I, this is the first time I'm really seeing this shit, nigga. Right. Ever? Wait, wait. Ain't none of my niggas ever brung this up. Never, never. Ain't nigga ever fucked up. Look at, come on. <laughs> Come on, my nigga. Wait, what? Look what? at the bitch fingers, bro. Look at the bitch fingers. She's an alien. She's an alien. Know, this nigga has this nigga has fantasies about fucking alien bitches. No, I'm saying she's an alien. Nah, nigga, you got to be into this, Steve. No, no, I'm saying if that's her kink, if she wants you to I don't want that. I don't want that, man. <laughs> Call me a ba- I'm a basic nigga, man. You right. That's why they, that's why I'm 1950. I'm old school, nigga. I cannot oh, do hey, bitches man, like that. Hey, hitting, hey, Greg, angry man, I'm going to pop one up. Tell me you ain't hitting this angry man and Greg. You ain't hitting this alien bitch. Come on, my nigga. She you got four fingers. Bitch. Y'all fucking bitches with four Come fingers? On, let, me, let me look at their face. Go ahead. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody can see what's under there. Look at that. 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 That's easy. Oh, oh hell no! The bitch got eyes on her head and shit. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. Y- y'all remember that one Star Trek joint where the chick was a Borg? Y'all remember her? Yes, yeah. the Borg bitch. Yeah, I'm hitting that. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. I know oh, who I'm talking about. Getting got more. I'm just saying. Right, I'm who is this? No, I don't, I don't watch Star Trek. So All right, I'm a Trekkie. See, I'm, see this I'm is what I'm saying, dog. Like I'm a Trekkie. I got you. I, I think this video right here. You know, you know what I'm talking about, Steve. This is about. this is gonna be on World Star. <laughs> and they go and they're gonna say every one of your YouTube guys done like bitches with four fingers. Okay, now look, now, 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 fifth is gonna kind of be out there. Now I want you to, to now come to, on, my nigga. Oh, every, oh, hold on, hold on, real quick before you put it up, Steve. Yes. Is it you working? know that you're picking this because you like this shit, my I, I, nigga. I, 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 and so I, I, what I'm saying is, be careful what you put up right now, nigga. I'm gonna hold you to this shit, nigga. I'm keeping it a band. I'm saying, all you guys, you know she's sexy as fuck. You know she has a body. But if she dressed like this and want to fuck her, you fucking her. Oh, oh my nigga. Oh <laughs> my nigga, blood. What? Yes. What? Yeah, that's what? Oh my nigga. Come on, stop. On, on, on stop. everything. I, I was not I talking about that. Shit. Be- I'm talking about I the other shit, my nigga. I cannot <laughs> believe. <laughs> Hell, oh, nigga, one eye bitches. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, and not just that though. Look, bring it back up, though. Bring okay, it back up, though. Bring it back up. And she want she want to fuck. Her whole hygiene don't look solid. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, look at this raggedy bitch. Are you Steve? Come on, my nigga. She has she painted her face. No, if she dressed up like this. You know she legit. She dressed up like this. <sighs> I don't think nigga, I'm telling you, Steve. I'm 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 chopping this up, Steve. It's, it's all about you, my nigga. <laughs> Steve is exposed. No, exposed, uh, Steve, my nigga. Like I and, and I hear, look, I hear, I hear, I hear AM and I hear Greg and I hear Zach. But my nigga, they're not picking these photos, my nigga. You no, are no, picking I'm, these photos. I'm just grabbing off the internet and showing you. Off the no, internet. but you're grabbing them because you have to like them to no. put them up. Okay, Greg, angry man. Y'all know y'all old school. If you dress up like Smurfette. Oh, oh my nigga. Oh my nigga, bud. Nah. Nah, that nose is that nose is messing with me. Nah. Okay, so oh, me. hold on, AM, hey, but you can you you can bang bitches with four fingers, but the nose is the problem. That nose is that nose, bro. 
Oh my God! I can't believe this is a real life thing. This, this is a real life. Thing. Oh God, just, just give me. You know what? You know what? Just, just, just give me the, oh, the regular, shit. the regular church freak holes. Uh, <laughs> give me the church freak holes. I, I, I'll stick to them because I can. Can let me? I'm telling you, I'm going to fly out to this Comic Con shit, and they're gonna kick me out within 20 minutes. I promise you, because nigga, I'm just looking around at these motherfuckers, man. Like I, I can't believe this is exists, and it's grown men dressing up like this too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody dressed yeah. up. Everybody dressed. Not everybody, yeah. but yeah. So, AM, you said you went, dog. Did you dress up, AM? Keep it a band. You dressed up, AM, when oh, you went. I, I've never got to go. Oh, you didn't get to go. No, what about this? Oh, because because my nigga, uh, 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 Greg, you 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 said it was in Anaheim, right? Yeah, you go to WonderCon, so they got all yeah. these cons. So I go to, I was, I'm sitting here trying to find pictures of me at WonderCon on my phone. Oh, my nigga, but, uh, did yeah. you dress up? I didn't dress up, no. But okay, I'm, I'm, at I'm least you keeping it, a, keep it a band. That's all. Is, that's all that matters. But uh, um, I was oh my nigga, nigga, she has fur. Greg, but, uh, Greg, Greg, yes or no? <laughs> Greg, <laughs> come on, nigga, yes. yes. Greg, a, yes. A, yeah. uh, angry man, this bitch this. has fur. Look, look at that. Look at his face right there. Look at his look at his lighter. He's lighting the fuck up on that shit. <laughs> angry man, come on. Yeah. So why not? Yeah. Why not? Man, she, man, she, she cute. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute. The, the lightsaber and get in the knock her wookie ass down. But look, I this, thought I was a nasty nigga, man. No, this we had one hey, hey, of the time right here. This one you and Greg. Go ahead. Go ahead, Zay. Show me. Yeah, one of the time last year. That, so what are you talking about? What the fuck? That's Thelma and Daphne. Hold, yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Greg. Uh, no, that no, one's gonna be too shit. That mean, little tall, that little tall, that little tall bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 see, Greg done pick some regular bitches out. We can find those bitches right there at uh, <laughs> you know, at Hilltop Mall in the Bay, man. We hey, we can find them two bitches like that. But I'm, I, hey, they ain't bad. See, yeah, but you, hey, now yeah. I don't mind that one. Them two right there, those look like regular bitches with a little. Little skanky outfit on. So but this nigga, man, I'm not with this little fur, the wolf, nigga, the, 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 the shit coming out the head, the extra eyes, the four fingered bitches. I'm not with nigga. Come on, this is a certain type of weird. Look, this, this, you, you oh not, my god, this, oh, look, look, look. hold on, hey, blow, blow him up, blow him, blow Greg back up, man. Right here. Let me see if I can find a couple more for you. Come uh, on, hey, Sean, what's up, Greg? Come on, I'm at the at the WonderCon right here. He, let me see if he might like. Oh, see, yeah, she, he ain't gonna like this girl right here. Look, hold up, nah. Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is that? <laughs> look, my nigga. I, hey, let me. That's let me. and them again. Nah, you good? Yeah, I like them. Like them too. There. That's why I said them. Them you was like a cool them. right there. I like them. Look, yeah, what, them. It sound, what it sounds like is you like you like either black women or they thick. I, I don't. I don't. They don't need to be. They could be any motherfucking race. I. I do not. I like them all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like all. I like them all. And then beyond with you. Uh. Yeah. I don't like. Like I said. I can go if I want to see some Comic Con bitches. You just go to fucking any local liquor store, and they coming in and out of that motherfucker, oh man. My God. Them Comic Con bitches. Y'all fucking them. Y'all fucking them pink red hair bitches coming out of the store. This is sad. I. I I'm so. I'm sad. just saying. Them them hood bitch. I'm good no, on them hood bitches. I'm not doing. It. So I know you, Greg. I know Greg. You know me. Money. I ain't coming to the hood. I know AM ain't either, man. Yeah. Nah, that's okay, different. Wait, wait, wait. That's, so that's different. Let's go, Scooby Doo. All right. So you tell and me. That's what I said, Anger Man. It's different. When you're talking about the hood chick with all the colored hair, it's different than this. It's different. None of these. You ain't fucking the chicks. Are you serious? Look, the chicks at Comic Con, they dressing up like that for one day. The chicks in the day. hood think that's normal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. in the hood is raggedy. Them's a raggedy yeah, bottom yeah. of the barrel yeah. bitch. Yeah. He's a different. Yeah. He's completely different. Hey, that, now bring that back up, Steve. Nah, I see one in there. Nah, I, that one in the little blue in the middle right there with the little glasses on. I'll just tell that bitch to unwrap them little buzzes at the top of her head. But other than that, <laughs> I like this little, yeah, that little outfit. See, that's a normal fucking outfit. That's like some Scooby-Doo shit. But I don't. I don't even know. I never watched really Scooby Doo. You didn't watch Scooby Doo. We all watched. I heard. I watched Scrappy or something now, nigga. But I wasn't no. I was a hood nigga, man. I was watching Soul Train, nigga, and wrestling, nigga. I I watched that, nigga. I mean, we went out. We was outside. I was outside, nigga. I had no TV like that. Y'all niggas was watching cartoons. Come on TV. What you talking about? I wasn't. I was outside, nigga, all day. 
I'm, I'm not trying to tell you. But you know, on the real though, I'm glad I really heard the different side of freak niggas. See, this is why these bitches is out here three oh fours now. This is what we say. <laughs> these bitches is wild bitches. These are some wild bitches. How the fuck ain't wild though? And now I know that nigga. I can't fuck every bitch in the world. What about Daphne? You read about this? First of all, she got to been that over, and, and she been over that far, and she barely got a starter kit back there in the back. <laughs> that bitch barely got any. I think she got one cheek that's all together. Oh my god! She has no slit back there. Yes. There's that, nigga. There's no slit back there. That bitch. That that bitch is a. That was a bad picture for her. I, I hope she's embarrassed. 50, 50 that was a pretty bad picture. I'm just keeping it on it right. That was pretty bad right there. Now if she was hanging out. You know what I'm talking about. The ones it was if, the, if she was hanging yeah, out yeah. right there. Come on now. That's all I'm saying. But that, I, all, these I, women, I got it. all these women ain't hanging yeah, out. But oh, you I, I seen a know. Hulk bitch. I seen a Hulk bitch on somebody's channel. I don't know what it was, but she was all green, my nigga. She was like a she hulk or something. And I turned that shit immediately. That shit turns that turns my stomach, my nigga, like a bitch. Looking I'm saying, weird. I'm saying you like you you like the bitch to do the dress up and rob you and shit when you busting her at, at a door. Yeah, I rob bitches. I don't go in the bitch. Ain't no bitch ever coming in on me though. That ain't that ain't how I roll. Greg, angry man, any of these? <sighs> these are regular bitches, Steve. Well, I don't. I don't I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't like none of their bodies. They ain't, they ain't got no curves for me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't really working with nothing. For me. Yeah, I took that. Know, I don't know that one with the chain in the middle. I took the shit out of that bitch right there. <laughs> The two in the middle, what? Nobody. Yeah, take I, that. The two yeah I'll take the, the yeah, two in the yeah. middle. Yeah, I like. I like. Yeah. Balance, you know, man. Man, that's man, that's that's going on. That's a 1950. That yep. when you roll up, you roll up to uh, WonderCon, and you tell them bitches you're gonna seduce them to the dark side of the force. There yeah, you go. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. What is that? <laughs> they gonna hold up in his arm. Hey, they gonna hey, call. Yeah. Hey, yeah, what is that? They gonna crawl in your arm, dude. I saw this. I saw this girl at WonderCon. She basically, had, I mean, she barely had anything on. She was just looking to get real. She yep. was just looking. They come, they come there looking to get. Uh, See, I'm a, I'm gonna have to go dressed up as a boondock nigga, man. I'm a boondock, I'm a boon, I'm a boondock nigga. I'm gonna go in there, boondocks. They gonna just cussing bitches out, man. Riley, I'm a little Riley. I'm gonna go in there, a little Riley. Gonna you know, jump right in your arms. That's what they looking for. They looking for. So, hey, I gotta give it to Greg. Greg got pictures. This nigga was there. Yeah, that that nigga is living his life. I gotta live this life, man. I, I'm missing. Yeah. Now. I'm gonna go out here, man. I'm a I'm a blog. I'm a vlog this shit. Yep, I got a vlog. My, I went out there, and vlogged it. There's a whole bunch of people out there, man. Girls, guys. Um, and Anaheim is a it's a, Anaheim's kind of a you know you know you you out here, Cali. I mean you're out there now, but yeah. But I'm just saying, like Anaheim, some weird motherfuckers out there. That's like Berkeley down there, nigga. Some weird it's weird everywhere because Anaheim is the Anaheim one is before the big one in San. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Oh, you said it's one in San Diego too. That's the big one, Comic Con. Big one, Comic Con in San Diego. Yeah, yeah always, oh. always miss the damn tickets, man. You gotta, yeah. you gotta be on. Point you gotta be on. That's why I said don't go to Comic Con because uh, the tickets come out probably about like they come out like in May, mm -hmm. and then they gone. They gone. gone. As soon as they come out, in gone. seconds, the same day they gone. And they gone. Yeah. Like so it's like fucking man. Beyonce concert and shit. Yeah, they gone. Like oh, everybody's oh, waiting. Please. So you gotta go to WonderCon. Go to WonderCon because put that picture back up. Oh, yeah, look at I'm fucking with Cat Girl. Look at uh, this. I'm fucking with that. Oh, that's obvious. I mean, that's easy. Which one is Cat Girl? Cat Girl on the left. Either one of them. Either one of them. Come on. <laughs> I'll, I'll take. Give me the give, give me the the Asian man. But the, I, I don't know, man. It's just kind of hard. I'm on the fence about her. He said, I'm, I'm on the fence, man. I, you know, the bitch had a sword in her hand, and she, I don't like no. Don't bring no weapons in the room, bitch. <laughs> so y'all like weapons in the room too? Y'all cool with a motherfucker with a bat with with fucking a uh, barbed wire on the tip? Y'all like that shit? <laughs> well, yeah. If she wait, 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 wait. <laughs> y'all wild niggas, man. So you telling me you can have a sword fight? I don't. Oh, Peter nigga, Stevie, are fuck? you fighting bitches in the room with swords and shit, Steve? A lightsaber fight. Come on, Greg. Greg, you fighting bitches in the room with swords and shit? Come on. 
Lightsaber. Hey, what you what you don't know is that's part of the role play, man. They want to the thank you. They want to be taken down, man. They 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 want to lose the fight. They want to lose the fucking fight. I'm telling you, he don't know, man. They, they fight and then they oh win. my nigga. Oh, um, hey, oh, oh, you got me. I'm a basic nigga, man. Yeah. I guess I'm I'm fucked. Yeah, you got fucked. Hey, if you messing with any girl under 24, you got to put up with this shit. Yeah, you got. That. Oh my nigga, but I I cannot believe. I don't I don't I don't I'm not I'm not with the I gotta put up with it. I, I to me, I'm cool with with women being themselves around me because I'm always gonna be myself around a bitch. So I'm cool with women having the freedom and the vulnerability to say this is who I am, this is what I'm about, and as so long Zach, as I don't what I got going on, let's do it. Zach, so you 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 cool with a a, a, a she Hulk? With a fucking sword in the room. I already told you. Bro. Look at this. Look at this bitch with the weapon. It's coming off. Turn that down. I ain't gonna lie. She 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 ain't bad, right? But but but, but that is something. She got to put down. She got to put down the weapon. That's the and whatever the fucks on her head. That's the fight. You got to fight her. To I slam bitches her. all the time. And let me get this. Hold on. Let me just say this. I pick bitches up and slam them all the time. We we fucking. <laughs> I throw them all the way on the other side of the motherfucking bed. Miss the whole bed and everything. They fall on their shit. I go over there. I don't even see if they're okay. I'm stroking. They hold their head and shit. I mean, that's the fun part. But y'all, I, I'm, I'm not going to bring... Look, y'all motherfuckers like this. Hole, bitch. Hole. And stabbing bitches with fucking swords and shit. So let me get this right, Steve. And I'm going to say, keep it a band, my nigga. Yes, keep it a band. Dark Vader sword that light up. Yes. You you in the room. In the light. Turn the lights off. And Ass naked with this bitch. <laughs> and go in here sword fighting with a neon fucking <laughs> my nigga. My nigga home. Where is where is the where is the leave, where is the leave panel button, nigga? You did not fucking I know you're not out here doing that. Yes, oh, shit. Why, are you? Why wouldn't you? Man, let me see. Not me. Oh, hey, my God, nigga, God, this God. is this is some eye opening <laughs> shit, my nigga. <laughs> I, I've never, oh, oh, I, I oh, never oh, show oh, my dad oh, my video. I never show my dad's my videos, my nigga. But I gotta show the nigga this. Though. Okay. I'm, I'm going yeah, to the I'm nigga house for tomorrow. Uh, so, so you never role play with a woman? Like, like yeah, when you role play the basic role play. Yeah, the basic role play, bitch. I'm gonna drop you off, mm -hmm. off over there, off off my fucking Fillmore. I'm a, in a block. In the block, she's in the fucking block, bitch. Dressed like a hoe. I'm gonna circle this block two times. Hey, hey, and I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna slide the window down and I want you to bend that motherfucking ass over and talk to me in the motherfucking car. You know what, bitch? Get in. We're gonna hit the alleyway around this corner. I'm a, I'm I'm gonna jump in the back seat of this motherfucking vehicle. See, I'm. I'm is that basic to me? No, wait, wait, wait. Is that a, that's what? basic hood. <laughs> hood legend, hood playground shit. Watch this, Fifth. You have the music. Dun, 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 and the lights are out. I don't even like that music right there. <laughs> Let us fight. Come on, you my nigga. You cannot win with the force. And she's got the lightsaber lit the fuck up. And y'all start from the living room and battle it out through the kitchen. To the goddamn all the way to the bedroom. I, I really like, pray. Well, you do. I really pray that my son is not watching this episode right now. <laughs> and you hey. knock her hand out. She says, "This I will is." Submit. Do you understand? She has a dark Vader fucking mask on with bubble eyes. What the? What the fuck? And look at look at the angry man. Look at him lighting <laughs> up. Look at him lighting <laughs> the fuck up. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't wrong he, he like, he like I, I'm, I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking hey. with shorty. Yeah. What the fuck I'm talking hey. about. Hey, 1950. I'm gonna be Obi Wan Kenobi on that <laughs> like real shit. Oh this my is... God, are you? I, I tell that yo. I tell that bro yo. I'll be like, if you stroke me down, I should become more powerful. <laughs> oh my you could ever imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh I will strike oh. you down with cum in your face. Oh. You tell her. You tell her. You tell her, man. Release the force. Release right the force. There. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't do this. Hey, and you, hey, you know what y'all saying? Y'all saying shit I've never heard in my life. Release the hey, force and all this. Hey, I've never heard these terms. Hey, hey, right, right after it's over, you be like, 
Force is strong with that motherfucker. <laughs> strong with that motherfucker. When you, wow. you, you ain't hitting this? Look you ain't hitting this sword battle where she's swinging? And first, then you... of all, first of all, I have to see her face, right? Oh, oh my God. You got to see her face. And you, you need to see her face, really? And then no. when she put it on, I just lose respect for this bitch. Like, get out of here, you fucking, you fucking bitch. Get out. You ruined it. You fucking ruined it. Damn. You oh, go put your, hey, oh, I want to, I want to spice it up. Hey, 1950, I ain't gonna lie though. She's definitely getting out right after because I'm gonna be disgusted <laughs> with the whole situation. Right after, I'm gonna be disgusted with the whole situation. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I I've been there before. Uh, like, I, 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 I hit something. I'm like, man, why the fuck did I do? <laughs> what was I why the what was I thinking? I'm a horrible motherfucker, man. Yeah. <laughs> And next week, yeah. you're gonna be calling her over. Yeah, 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 over. Yeah, you, next, yeah. week, next week, you're going to be calling her right back up. All right, bring the goddamn yeah, man. Hey, it's so wild because you say that you so right, dog. But man, I done said. All right, man, next week is going to be. Soon, soon as you right get, soon as you get something that just ain't feeling right on you, I think I don't fuck some nasty bitches in my day. What type of bitch? Now, I'm telling now, you, dog. Now, Fifth, don't judge. Now, Fifth, it's gonna be a hard one, but Fifth, I know you can. I can find you in it. You can get this one right here, Fifth. What about this one? Oh no, mm, them, them nah. tentacles messing with what? Come on, you <laughs> only hit it from the back. Mm-mm. You hold the tentacles no, no, in see, 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 Steve, see, Steve, 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 always taking too far with this shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you hit that? Oh, hey, hey. Here, Steve, right? do you know what that will look like from the back with that motherfucking shit right there on her head? <laughs> You you're you're some- fucking it. You're fucking it's like something out of this world, my nigga. <laughs> nigga that that right there should shrivel. If that don't shrivel you up, it's something wrong with you, nigga. You if you don't have a, if you not wormy down there, you after that bitch got that on her head, you, it's something wrong with you, my nigga. You earthling motherfucker, come fuck this fucking <laughs> Martian <laughs> red pussy. God motherfucker. did not create. Hey God, hey. That, that's saying God created us all equal. We're not. You know what? Yeah, I, I got to ask Steve a serious question. Steve, what? have you ever had sex with a midget? Oh, no, no. shit. I, I, I like to. That'd be kind of cool. Man, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I done knocked, it. I knocked this one in college. <laughs> nigga, she was a dwarf in her arm. Let me tell you about it. Her arm was like this, my nigga. Like, let me show you right here. See, her shit, her see, shit was like this. See, nigga, she <laughs> couldn't even. Hey, no way you talking about Steve and you fuck the door. There ain't no way. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. She was like this. She couldn't even cross her hand. She was like this. She couldn't even get it all the way. She was like this. <laughs> was, hey, my nigga, and I met her on the flu. <laughs> motherfucker, I was late to class. You know, you a motherfucking athlete and shit, no, motherfucker. You don't go to class all the time. Oh I was God. running to class. I seen the bitch. Uh-huh. But, you know, I came from the rear, and it, it was just uh-huh. like this. I was like, God. <laughs> so I slowed down, and she waited at me like this and shit, nigga. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I, I didn't even finish the class, my nigga. We, we, we. Hey, you can't, you can't call nobody freaking out. Hey, call hey, her, her, leg, her leg was about this big, my nigga. <laughs> So, so hold on, just, hold on. So y'all wouldn't hold on. Let me get this right. Y'all would smash these weird bitches with these. Oh hell yeah, nigga, she get it. <laughs> she will get it. Now this, <laughs> this dude just <laughs> hold on. This dude set up there and calls <laughs> people freak, and he out there. You gonna bend that over? <laughs> like, she, oh my you God. Hey, well, first of all, there's no bending <laughs> over. <laughs> that, hey, hey, she's no. You can't bend that over. You had to lift her up to help her uh, get that. Her Come head, on, my nigga. Her head oh is her head is three two times bigger than the rest of her body. Look at it. You see that head? Hey man, I don't know Steve's coming back with it, but he but I'm just gonna say this. So y'all, y'all won't mess with those little, y'all won't let mess with the little ones, but you can do something with a bitch that's coming out of her forehead. Dog, what the fuck is the difference between this? Look at this, look, look at that bitch with chick coming out of her forehead. But you won't mess with with this? You can't even pick- come on, money. Look at this bitch. Really? I don't like the. I never like the little arms. I don't like the little arms. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, she can't really reach shit. I don't like a bitch that can't really get to the seasoning cabinet. You know what I mean? So she can't. She can't get to the seasoning cabinet. Bitch. We can't fuck with each other. But I would say, I was in college then, my nigga. Right now, in this day, oh, fifth, shit. I, I couldn't fuck with no. Uh, you know, you gotta at least be five feet, bitch. You gotta be at least you're five. You're picking feet. this over. You're picking this. Oh come on, she got it. You over this. He's One so billion percent. 
Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on. Come on, Greg. <laughs> you not knocking that down, Greg? <laughs> Greg. Come on, Greg. I see you debating. I see you debating. <laughs> Greg is debating. Greg. Greg is debating. Come on. The first, the first one, that was a no. The first one was a no, but... uh. <laughs> Come on, AM. Join the party. I wouldn't let nobody know. I would definitely wouldn't let nobody know about it if I did it. Hey, go, go, go back. Go back. Go, go back to the second one. Go back to the second one, Steve. Wait, compare, nigga, nigga, she got dimples, nigga. She got dimples, nigga. I might, I might, I might have to go ahead and submit to that. Exactly. Go ahead exactly. Hey, all I'm saying is, like, like it's not her fault she can't really grab a pencil and write with it because her hand ain't big enough to write with a pencil. But I, I, I would say, I would say, come on, dog. I will take any one of them two bitches over damn near ninety nine percent of the bitches y'all just showed me. Are you I'm gonna keep it a band. I cannot do those weird bitches right there. How? Hey, give me, give me a little bitch right there. I'll put that bitch. <laughs> let me tell you something, dog. I will have a, I will, I will go and I and, and call me a simp right now, nigga. I'm going to buy a step stool. <laughs> I'm going to buy a step stool because I ain't gonna be looking at this bitch all the time. It's gonna hurt my back, so I'm gonna buy a step stool for the bitch. <laughs> and the bitch is gonna I mean, be about I, five three already. I, that, this, this something that's something that ain't quite right about that that little one. Something yeah. ain't quite right. That shit is like, I don't know, man. The thighs being that short. I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah, man. There's something hey. about that. There's something about that that got to be wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right she, now. She, she's in really good shape for a small chick. You know what I'm just saying? Hey, you know, she, got, she got the belly. You know know, what I'm saying? The belly, you know, good. goodness. You know, you know, chicks got them little belly ring buttons. They, they be freaks and shit. So, you know. Hey, hey, hey Zag sound like he's lusting. That nigga is slobbering over there. <laughs> So, nigga, that bitch, dude, hey, I'm not gonna lie, dog. All I'm saying is, I had one experience. Uh, I had spinning one experience. Like, Who's this? That's a regular bitch. A bitch. I, and I don't want. I don't like Kylisha from, uh, you know, from around the way. I'm I'm good on them bitches right yeah, there. Them, them bitches, them bitches will key your car. I, I not like the alien. You, you can be nice to one of them bitches. They gonna key your car, dog. I don't, I don't program them bitches. They don't know no different. You know, like <laughs> you, the they don't know no different. You right though. Them bitches is wild. They yep. they out there wild. I'm good, but I I tell you one thing. I will take. I don't like. I I can't like this little women of whatever they got going on. This little dust. I can't do nothing. Like right now on this age, I'm saying this age. I can't do. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> what? Come on, Steve. What? No, no, Steve. Steve, no, no, that's Steve, that's, no. That's, no, that's, what? Dis no. that's disrespectful. You got, you got no. No. That's the costume. No, no, Steve, Steve, that bitch will kill you right after. Steve, she will fucking stab you up right after that. A nigga do got hey, You know what? You know what a praying man is. Hey, Steve. You know what a praying man is does after the after the, after he get in it. She they eat the head of the of the man. <laughs> that bitch will eat your motherfucking head, dog. Black black widow spiders too. You know what I'm saying they, they eat the so I'm just telling you. I'm I'm telling you. Okay. All right. Why you? Steve, I had a question for you. Yeah. yeah. So you Sneeko was on your show and you was cool with him? Yeah, oh, he did was, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. he got a hold of him. And, uh the woman, uh, the woman uh was uh uh doing his hair. I mean his makeup, and I spit game and I pulled her right in front of me. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie, the bitch was kind of bad though. Yeah, I'll show you that one second. Let me just let you show you this last little short this little midget motherfucker. I'll pass. <laughs> I pass on that bitch. You, know, you fucking midget. Look it's at her hands, dog. She can't look. She can't grab that pole. She's not grabbing me, dog. She's she like a fucking Ewok. She ain't grabbing me. She's an Ewok. Look like an Ewok out the motherfucker. Ewok. I'm cool. See, I, I, the mother bitch was kind of cool, man. That bitch right there on the. She was low budget dwarf. <sighs> man, let me. Like, I'll, I'll pull up. I'll pull up the Sneeko uh thing real quick. Nah, on, I'm just. That shit. I'm just saying in general, my guy. I mean, I I learned a lot today. <laughs> uh, motherfucker, I'll tell you one thing though. Uh, I will definitely go to Home Depot, buy me a motherfucking uh step stool, step ladder, bitch. Get up here, uh, <laughs> and do what you do, bitch. And, and you would smash though, you smash. And my, and, my, and my bed is hella high and shit. You know, I got a king size motherfucking Cala King, hella high up. Most bitches need help up and shit. That bitch, I wouldn't even be able to see that bitch. I just see her little top of her head walking by and shit. I'll probably tell her to get out because of that. I don't like no surprises, my nigga. Oh, no, no. I, I can't. I'm just so shocked at y'all motherfuckers. I don't like no surprise. Oh. I don't want no bitch coming out with no sword. My dog. No motherfucking man. axe and shit. Like my favorite shit. And then he just turned on me. He talked about the woods and shit. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve's a wild nigga, man. I see I'm not, I'm not. why 
Why? My nigga, I see why these bitches will be hooked on you, nigga, because you <laughs> would do anything. No, I'm just that guy. I no, don't... you are. You you can have that title, nigga, because I, I, I tell you. <laughs> I see I, every time I see that sword in the back now, I know you play with it with a bitch right there, right? <laughs> that swung at a bitch. <laughs> swung, that swung at a bitch. I, I'm you know what? I'm 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 mad to you know, I'm gonna find out. Bitch, have you ever sword fighted with some niggas before? I'm gonna start asking bitches. Uh, you don't want to ask them that in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ask them that. You yeah, said what? You said what now? Ask them that in San Francisco. Oh yeah, them motherfucker, you right. You know, yeah, you don't right. ask no sword right. fighting. You got some transes and all over. Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, exactly. Yes, they, be, they, they be looking, off. they be looking like something else. They'd be like, Yes, I did. I yep. definitely did. All right, here is the Sneeko and with my here's the Sneeko uh thing with Sneeko and shit. Let's get to this. Here you go. So this is uh this is what happened with Sneeko. Here we go. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, specific okay. points. Uh, it's me and Taekwondo. Yeah, we, we yes, want advice and stuff like that. And I and I wanted this. Well, is he getting his makeup done though? Yeah, he's doing some shit. Some guys attitude. use um or try to correlate. Let's get to the yeah. Let's get to the game. Of a man. Oh. The attitude. Hold on, let me get to this shit. You you're cut. So you're basing it off of how she swings and some barbie way with. So what? Mm-hmm. Yo man, I respect you. What I'm saying, fam. Do you agree? I do. I, See, I like regular bitches like that. Okay, I'm apply that. Thank you, big dog. And, 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 my, and, and young man, another thing you should be doing right now while you're talking to me, you should be in her ear right now saying, you know what? While you put this makeup on, I'm going to make it up to you by letting you take me out so I can put my makeup mind on you and layer myself. Let me be the blush to make you smile. Let me be the eyeliner to lighten your eyes. Let me go and <laughs> my, lay my on you, so I see that saying, yeah, that's yeah, gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, let me make laughing. you smile all the way. Bring her, bring her back over here. Let me break, put the camera over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me yeah, say something. Oh my god. What I'm saying, How are you? I'm good. Hey, I'm good because you're talking to me right now. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is. Is that you know what? If you were putting makeup on me, I would say, you know what? I love you putting the makeup on me. So allow me mm-hmm. to take you out so I can see what's behind that smile. So I can get to know you in a more intimate way. Because you know what? That smile right there, that thing you just did right there, that's the reason why okay. I want to talk to you. Because you know what? You're not used to someone that wants to go deeper than your body. Yes, you may have a sexy body, but you know what? Your body isn't everything to me. It's, it's not, I, you're right. Doing. It's behind you, right? Because I don't want to waste your time or my time. I don't want to waste your time or my time, but I'm going to make time. You want to know why? Because you look like the kind of woman that can show me that, you know what? You're the kind of woman that can show me that you're more than my curiosity, my attention, and you can be worth my time and and then worth my respect. And if you're lucky enough, you might get the double wreck, but we ain't talking about that right now. What we're talking about right now is seeing what you are about and what I'm about but we can go out and get to know each other in a more intimate way yeah. while you're painting that, while you're putting that on me. Cause I love you stroking my face like that. So I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to stroke mine the same way. How about that? Okay. See that? All right. <laughs> she ready. All right. Yeah. So you know She's ready. Sex, I'm not into that. Well, baby girl, we already having sex. I don't, I'm thinking about the mental. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not trying. Oh, I'm not trying. Right. <laughs> Motherfucking right. I'm not trying to. I don't need to have sex with you because right now we having we're sparring right now. So you must understand. I, and to be honest with you, I'm not here to have sex with you. I'm here to show you why you should sleep with me. So once you realize <laughs> that I'm that guy and you realize that you want to invite oh. me in, I'll be happy to come on in and touch you in ways that you're not used to by the way I talk to you, the way I make you smile, the way I make you blush, the way I make you think and react. I got you. You just got to you just got to take your time and give me the opportunity to show you why me. That's all I'm saying. Forget about that sex stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I love that. So, yeah, so you make sure you take so yeah, he's you, a whole movement. Like, I, I know. I, I not only my whole movement. You are gonna see the movement I have with you though, because what I'm gonna hit you God with. Damn. My nigga Steve is yeah, going. Yeah. Going, yeah. Going, going, going the fucking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Watch me go, bro. Well, was, you was pimping back in the day, right, OG? No, I was never pimping. I wasn't. I'm a man. I'm just a man. Steve, oh, sweet, my nigga Steve, different, man. He's different, man. <laughs> my nigga Steve is different, man. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put me on. You gotta send me his IG, his YouTube, or something. I gotta, I gotta learn more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Right. yeah hey, young man. Hey, girl. Yeah, anyway, you lock that in. Hold on. Lock, hey, lock that in, baby okay. girl, okay? All right. right. There yeah, you go. Yeah, that was your yeah. boy, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Hey, all, all I see is the swords in the back, and I'm thinking, like, 
Like you didn't pull one of them swords that, out. That, that was my Game of Thrones. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. You gave it to that bitch though. Like you know, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know who 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 gentleman is, man. I, I don't really know who. He, I, I mean, I've heard him a couple times, but I ain't really like. I guess he was banned and shit. I don't know how. I don't know how they banned him, motherfuckers out here. But you know what I mean? Like he young cat, twenty four years old, man, and uh, you could tell he 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 wasn't with it, dog. He you know he's trying to find himself. That nigga don't know the know nothing about well that. like i mean all all people like you know all of us at 24 was different than what we are now so yeah. um you know he 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 growing up in front of the world so he trying to find his place and uh trying to find what i think he you know he hit some milestones financially before you know at an age where we didn't hit it so he already hit that and now he's trying to figure himself out that's where that's where he ended up now that's why well, he's in attention now well, let's get to this right. And what do y'all think about this? Since y'all know, because we want to get to the argument with them. But what do y'all think about what he's saying? Okay. Now, Rolo is married. He has children and all this other stuff. But he's telling motherfuckers not to. What, what do y'all? What is y'all take on that? Respecting me? That, that should fuck me I, up right there. I think. I think he. I think that was when he put that up there. I'm like, okay, that should need some context. Like. The only one that I agreed with as far as like don't really need context was, you know what I'm saying, play to your strengths and build your wealth. But mm, the yeah, other ones need that, some yeah. context. You can't just be like, don't do this. Like you got to give some more guidance yeah. than that. It's yeah. a little too, a little yeah, too vague. I, well, after Greg, I'm going to play then the argument part. But Greg, what's your take on that? What, what say you, Greg? I think he... I think he didn't put too much thought into it to to be honest with me. I mean, because he just basically took because I don't listen to him, so I don't I don't know right. what he talks about. I don't like, know him by either too much. Like man. I don't know what he talks about. I've never seen a full, full video of him. But what I'm gonna say is, what what it looked like was he was trying to uh, he was just trying to throw something on the board um, and make a point, but it, it it wasn't even there was anything behind it because as far as what I know of him, he's not any of that, right? <laughs> I'm sitting there like I'm like he, he don't lift, you know what I mean? Like I've lifted. I had, body, I had a fitness background, yes. so like you know, well, why was why is he suggesting that? So it sounds like it was a hodgepodge of ideas that would be stereotypes of the manosphere. All mm. right, well here we go. Let's get to All right, go, go ahead, go ahead, Zach. I'm just get to uh, We are alive. With the, give me a second. Go ahead, look, 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 and took, look, what uh, what what uh, Coach Greg Adams said, and that's my point. Is he picked shit? That's popular amongst the, the the younger dudes that are, are in the manosphere, right? But right. Because what do, what do dudes complain about? They complain about the child support law. They complain about the divorce rate, and they complain about that type of shit. So he picks shit that's popular amongst those guys. And the issue that I have with that is you're not even picking anything that you're passionate about and that you have convictions about and that you stand on. You're just picking yeah. shit that's popular, almost as if you're just trying to. Like, like, literally, make money off of dudes' fears and concerns and shit. I got a problem with that shit. Y'all got it. Oh, yeah. Um, Go ahead, he, Go ahead. Like, my thing is when when you look at what he's doing, in my personal opinion, I feel like he's trying to pander, like you, like Zag was saying. I feel like he's trying to pander to what he thinks everybody wants to hear. Right. But if he really believed in that, he wouldn't have changed. He wouldn't have took the tweet down after after they. Got at him about it. Like oh, you took it down. Changed it. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's go. It's about to heat up now. Watch this shit, guys. And y'all tell me to real, pause. Real, real quick though, I want to chime in and say something really quick. I, I just, I do feel like we have, we have people that actually watch us on this motherfucker. I, I think we have, we have to have some type of responsibility behind some of the things we say. Now, we, now we just talking shit or, you know, yeah. talking bad about. It. I mean, that's something different. But when you actually are telling young men to get vasectomies yeah, that is the that is probably the worst thing he put on there to me i mean all the other shit sound like bullshit but what i'm saying is that one right there there's gonna be so many men young men that's that don't have guidance that don't have people in their life to change their their direction in life by giving them influence of some wisdom that they're going to follow this and they're going to do this believing this is the way to success so we have a responsibility as men to be honest, every man should have an opportunity to have a legacy. And if you take away that man's opportunity, that is reckless and wrong. Like he's a too young to even figure it out. I can see if he was in your your 40s or something with no kid, then then, then fucking do it. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Vitec- as a prescription, prescribing a prosectomy, vasectomy is I've never done that. Never even come close. If, if anybody asks me, I'm like, look, uh, do you have kids? If you have kids already, then I can yeah. see you you getting one. But to to tell a person that you can reverse it, uh, you know, we're not doctors here. I mean, I think we have a responsibility as people. Yeah. We all have our opinions on shit. Right. And even my stuff is like, I, you know, I tell people, you know, I, I tell people don't get married, especially if you don't have leverage, uh, leveraging options. However, mm-hmm. in my book, I open up the possibility of it once you have leveraging options. So it wasn't completely off the table. Mm-hmm. Right. Wait, motherfucker, what's the thing is, he's oh, never. He never told anyone to get a vasectomy. I mean, he put just, the tweet back up. Put yeah, I'm about to put up. the tweet up, you dumb but, fuck. Uh, what the fuck he said? He said, number three. vasectomy in your 20s right there. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, that's very dangerous. I, I, I can even deal with a lot of the other stuff. I want to know. This is what I want to know. I want to know what type of fucking magic Rolo Tomasi has. Because there's dudes up here that do shit, and people will carry water for them. I can say the least little thing cats don't disagree with. I mean, and they'd be ready to crucify me. Yeah. So I'm I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. No, no, why? Like, it's about get deep, angry man. Well, why, well, I, why think, I think a lot of that has to do with, you know, you, you got to understand, man, who's following, right? We, you know, you know, you got a lot of bros following you. They get, they get, they get real mouthy. They gonna they gonna have videos on you. When you got br- bros up on you, they gonna they'll create fifty videos on you. Then, then, them other ones, they ain't doing all. They ain't wasting any time. They gonna, they gonna be like, oh, I disagree, and then, and then that be yeah. it. That be the end of it. But yeah. us, oh no, you know, we gonna have. I mean, I think forty people with a video. Yeah, right. well, yeah. Well, these guys, I think, um, I think these guys are gonna prove that wrong. I mean, they're willing to go in there and they, they pounced on them. Well, uh, watch. Oh, did they? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. They gonna pounce them, but watch how yeah, we gonna get to Man, right now. Okay. Uh, I just wanna say, if you guys are serious about sure. selling the book, you really should have did the audiobook version with fresh reading it. <laughs> going grocery shopping or going and uh you know getting food for okay. able to do this the last time you guys were talking about this but so about oh my gosh gosh is it now two weeks before i start winning these mother does he have game do you think this motherfucker gets pussy come on, come on. Come on, I mean, come on that's bro. that's that's that question doesn't even Greg, that, 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 on, that, i mean it's too obvious we yo, know. yo steve we know. Steve, yeah. steve check this out bro we know yes. rollo tomasi is basically if Neil Strauss and Mystery did the fusion day. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. seriously. Yes. That's that's that what he is. Yes. Like yes. you you it's written all over his face. Like any, anybody can see that he, he comes from that vein, that that whole PUA thing, yes. man. Like yes. All right, well, here we go. Watch what he say. Watch what he go. I, I think it was a uh, Tuesday of last week. You guys had Brandon Carter on. Is that with, with Derek Moneyberg? Or is that yes. Monday? Uh, Monday. Monday, no, Monday. Monday. Sorry, let me get my camera back up there. So uh, uh, so Monday, uh, you guys were talking to Brandon Carter. One of the things that Brandon was talking about was you got to love money. You got to be on top of your game. And if you, and I love Brandon Carter, by the way. I think he should be a, uh, he should be a, a stand-up comedian. I mean, the guy is that funny. He's a, great, he's a great guy, right? But when you guys are on that show and you're talking to him and he's, he's talking about how he doesn't go to, um, well, he doesn't go to Publix, doesn't go grocery shopping for himself. He doesn't go do his own laundry. He doesn't have a car. Uh, I mean, it's brickle white, right? but, but he doesn't have like some basic stuff because his philosophy in life is this, is that anything that takes him away from his grind anything that takes him away from that from uh from anything that would distract him or that would be um financially or mathematically not a pragmatic choice for him to make as far as like if he's spending time going grocery shopping or going and uh you know getting food for himself or whatever else i'm sure he's like into meal prep and everything else but pretty much everything in his life is is outsourced because anything that he would be spending that time himself to go do, he could be losing money doing that at that time. So when challenges, he's got to have, have he's got to have a good, loving, you know, devoted. Do you agree with pretty much everything else except for the vasectomy part? Okay, okay. I'm saying it's okay. advice. What I'm saying is that this is so over the fucking top that everybody wants to take it out of out of context, which is exactly what you guys have been doing. So what is it? Can you tell me what that tweet was if it wasn't advice? It's not advice. What it is, is it's, it's, it's it's saying that this is the most extreme way to do things. Okay. Here's the, uh, here's the, um, the quickest path 
to if I told you this, look, if I said the the quickest way for you to make a million dollars, that sounds like advice is to go is to go steal it from the bank or go to steal it. Does that mean I'm telling you to go steal it? He's right. He's right. If I tell you to go fucking jump off a cliff, are you going to go jump off a cliff? By the way, way, here's the other thing is I'm also responding to Dr. Richard Reeves in this as well. Okay. There's a lot of context about it. Sure. But all the rest of the lists, you're equating vasectomy to lifting game, play to your strength, resisting up on easing your focus. The rest of it sounds like general advice. Okay. Well, let's let's say so. So let me, let me ask you. So is it, is it the vasectomy part that's throwing you off? Genuine good advice, right? This is what I mean when these goofy ass YouTube niggas give advice. He 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 says some shit that he thought would catch on. And now that he's getting pushed back on it, he's trying to backtrack. He's not passionate about what he said. He don't believe in what he said, and he has no conviction. He can't stand on it. You know, we all know as men. When you really believe in something, you have to be willing to die for it and kill for it. That little list he made up, he ain't willing to do any of that for it. And that's the problem that I personally have with this shit. But y'all got it. Yeah, well, he can't. Well, let's keep going because he can't answer the question. Why are they about to challenge him? Here to go. Sectomy part. Yeah. Do you agree with pretty much everything else except for the vasectomy part? The first three is weird because then I don't even know what the red pill idea of a high value man is. is. Is it just being rich? Like, what's the point of having all this money and not having a family? Why be that rich? The guy who's always grinding. Whoa, Brandon Carter doesn't have to do his laundry. Sick. What else are you going to do with your life? Right. Right. Maybe this is actually meant so that you'll get it. You'll have a freaking epiphany about how there's how the, all the shit that you have to sacrifice to get to that in the first place. What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to are you willing to live the kind of life that say like a Brandon Carter is where you're going to outsource your entire life? Or are you going to actually have kids. kids? Is that something that's a priority for you? Because I will tell you right now that if you do, if, if you follow this kind, if you fo- if you were to actually follow this list right here, that is the fastest way for you to get to a point where you are more high value, right? So but here's the thing. So when I say that, people go, well, that's not what a high value man is. A high value man is what I define it as, which is he's got to have he's got to have a good, loving, you know, devoted wife. He's got to have uh, he's got to have three or four kids or 10 kids, depending on whatever culture you're talking about. All of this stuff that makes up whatever that person who happens to have that is, then that's suddenly the, the, the definition of what a high value man is. So what I'm saying, I'm saying this is the best way to become a high value man. I'm not saying this is the only way to become a high value man. I'm just saying that this is the fastest way to go and do something like that. We're talking a lot for five minutes. What is your definition of a high value man? It doesn't matter. That's not what I was talking about in this. It doesn't matter. I, I have what you're talking about. That's what the front of the first part of the tweet is. How to be out right there, yo? Any thoughts? He can't even define what the fuck he's talking about. Any no. Here's the thing. I, I think the I think to be honest, again, these aren't his talking points. I think he just. Because as far as I know, does he talk about even high value man until this point? I don't think he has a definition on his own to even know what the high value man is. I think he took five people's talking points and threw them together. And I think from from, from to be fair, he's trying to piggyback off a of fresh and fits audience rather than his continue to work. Yeah, his that, makes, that makes sense. That makes he's, sense. He's, he's trying to pander to red pill ragers. That's that's what it, that's what it is. That's what it looked like to me because it's like. Okay, you could tell dudes not to get married, provide some context to that so that they right. know why they're not getting married. But the vasectomy thing, get a vasectomy in your 20s, that and then he doesn't want to stand on it. Like because he doesn't know what it means. I, I honestly think this isn't him. He's just like you said, he's trying to pander, but he didn't put any thought behind the ideas that he was pushing out there, right? That's why yeah. I said he just pushed the he just put the list together and go up. Okay, what does Fresh and Fit's audience might want to hear? And he's throwing that at them. This isn't yeah. this isn't him. This, but the only thing about him he wanted to put in there was the learn game, and then he said learn game and do something else. I can't yeah. remember network uh, network. Like yeah, like I, I thought it was I thought it was kind of weird that you know for someone who's on the internet all the time like him and tweeting like you you, you should be way more responsible and and, and you know you got to have foundation in what you're talking about right. because you know. That even if it's up for 10 seconds, somebody will screenshot that bitch and, and they gonna have you don't matter if you 10 deleted. years. Yeah, you know I mean, it don't matter if you deleted it. exactly. So I would think he would be more responsible. And it's kind of like he getting on his show, and it's kind of ma- not what well, I ain't gonna say, kind of it's not manly for he you not to defend what you believe in. 
he, he doesn't have any he's he's showing that he doesn't have any situational awareness because that's scary that's a scary thing to have not yeah. have. i mean th this right here it shows me that like i'm gonna get back to you am my bad look that, that all of these people that follow him this is some jim jones shit now oh right? yeah yeah this is some jim jones shit now he took it because now he said hey i ain't accountable you know what everybody believe me let's mm -hmm. go over here. That, that's that, that's perfect perfect analogy. analogy. Now yeah. you don't want no Jim Great analogy. Yeah. Great analogy. Yeah. Go ahead, hey, my bad. Facts. Facts. No, you you 100 right because I did a show earlier today where I was critiquing the whole thing, and the moment the show was over, they're in the comment section, you know, coming at me because I'm critiquing what he said, and I'm like, bro, since when can we critique what dudes say in these spaces? We've always done that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, bro, what what like. You know, I don't feel I feel like I've been around long enough to critique Rolo. I've been around for two weeks, motherfucker. I got a whole video of this motherfucker. All right. All right, here hey, we go. anybody with a ponytail talking shit, I'm coming forward. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> here we go, motherfucker. Here we go. I'm a high go. value man. The fastest way to become a high value man is to oh, recognize the fact to recognize the fact that you've got that you've got hey, sacrifices pause, to make. Pause, okay. Pause, so like, what is that? Telling, like, like stories. Pause, pause, pause. My bad. My bad. So somebody said TGA agrees with half of these points. Let me tell you something. I don't even use high value man. There you go, goofy ass motherfucker. I was like, high value man. When high value man came out, I was the first one to say high value target. So first of all, right off the rip, right off the first goddamn sentence, I'm, I'm in disagreement. So kiss my ass, whoever. Hey, and, and, and here's the I don't other think thing I... too. Here's the other thing too. When coach talks about not getting married, he fucking provides context. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yes. It and he, and he's speaking to yeah, right. and, and, and Greg is speaking to an audience that should not be getting married. The motherfuckers is not ready for that motherfucking shit. So I'm always telling them, look, <laughs> when, when women sit down, they give women the game. Don't do, don't let them do this. Don't let them do that. And I'm doing the same thing over here. So y'all ass don't mm -hmm. get smacked down. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even agree with high value, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Vietnam, like, just say, what is a high value man? It's the first part of the tweet. What does that mean? You tell me what a high value man is. What you, because here's the thing: is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I'm going to say is a high value man. You guys are fucking. Because it's your fucking tweet. It doesn't matter what I say is a fucking high value. Can, can you stop it real quick? He did some bitch ass shit because he put up the tweet and they're asking him to basically go in depth about it. Uh, well, what do you guys think? They're asking you to explain yourself and to provide context to why you said what you said. And he, and the reason why he know he can't do it because he don't believe in what he said. Exactly. This is why I got a problem with him doing it because men don't do this type of shit. Mm -hmm. you, you, the only time you say something out your mouth is when you believe in what you say and you can stand on what you say. You don't, you don't just say shit like A.M. was saying because you're pandering to an audience Cause when people ask you to get in depth with it, you can't get in depth with it because you don't even believe the shit. You're just saying it. Tell me why he don't believe get the clicks. It. Tell Man. me why you don't believe it. There's there's one reason why he don't believe it, and you know what it is. What's that? He ain't none of them. None of them. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> but he don't lift. Look at him. That nigga don't lift no weights. None of them. Yeah, none of them points reflect him. So it would be <laughs> difficult for him to come on and be like. Yeah, this, this, this. I mean, look at the points. Go ahead and put the points up. Yeah, put points up. Here you go. None point. of those, none of those points he can point at and say, "I did." There you go. There he you go. got no game. So when up, yeah. So when somebody asks him about it, he can't talk about it again. Like I said, he took these points and just said, "This gonna be the shit for Fresh and Fit's audience." This is my, that's my own personal opinion, and he he missed. And instead of instead of uh, missing and going, oh, I fucked up, I missed. And bring that back up, Steve. He, if you look, if you look at number down. two, two avoid family creation, vasectomy number three, he doubled down on that, really. Right, he, he doubled, really down, doubled down, down, down on that shit. Down. Right? All right, well, here we go. Let's get let's hear the argument. Oh, yeah, man, because everybody takes this. The point of the fucking tweet is that everybody is going to take this and then insert their own definition of what a fucking high value man what is. What is a high That's value man doing twelve kids when you're sixteen? Then your tweet doesn't work, does it? What if your definition of a high value man is being a, a getting into a trade and having five kids by the time you're 22? Then it also works. High value man is being an esports professional. You're making you know? my, you're absolutely making my point for me right here. Okay, this is what I'm, I'm saying. saying. 
point is, is a high it's, value man. You gave a list of eight things. Do these eight things to become a high value man. Do one through eight to become A. And you're not defining what A the is. The fastest people. way to becoming a high value man what is these things. What is that? Okay. So here's the thing. So if we're talking about family like, creation, you already talk. Okay, so let's, you want to go, okay, let's go one by one. Like, you want to go one by one? Okay, no, so I want to go the, before one by one. What is a high value man? We can't have an argument if I don't even That's know what your definition point is. The, the very fact that you're even asking me this in the first place is the actual point of the fucking tweet. Okay. So if you got, if you're going to be a high value man with the fucking hands tied behind your back, then what is that? What does that mean to you? That's the point. This whole discussion is the point of the fucking tweet. Do you, you guys, one of the tweet was, you've got some conception of a high-value man. Here are eight points that you think you need to do to get to it. And now you've gotten blown the fuck up on the vasectomy thing, which you probably realize is fucking retarded. But you're too old and stubborn to walk back. <laughs> That's the point of this conversation. You're not too stubborn to fucking walk back from it because the point of it was to get d douche nozzles like yourself to fucking have this conversation in the first place. Hold on, hold on, hold on, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Did the motherfucker say douche nozzle? <laughs> you know you ain't got no pussy. You, you, you using them words? Deuce nozzle? Deuce nozzle. I admit, that's a comic con motherfucker right there too. <laughs> Deuce nozzle, man, man, man go ahead. Uh, dog. Go ahead. Douche nozzles? Yes. You, okay. you guys are fucking idiots. Why do you guys come in here from fucking Twitch strat? Like, how you guys are legitimate in all of this? I don't know because everything I've here come out of you guys' mouth is just fucking confident ignorance. I'm asking, asking, like, I'm asking, no, 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 Myron, Myron. Okay, I'm not asking you like in terms of the debate. You call yourself the godfather of the red pill. You call myself like the godfather of the manosphere, okay? Uh, but D hey, the, man, the, God, this dude sound like he's in sixth grade for real. Exactly. I mean, people have been telling me you need to debate this guy. I don't see how and why I would even waste my time. He's lost frame. He sounds like a sixth grader that, that you took his hat. You know what I mean? He wants his hat back. I mean, he's completely lost his emotional composure. And the reason why is he's not taking no L or he's not he's not able to explain his thought. Greg, you know, does, he, does he not understand that before there was a manosphere, we were fucking? But did he does he understand that we were living the life? He doesn't because he he he. I guess he 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 constantly talks about me that I don't get no pussy for some reason. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a thing, Greg. Hey, hey, Steve, Steve, you no. already know you because we kick it. Greg, 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 that's what you know me. Hey, hey, Steve, you know me, right? I know you like me. You my dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Greg. He's actually said that about you, bro. They all say that about me. All of him and his own boy say that about me. I never even knew this was a thing. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, yeah, yeah. I'm not lying, man. I'm Wait, not lying. You telling me that these yeah. guys are saying you ain't fucking? Correct. You ain't fucking. I oh, correct. No. Fuck yeah, I, I don't. I, I wouldn't waste my time either, Greg. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even like, because of the way where yeah, they. Don't waste your time, I'm like, why, I can't even. I can't even win if that's what you think, and I'm knowing what you are. There's no way in hell that I can even have a start to have a conversation with them. But yeah, yeah. I just want. I just I'm want to say that. I, I, I didn't know that was listening. Guys, please understand what I'm saying. I don't hang around motherfuckers who ain't doing the shit that we know they doing. And I'm telling you. Yeah, me neither. If you knew, it, it, Greg, let me just put it, Greg, and, 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 and hey, if y'all just could, I'm Greg, the, air, the airport. We're at the airport. If y'all just were there, man, I, I'm going to just keep playing. They don't. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, I would never hang around blue hair. I'm going to let y'all know right now. Go ahead. No, nah, here we go, man. God. People have called me that. Okay, great. That's that very Do you okay. understand? Okay. So <laughs> as that father or grandfather of the man, which one is whatever it? it is, the old guy of the manosphere. What is your definition of high value man? This is the number one talked about topic on all of these shows. So I want to get a clear definition from you. What is it? You tell again, it depends on the person. It depends on the culture. It depends on the fuck. So here's the thing. Let me let me tell you. Maybe I can explain this to you, Sneeko, because at least you got it, you got your ears open here. The thing is, is that when we're talking about what who, what's the top G, what's a high value guy? You probably haven't heard this because you don't read my stuff and you don't watch my shit. No. But I've also said this is like it the red pill has to be for everybody or has to, or it's for nobody. So if we're looking at a guy who's draped across a Lamborghini and he's got hot chicks with him, and we say that's what I'm a 
aspiring to, but I'll never make that because I live in a fucking fishing village on the coast of Chile, right? That means I can never be, I can never match that, that high apex of a, of a high value. Right. Guy. The guy in the car? But the guy who, who happens to live in those villages or happens to be in a different culture or in a different country or whatever else, he can still benefit from that because however he's defining himself as a high value man in his fishing village, maybe that's what he, that's what that's he can aspire to. This has nothing to do with Chile and the village and the car. See, what you, see, here's the thing: is you guys want you want you guys want me to say, okay, a high value man makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. He's fucked fifty chicks. He's got like that's the that's the that's thing. That's not what I want you to say. I disagree with that. I'm asking I, you because I come I on this all the time. Disagree with it. What I'm saying is the point of the tweet is so you will ask that I'm question. Past, I'm past the tweet. I'm past that. Look, I'm asking as somebody who's really interested in the red pill. I listen to a lot of this content. I want to know what your definition is, because if you have a definition that's completely off of what I think it is, then I guess I'm not red pill. Well, here's what here's. OK, so here's what I think a guys ought to do. Would you like me to give you some prescriptions? No, is that no, what we're trying for? No, here? no, I want to know your opinion of a high value man. What is it? I think, high, I think a high value man is whatever is contextually makes that guy a high value guy in whatever culture that he happens to be in. If that's money, that's money. Right now, that's what we tend to focus on right now. If okay. it's if so, but if I'm going to wow. say that, wow, that you hey, Paul, this is Paul, that shit. Hey man, I tell you, people, people been trying to compare me and and put pit me against this dude i i mean like i said i've never watched much of him but this is tragic this is bad this is tragic i mean up and down the dude's avoiding emotional he's um he's uh deflecting and he won't answer a straight question and he got out here he's all talking about some dude laid up on a uh, on a lamborghini in chile i don't know what the hell he's talking about this is a bad this is a bad performance and i think for i i think people have been talking about this this manosphere thing there's some people that are pissed off about the manosphere thing. The, the reality is, I don't think he's manosphere. What you got y'all see the new taste? No, nah, like I don't think he convert. I, I think he converted on to manosphere talking point. I think he for a long time he might have been anti manosphere, anti MGTOW, anti all of those things. But I think fresh and fit came up under red pill right. and he jumped back over. That's just my opinion. Yeah, he, yo, he's yo. I'm telling y'all right now. This this dude is a he is a PUA guy, and and like he might not have been completely in that community, but he basically, I can tell that's where his ideology comes from. And what he's doing is he's trying. He latched on to the red pill thing. But he doesn't seem to have any situational awareness about red pill. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. the things right. he's saying is not making any damn sense, bro. And yeah. it, it's like, and the crazy thing is, yo, coach, I didn't even know he was coming at you like that. That's crazy. Like he, I, he got, I didn't call got plenty him out. of videos on me. He got lots of videos. I never responded to him. Go ahead. Yo, what? I done called him out. I done called him out a few times. I would love for him to send that smoke my way. Man, but that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, yeah, because I'm like, who is this dude? Like, I don't even know who he is. And everybody's like, oh, he's. And I'm like, look, he can be who he is. He just need to keep my name on my. my I, I just not exactly. because I'm looking at him. I'm like, dude, like, look, yeah. just. I actually would say on my show, I call him the gatekeeper. I don't even say his name on my show. I'm like, just look at us. Just stop real fast and yeah. take a look. I mean, just look. Yeah. Dude, test yeah and that's what I, I, and, and and if you can't tell you're a part of the problem yeah if you can't <laughs> tell the difference between me and him fuck yeah, it, that's the problem <laughs> right there man these dudes don't be knowing yeah look at this dude bro like i'm not even talking about his look i'm just talking about how he's presenting himself how he's acting what he's saying he has no foundation and i'm telling you man like like i didn't even know he even said some stuff because the audacity you That's you like the 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 gall of this guy to but even mention the name. unmitigated but gall they, of this nigga. But didn't they? I thought he was done already. Didn't they kind of out him over on on that side of the mental spit? And they like yeah yeah yeah. But but I think I think the only thing he has had is fresh and fit. Mm. Like I think what he did was him and Myron they they buddies right so. Yeah. I think he's been trying to do everything he can to keep himself his name out there by going on Fresh and Fit. So I think without Fresh and Fit, then we probably wouldn't hear from him very much. But because because he's on there, he 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 kind of has a second life, if you will. 
Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense because right. looks like he doesn't last on to that. And you know, right. here we go. Here we go. High value man. Okay, what is that? You know, we've been trying to define it. Let me just kind of because uh, here's the thing when I read the tweet, I interpreted it right with a uh, higher step. Like, he's listing things that if you follow these things, right, and you actually follow them, you're probably not going to become a fuck up, right? And to be a high value guy, I would say it's a couple combination of things. It's yeah. obviously having your money on point, having social proof. So, as you can see, his, his parrot. His parents trying to run in the first form. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, I know I know this dude can't agree with that. This is this yes. is yeah. This, this is real. This is the worst. Right. See, this is the worst. Like my like it's one thing for Rolo to say, right? Right. Because when he says it, he cannot get the younger people to believe this shit, right? Right. But this dude, Myron, if he says it, it's the most dangerous fucking shit we got going on right now. Nigga, this is like if Myron say some shit like this, the vasectomy shit. That's nigga. That's Roe versus Way with fucking men. These motherfuckers going to cut their balls off. They mm. doing it immediately. Mm. Damn, we gotta be. They gotta be careful, dog. I'm it's telling sad. you. Yeah, having respect from your peers, having a network of other high value men, right? Which I agree with Kevin Samuels on that. Being fit to a degree. <sighs> if you have all these things in place, you'll be considered a high value man by most people in most societies, right? If you have these things in place. Now, with that said, to get there. Right. You obviously have to focus and get your shit together and make sure that you focus on getting there. What he's saying is all these the, the, the list of things that he mentioned, if you follow them, it's going to mitigate your risk of becoming a fuck up and not getting to that point. It's all these things are over pussy. All yeah. these points are see, over pussy. But see, Steve, Steve, and, 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 and here's the, this is the problem that I have with this. If you just teach dudes how to be men there, fuck, fuck all the bullshit. If you just teach dudes how to be men and how to be responsible, accountable, and have some self-introspection, a lot of the bullshit that guys run into could be avoided. They keep trying to attach all this stupid shit to that. That's you know why young I don't, men how to be men. You know why they can't do that? Go ahead, fam. They can't sell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking. Now, see, no, when I do free agent lifestyle, that's like I kind of branded it, and it's be a man, be a man first, right? Go like Steve first, got that man first. Build yourself first from the inside, and then work outside. Everything will be a little bit better, right? Yeah. But 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 they can't sell that shit, so it still got to revolve around some. Let me teach you how to talk to bitches, but but at the end of it though, I think what Myron's doing, I think next week you're gonna see something different. I guarantee you. I know Myron. I you know the pivot. He, he gonna, gonna pivot. pivot. He gonna he's pivot. Yeah, he he's gonna, gonna pivot because he know he can't afford that shit. He can't Myron, afford that himself to that. Yo, the thing about Myron and Fresh, they not stupid. Correct. And they know this looks bad. Yep. They because everybody's talking about this shit. Everybody's talking about this. This looks bad. Like the optics on this shit. Like yep. the way that for one, Sneeko, you know, is entertaining. Destiny's no dummy. So yeah, he, he's very that, highly intelligent. Yeah, the fact that they set up here, they set up there and tore his ass up. He's looking like a out of touch grandpa up there. Yeah, 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 he does. Okay, let's keep hearing this thing. Here we go. Quickly as possible. And I think that's so important is that this tweet kind of gets taken out of context. He's saying the quickest way to become a high value man, uh, avoid and do these things because you're limiting distractions. And he's using Brandon Carter as an example where He's in a monogamous relationship with a girl. He outsourced a lot of his things. Why? So he's able to focus on making more money. He's getting rid of obstacles. And I think that tweet demonstrates that. Yes. He's getting rid of obstacles so you can become a high value man in the quickest possible way. Now, I know the most controversial one is the vasectomy. Though, there's other ways to get the same, I guess, effect from vasectomy. Let's say you use a condom. Let's say you pull out. Whatever it may be. He's saying, okay, if you get the vasectomy, then we know for a fact you're not going to have children. Yeah, there, It's really no different than having a condom or pulling out or whatever it may be. The point is to not get a girl pregnant. How you want to get there is up to you, whether it's through a vasectomy, okay. using condoms, whatever. Yeah. But he's making it retard-proof. Hey, vasectomy, because I know even if you are the dumbest guy ever, you can't fuck this up. I don't, what, but they ain't getting pussy. How the fuck? Well, 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 well here's the thing. Here, here's the problem that I have with any of this. A chick can get her tubes tied and still get pregnant. A dude can get a vasectomy. Nothing is the only thing that's one hundred percent proof is not the fuck at all. That's it. That's the only one. Yeah, but uh, the only one. We can't be sending dudes to the doctor. Not no young. No, 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 Have them going in there saying CGA and Rolo and angry and Mar Myron's <laughs> gonna be here to yeah. get my hell no. 
Not yeah. on my fucking name, and I'm gonna make it clear. I don't. I don't back none of that shit. None of that, and that, and that's what my biggest like. You, you can tell. I mean, whatever a man's philosophy is outside of that, like that's on him. But what I'm saying is, bro, like that is so damaging bro, to bro. men. Like that, you can't come back from that, bro. Like telling, that, that's something you can't come back from, man. Telling telling a 20 year old man to get a vasectomy is one of the most irresponsible things you could ever fucking do because we know you're not the same dude at 30 that you were at 20. You're not the mm -hmm. same dude at 40 that you were at 30. And, and, and we know for a fact that like human beings, like your brain don't even fully develop until you're 25. Like you can't be, mm -hmm. you cannot, yo, that's like giving a freaking kid his pop's gun and just walking the fuck out of the house, man. You can't be mm -hmm. just telling dudes, yo, go get a vasectomy because, yo, just imagine a whole legion of these dudes go do that. Mm -hmm. And then they hit 30 and regret the shit. You, mm -hmm. you know the backlash on that shit? Hey, Jim Jones drank the Kool-Aid. Here we go. Real. Yeah, that's, per that's perfect analogy, man, because that is the truth. Yeah. Here we go. I don't Again, think a retarded guy extreme. could be a high-value guy. It, it's, and, I'm, no, when I say retarded, I mean as in stupid. But what I'm saying is that the point I'm trying to make is this list – is the foolproof way if everything is followed to so get motherfuckers back in the list? So you're right. He's gonna have to change the goalpost. Well, well, well Steve, apologize next week he's gonna apologize. He's trying to save his homeboy. He's trying to save him. That's what he's trying to do. Came back this list. You can't. This is dangerous. That's your status bad. up as quickly as possible in your twenties. That's Isn't not. That's not what the list is, though. Because what you just said was advice, and he said it's clearly not advice. So <laughs> you have you're interpreting. A different he said way. he's joking, and yeah, he's yeah, trying he to provoke joking. people. Like half it was just, okay. just for jokes. But I'm telling you, I, I, well, I started out telling you guys how I interpreted that. Yeah, sure. right. He's, he's, he's saying it's not wrong. wrong. Right here, but but not wrong. so that people can interpret it how they want. Exactly. To create discussion. That's ain't the point. Ain't it's funny? That's what he's saying. He asked a question earlier. So you asked him a question. What is high value? You answered it. Is whatever you determine not to be. No, I that's guess, bullshit. None of you guys believe that. I if do, some because, guy comes on this show and he weighs 350 pounds and he says, I'm diamond one in League of Legends. That's what I want to do with my life. Would you go, well, if that's what you really want. You're high value. You wouldn't say that. No, but once again, it starts in the mind. You're going to say, for example, oh, that's not true, which I agree is, is not true. But ultimately, you as a man decide what's high value for you. No, you, just, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't if you're a fucking loser. The, they, man, I mean, this. God damn. Listen, this is the, both of these. Fresh and fit, oh. Rolo. This is their worst performance of all time. <laughs> this is horrible because I think they're going to make this point that you can't say this is how you become high value and then leave it up to to people to determine. Well, I am high value because when the girls are on the show and the bitches be up there, I'm an eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Shut that shit down. What makes you that? What makes you that? Right. Mm. So, um, I think. Man, I'm gonna tell you, man. That I think Fresh and Fit got caught up defending Myron. I mean, be, but defending um Rolo because they got sort an agreement and and all of that shit, man. They got me kicked off of speaking circuit. All right, uh, all of them, and because they didn't want me in the same uh, uh vicinity, so you they dangerous. got me. huh? You dangerous? Yeah, because they know, because I, you know, because I don't kiss no Damn, ass. You know what bro. I mean? I, yeah. So so I was supposed to speak at a conference, and they 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 uh well he did Rolo. Uh, uh, kiboshed it. Nah, he wow. said he didn't want me there as long as he there. So, and hey, all really? this nigga said that. Yeah, hey, coach. See, coach, they, they, I they bet not. I bet not get no numbers. Hey, coach. What's up? They did the same shit to me, bro. Exactly. Crazy. I was I was supposed to do the um, what what's his name? Donovan did Donovan, that shit. Me. Yep. He called me up. He was like, you know what? Can't do it because Rolo Rolo don't want you there. Wow. And now they all crazy. knew. They all knew. Everybody knew. And then everybody backed off of me. All of them. Fresh and fit backed off of me. Rolo, uh, Donovan, all of them. So I was, Damn, a, I was a man on my island. I was just like, fuck it. I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna just be me. You know, I don't go back on their show and all that. So yo, I didn't even yo, real talk. I didn't even know that shit. I thought like I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was the only one catching it like that nah. behind the scenes. Hey, look, the realest ones out here, look, because look. That, what they're doing is just trying to team up, right? They, look, I'll mm -hmm. do what you want to do. And, and if I ain't in it, I'm not in it because I always no tell people I'm solo. I do whatever I want. But no um, y'all playing backstage politics and shit. This is what happens when you play backstage politics. You get exposed like this. Now they defending Rolo. And Rolo supposed to be the one with all the talking points and shit, right? And he mm -hmm. over there shutting up and letting Myron and Fresh uh, defend him. And he over there, look at, look, look, look at him.
Look at him. Yeah. How the hell are you supposed to be the Godfather and you letting Myron and and, and uh, uh Fresh defend you and they can't even do a good job at yeah, it? Yeah, you got you know, defending you out of loyalty. You got Luke Skywalker yeah. defending Obi Wan Kenobi. That don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell, tell you right now, now, they they better not let me in these YouTube streets, my nigga, because they did some shit they, like they, that. They, they, they won't. They won't, bro. They God, won't. I'm a petty motherfucker, man. I yeah. don't like. I don't like no folk like. We as men, I pride myself off of being around like real ones, right? So, right. like we, there's no such, there's no VH1 gossip circle on who posts, who going so to the party, who going to be at the party. There. Like, are we for real, my nigga? We don't move like that's not manly. It just, yeah. And I told, dude, when they told me not to show up, I was like, good. I was like, I ain't gonna roll with none of y'all because I don't play that shit. I don't play that talk behind your back shit. That's like, wild. if he didn't want me to be there, he should have called me. Everybody got my number, and everybody knows somebody that got my number. He should have been like, look, I run it on the back end. I don't want you there. But he, they didn't do it. So I'm like, I ain't dealing with this sucker shit. You know, yeah. and, at, the, at the end of the day, Coach, you good. You don't even need I, I, <laughs> Yeah, real. I was like, I didn't even need him. I was like, all right, whatever. You know, I, I, I run my own numbers and run my own show. But as all you right. can see, this right here, this right here, you know Myron and Fresh don't believe what they talking about right now. Mm. Mm. No. And that's that the integrity, the lack of, of integrity of that, they need to be called out on that too because they tried to stand on that shit only because mm -hmm. they got a little business and a loyalty agreement going on. They should have been like, you know what? You know, you are a boy, but we just gonna, we ain't going to bring you up here and do you like that. And we yeah. ain't going to support it right now. But they did it, and they went on the defense. They, they captain save uh, Rolo's ass, and, got, <laughs> and now they all out here swinging. Okay, there man. you go. Um, real quick, yeah, shout out Taekwondo in the building. I'll uh, see you, brother. Hey, you know what? Like, look, I can tell you right now, one thing I know about Destiny, you like a dog with a bone, he ain't letting that go. No, he ain't. We always still lay. They like gonna keep laying. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, value is probably something that's determined by society. High value, value means that you have a, a worth to other people. You're just talking about. Being comfortable, no, having no. high self-esteem. I agree, but the tweet. You don't say you agree with me. I just said the total opposite thing. No, you just no, said. no. I agree, and I'm pointing. <laughs> Killing this motherfucker. For, for example, people will determine you as high value. However, the tweet saying high value could mean in your in your sense whatever that means to you. No, it doesn't. What? That's what he's saying. No, he's not. He he doesn't know because he doesn't have a good definition. Because he knows if he says anything, he's gonna get pissed. You sound like the it. girls who believe they're a ten because they yeah. describe themselves as a ten in the mirror. If you brought That's in some you're missing the point, and he's like, I'm high value because I'm the no, manager no, at my McDonald's, no, he, he it, probably wouldn't agree that he's high value. Is that when he says high value, you're gonna determine that as a man, what does that mean for you? Success is a part of it, yes, but there's success to That's be the owning a farm or having a business. It doesn't matter. He's saying to get to that point, you need focus. Ultimately, Stop, that's fresh. that's what he's saying. Just, nah, just be focused. Nah, right. That's a. Nah, I mean, nah, look, we make fun of the girls all the time for saying that they're ten out of tens all the time oh, because ooh. they say it in their head. I believe I'm a ten out of ten. No, that's that's ridiculous because society determines how attractive you are. Society determines how valuable you are. You can't apply that lot. You can't make fun of the girl, the ugly fat whale who thinks she's a ten girl boss queen, and then also say a high value man can believe it in his head. Mm. Well, I, I gave you guys a ten when I. From you my, have a good definition. Yeah, you yeah, talked about I, I being yeah, relatively like, fit, yeah. having a network of people yeah, that are very social. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Cause, that cause sounds like I, I do. Because here's the thing. For me, I will define it because that will allow you guys to see where I'm coming from when I'm interpreting that. Yeah, we know where you're coming from, yeah. but we have the tweet out there. He doesn't know yeah. where he's I coming guess, from. Yeah, he seems a little on, lost right I mean, now, so we're trying to figure out, you know, what exactly he's fucking him up. Again, the tweet, I think that's the important part of the tweet is that it allows people to interpret it how they want, and which is why we're talking about it right now. The tweet did what why would you? Why would you? I'm giving advice to people. I don't want them to interpret it how they want. Otherwise, what the Fuck is the point of my message? If I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's killing them. He fuck. Killing them. I mean, that, that was perfectly said, too. Like, why am I giving you advice if I'm going to let you just say, hey, do whatever you want? Just hey. fucking think whatever you want. He's right. Yeah. Here we go. Advice to people. That's the whole point of this. Oh, that's bullshit. Do you hey. want, I, 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 it's it's okay, like impossible on, to, talk, it's impossible to put anything out there without it without people interpreting it as follow these fucking steps. Here's your 12 rules for life, and you're going to live a, a, a happy hey, life. Bring a high value man. That's literally what your tweet was. Do these I'm things. Saying, high value. What is the wording of the tweet? Go back to the tweet itself. Quick, what is the wording? So here's in, so in, in that wording of the tweet, what am I, what's the last part of that? 
What's the last one? Resist easing up on your focus. Whatever's like, do you want me to insert what you ought to be doing? You ought to be coding. Is that what I should say? You ought to be uh, becoming a professional athlete. I don't know what your fucking strengths hard. are. You can simplify and say work hard. Again, if I, so here's the thing. If I say, here's the, if I say, you know what? You ought to be an NBA player. And it doesn't matter if that's your five, nine, fucking stay on your focus and you're going to be the best NBA player you can possibly be. No, that'd be terrible right? advice. That would be absolutely terrible advice because this that's is a like, fucking advice. That's why. Okay. This is a pause. It pause it. Um, th this is what I, th you know what happened? He put <laughs> that tweet out and he got fucking fried and like like angry man say he got fried in some goddamn fresh grease. All right. <laughs> now this is what happens when you drink your own bath water or you read your own press clippings because this motherfucker saw them comments for a whole fucking day and they was cooking his ass right and so he came on here angry. Right. He came on here flustered and frustrated and he couldn't even think right. But I think what happened was because I like I'm like, I'm, I don't read my own shit. Right. But he in there saw his ass got roasted and you could tell he lost his composure. It's, it's hey. a sad thing. He doesn't know what to say. Hey, I look, I couldn't even look up the tweet. <laughs> the only thing I could find was the screenshot of it. When I looked up the tweet, you know what came up? What? He changed. He changed it to a high value man is a guy that men want to be and women want to bang. That's what he changed it, right? Of course. So, look, I wrote a whole article and broke down how stupid this whole fucking tweet was and wow. posted it on my locals. Like, this, this, like, he knows he fucked up. He fucked up. He yeah. knows it. He, yep. he knows it. And now yep. he's trying to do damage control. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, but, but that ain't right, though, because we tell women be accountable, right? We yeah. tell, you know, when they yeah. fuck up, you, yeah. you know, women, women avoid kind of accountability. The best thing he could have done was like, you know what? I shouldn't have put that in there. Mm -hmm. Check that out. You know what? I'm not going to suggest that for your man in your 20s. But he ducked and dodged and he slipped. His, yo, all of this defense force, he, he's scrambling. It just makes him look worse. And not only that, it makes everybody else look worse. Because now even Tristan Tate, they trying to distance themselves from the red pill and the man. Right, I just showed you. I just showed y'all that right here. Yeah. They just there's a distance right there. Yeah. See, everybody trying to distance themselves, which I'm saying it's too late. No, don't fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. Don't try to distance yourself now, motherfucker. <laughs> you see all these big ass niggas see. out for their bullshit right from the beginning, and nobody want to call them out because everybody trying to make a um a, a, a Avengers. They trying to make an Avengers team, and they trying to focus on their business instead of rolling with the real. Yeah. And see, this is what this is what makes me mad about this because when you, you know, doing your thing up here talking, you know you're gonna get thrown. Even if you say, "Look, I'm not manosphere. I'm doing my own thing or whatever," they still gonna throw you in there exactly. with everybody else. Exactly. And then you got you got what what do you say? Douche nozzles like this, <laughs> right? Yeah. Up here, like, and the crazy thing is, you got you got Sneeko and you got and you got Destiny up there going back and forth with Fresh and Fit trying to defend this dude and he's sitting up there looking like he's waiting for he's, he's getting ready to watch a rerun of the rockford files or a fucking <laughs> gun smoke <laughs> like he's he's sitting up there looking like a freaking like he should be in a home like bro yeah. you know, man, man. I was, I, I, like i said it when i reviewed this channel i was like man this dude couldn't tie my motherfucking shoes you yeah. think that <laughs> rollo fucking tomasi can sit in a fucking room where either one of us on his panel. It's too easy. Like, this motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. A lot That's of why he didn't I want would, you there. Would, That's why he didn't want you at the event. Right. Bro, I would destroy him. I I would literally eviscerate him because I know what his background is. I would start calling out names and I know he would smirk because he would know exactly who I'm talking about. I right. guarantee you he's read the game. I guarantee you he's read he's Mystery all Method. Yeah. I, I guarantee because his freaking... Yo, his book, the what is it, the rational mail? Right. Mail, yes. It's basically a carbon copy of all of that shit. They yeah. came around the same time. So yeah, I mean, all of that is is what it is. I think the the funny thing is though, like I said, he ain't manosphere. He ain't no. red pill. I no. think he is like you're saying, he's a PUA. Yeah, and he just dressed the shit up to uh manosphere only because fresh and fit. I'm gonna say that shit. That's the only reason why he he he's on this side because before that he was not on this side. He would call out anybody that was Manosphere, Red Pill, MGTOW. He was anti all of that. 
And now oh. he's trying to, I don't even, I don't even know if he say he would be Manosphere, but I just think he's trying to keep himself, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Relevant, relevant, relevant. Yeah, because he wrote a yeah, book called he... the Player's Handbook. How, how the fuck is he a play? When is... Yeah, yeah uh, was that, that, that's extremely offensive. On, man. That he would even write some shit. Like that. Write hey, some he shit. he is definitely anti bitches. This motherfucker <laughs> definitely don't get no bitches. We we know. I mean, I, I'm just saying in general. I I I've uh, I've seen him on panels with uh with some gentlemen before, and you know you you know how you get this like some stroll. You see some shit. And then, like, like what they're saying, they're talking about is beyond me. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, I'm, I've been a man for, I'm either going 45 years. And a lot of the shit they're talking about has no relevance to my life. Like, zero. And if that's the case, what the fuck are you talking about then? Man, like, you, they, it, this shit is wild to me. Bro, they had him, they had him sitting up there on Fresh and Fit by himself. And he's sitting up there looking like um he's sitting up there looking like freaking Danny Tanner or, or fake ass <laughs> Tommy that. Lee. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there listening to him and I'm like, he's not saying nothing prolific. He's he's not nah. like it's it's regurgitated talking points, man. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here we go. Let's keep going. Here we go. That is meant to get so you get an idea of what the fuck it is that you're going to do so that you can become that high value man. Protect yourself. Don't get married. Avoid family creation. That's second. Me. Again, this is over the top shit. Anybody who knows anything about my material, when I throw this out there, they know this is over the top shit. What but else on that list? fucking fire for like, for like douche nozzles. Yeah, like what else besides of it? Like, I don't want to be a douche nozzle, but what else? Yeah, besides <laughs> number three, what else here is over the top? Besides the second. Me. I'll live consistently, okay? Well, what if, like, no, some people say, well, that's vanity, no, right? Molly, there's no way you agree with that, saying well, live actually, consistently. Hold on, hold on. For Rolo, it might be, okay? To be fair, uh, to be fair. Already, okay? uh, guys, see, here's the thing. But you're but, missing, like, you're, are you not hearing anything he's saying? Like, see, do, you, do again, you need to blindly agree with him? Because no, 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 nothing he's saying is making any sense. Bro, it's not making any sense to you because you don't understand the fucking concept of the tweet. That's why. <laughs> you can't even thoroughly Did you understand what I, okay, let me, let me hold stop here. Did you understand what I was saying about Brandon Carter? Yeah, I just want to point out uh, about Ma uh, Myron is he's trying to keep from not saying that because this is boy. He know this nigga full of shit and he know he fucked up and they both looking at him like you believe in this goofy shit and he, he got his hand to his head like my boy didn't fucked up. I don't want to say he fucked up. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Oh shit. And he got that hood on. He got that hood on. Yes. He's completely hiding who he is under that fucking hood. And I just want to point out how, how how he didn't have that hood on at the beginning of the debate. Well, you go. I, there, you, there you go, Greg. And I want to point out hood. how Fifty pointed out your your sexual perversions with the wolves and shit. He ain't had no problem telling you you was fucked up with the full body <laughs> costume, Steve. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That. You got niggas that tell you the truth over here. Hey, that 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 hoodie might as well be the cloak of invisibility. Because <laughs> he, he, he's trying to fade into the shadows like Homer Simpson into that bush, bro. Like <laughs> he's trying to hide. Like, this is bad. Yeah, he's trying to hide. He like, I don't want my face on none of this shit. And my voice, he's gonna be like, that's AI. That's AI. I, I don't know. I don't know how live they didn't know that this was so damaging that it would it would it would hurt their credibility. I yeah. mean, I think as a businessman, you know what's damaging your company. I, I don't know how you just don't see it. How you dude, didn't see it? I know he popped. This is an unscheduled appearance. Rolo pop. He asked to come up, so and he see, wasn't even on the show. And yeah. see, look, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. When I first saw the clip, right, I saw the look in Destiny and Sneeko's eyes. They're trying to take him out to pasture, bro. Shit, like. They they latched on to him like a like a couple oh, of real. like young lions onto an old ass lion, <laughs> bro. They, yo, he said yeah, yo, they were they they are on him. They are yeah, on him. Neck. And oh, by the way, they was debate. Sneeko and Destiny was debating at the sh on the show. Mm. They were supposed to debate each other, and they were debating each other the, the entire show. They and just teamed up. And they said shit like he said, a young two young one, one <laughs> powers. Was like, oh hell, they was like, what? Oh, we ain't gonna let him come up here. Yeah, we gonna come. Up here. <laughs> here we go. To pieces. All right, here we go. Doesn't do his laundry. <laughs> no, but he's taking everything to this extreme level. Like to a lot of guys, Brandon yeah, Carter. Yeah. Okay, would you agree with me that Brandon Carter is a high value guy? Sure. Okay. You know who wouldn't? Ben Shapiro. You know who wouldn't? A lot of other people because they think that they're living out their own high value ideal. Do you understand that? Context. 
like the 350 pound esports player who's no. living out his ideal of a high value man. Yeah, whether or not that's working for him is is irrelevant to the fucking tweet. When I say, okay, when I'm talking about Brandon Carter, you say you understand that. He's taking it to like this extreme level. I was just not hard 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 like stay on top of like his for Brandon Carter. What do you think Brandon Carter's definition of a high value man is? Probably the same as mine. Which is Are you determined by society. If you have respect from your community, then you are a high value person if people respect you. So, so being, being pro social and having people like you and, and you know, depending on the, I know you don't agree with him because it's daily wire. Bench I don't, give, I don't give a man. fuck if okay. nobody <laughs> like me or not. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that either. I, 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 who, so it would be, you know, people in the community like you. Who gives a fuck? Let me tell you something. I ate some shrimp and grits today. Not motherfuckers like, a lot of motherfuckers don't like it. I don't give a fuck what people think about what I do. That's all off top. That's not very manly if you give a fuck about what people think of you, dog. Mm -hmm. that, that has to stop immediately. That also. Because that's where you know, as a man, you care about if that woman fucking likes you or not. Right. And that tells you right there what type of person exactly. you are. If you quoting shit like that, you care if this woman fucking likes you. You care about her opinion. You, you see a bitch talking on a fucking 30 second clip and you believe every single word that she says because you think she's telling the truth. You just automatically feel that way, dog. It's wild. I'm on, I'm on a touch. Okay. So, okay. So let's just say for sake, let's say he does. He said so. You don't think Ben Shapiro is a high value man? Let's take for do I think he is? I don't think he's a high value man. But Wait, what, the, now what is his definition? Sense. He owns his own business. It's like one of the most successful alt media platforms in the world. He's married, right. he's fucking young sweetheart. Right, right, right. You know who else is not a high value guy? Elon Musk. Let's see. Uh, who else? Uh, Jeff Bezos. What's all you got to do is just go. All you have to do is look at the decisions they've made in their personal lives. Okay. How are we going to define that? If I'm going to define that, know, by you haven't. You're the only one who no hasn't idea. defined it. Yeah. Because I I'm not the know. one defining it for fucking Jeff Bezos. I'm not the one defining it for fucking. Uh, what's his face? Ben Shapiro. Whale can think she's a ten as long as that's how she defines beauty to herself. You're well, like, you, just, you guys so just so define. So you guys. Well, hold on, wait, Sneeko. Uh -huh. You just define Brandon Carter as a high value guy, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that fits your Andy definition Wong. of a high value guy. But I will tell you right now that if that would not fit the same definition that say Ben Shapiro would have for a high value guy, because he's not, he doesn't have his babies on point. He doesn't have this on point. He's not, he's not so, like, he's not going to, to a church or synagogue okay, every can, day, can, right? Can, 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 so, can we talk about this shit for a second, Steve? All this shit is heteroflexible shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Because all these dudes are saying, well, he he thinks this about high value man shit, and and I don't think he would be. But do you think he would be? And to me, all this shit is some hetero flexible shit. Like dudes is really sitting around pointing to dudes. Like to me, he is a quote unquote high value man. But to me, he's not. And I'm like, why do niggas give a fuck about all this goofy shit? Right, right. He named it's names. Goofy. Right, Ben Shapiro. Like I think, like I said, man, Ben Shapiro cooked that cooked his ass. And he owned Ben Shapiro for some reason, or Elon Musk, or I don't even know who's who he's naming. Crazy. Jeff Bezos is not even high value. I mean, it's getting comical at this point. Like anybody who's looking at this, and you could be a fan of Rolo. I really don't care. You know, I run my show, but this looks bad. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that could defend this shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm, you looking, I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, they they defending it though. They're defending it, and I'm like, man. I mean, listen. We all fuck up. <laughs> we're not perfect. We're on we're on these streams for days and days in a row. Every now and then we might say some shit that is like, all right, maybe. But most of the time we are we have a conviction about what we're saying. So we don't fuck up this bad. But when you're selling and you're trying to pander and you're clout chasing and you're dick riding and you're doing all this shit, then what you are saying when you try to defend your shit, it don't work. Because you'll never catch me on none of the, none of my channels looking like this when no. they say. Defend the free agent lifestyle. What? Oh, I got it. Okay, I wrote the shit. <laughs> but 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 that tweet is more like I said, it ain't him. It was him trying to hey, say, Hey, Greg, you said somebody's out here defending that? They defending it. Fresh and fit. They, they, they got well, their I, I, I think they was just trying to help the homie out. But even hey Steve, we cool and everything. But if 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 you say something crazy, nigga, Ooh. like you on your own, my nigga. I, of course. <laughs> hey, my nigga. <laughs> 
Right. My nigga was out here about to, you know what I mean? You, you trying to smash uh, lions and cows, nigga, earlier. Nigga, I wasn't with that. <laughs> so I, hey, so you my nigga, but I'm like, hey, hey, yeah. hey, nigga, you on your own, nigga. I'm, I'm, that's a part of manhood, though, right? That's part of manhood, right. 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 You know what I mean? You, you right. gotta, you gotta be able to defend what you say. Stand on You know that. what I mean? And stand on that shit. And you gotta mm-hmm. die for that shit, dog. Like, yeah. what you believe in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, right. like, right. yeah. Here we go. Here we go. To him, he's not necessarily a high value guy. I don't so think it's what is synagogue has to do with high value. That's like he, that's the way that other people would define it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but is that true? Guy, it's not value is not subjective. When we talk about value, it's we're usually market. talking about some sort of exchange in a market. No, no. Value is usually what are people willing to do or give the, for okay. a certain thing. It's okay, not, see, it's not I, defined. See, real quick, I'm sorry. I, I got to stop it one more time. Value is subjective. That's value, and, and I say that. Because you have people that are very shallow. So to them, what they consider value isn't what a person who has more depth to their character considers value. So just value in and of itself. Like an, an example would be this. If a woman says, I just want to get married to a guy that got that makes six figures. To her, that's value for her. So it value most definitely is subjective because a woman can do it with a dude who's a good dude but she never sees the value in that dude because he can't provide an opulent lifestyle for her. So it, it more definitely is subjective. But well, their value well, is based off of some pussy. I'm sorry, man. Well, their value, just real quick, their value is based off pussy. Do uh, we like I say subjective? Every motherfucker that's on here, all of us, all five of us, we don't give a fuck about these bitches like that. We don't give a flying fuck. And they see us as valuable. I'm sorry, Angry Man. Go ahead. You got it. No, nah, I was going to say, um, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Zag, but just watch how Destiny make that shit sound fucking... You feel what I'm saying? Like, look, here's the thing. This is why it looks bad. Because Rolo is calling himself the Red Pill Godfather. Jeez. I don't know where the fuck that came from. <laughs> but the thing about it is you got Destiny up there who is definitely not Red Pill sounding more Red Pill than you. Mm. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it looks bad. That's why it looks horrible. Like he's getting dismantled right now, bro. Mm. Yeah. All right. We go. Blue blue hair motherfucker. Man. Blue hair. I'm an island with the no value. Value. No, this one over right. your head is the idea of being high value. You're, no, no, you're... there is no idea of being high value. And if it was anybody else on the show, you guys would be roasting the fuck out of them for saying that's your yeah, idea you of would. being high value. You would be roasted if any of the girls come here because you do this to girls all the time. She goes right, like I think I'm a ten. It's like why? Because I'm so special and blah blah blah. You say you're not special. I just gave know. you Brandon Carter as an example. I just I gave you a Brandon know. Carter. I gave you. Like, we can use any exam, any single example you want. You could be the f- five hundred pound guy who just does esports, or can be like Brandon Carter or the top G. Yep. Any one of those guys, the thing I'm still applies. Now. All right, look, look, look. look are look, you look. better I'm off? Are work. you better I'm off work. without the obstructions? Are you better off without? Are you better off without the bad? Everyone better? has. Everyone here has kind different. of a different thing. Like me, I've defined it. This is what I think makes you high value. You might have a different take on it. You might roll. You might. Have- now, before this motherfucker opened his mouth, because like you guys, Donovan Sharp got rid of me, because I called that motherfucker out, told him he ain't got no game. And when I saw him, we going to have a talk, because he was talking all the shit. So this motherfucker was at, you remember, Greg, this motherfucker was at the, the 21 convention a few years ago in the audience. So whatever the fuck he says, high value, he ain't got no motherfucking game. <laughs> Nigga ain't got no game. Fuck. I'm sorry. Here we go, man. Fuck that motherfucker. I have a different take on it. I've defined it, and then I took my interpretation off what you said. If you want to get these things, and it makes sense to me, those things that you listed. But I'm seeing here that everyone here kind of has a hot, different interpretation. Wait, of that's it. not true. All four of us probably roughly agree on no, what we don't. high value. No, we don't. The three of us probably. Ben Shapiro do. said yeah. you, you said have high value. I don't think you, I don't having think he is. like some amount of like physical fitness. We all agree that that's decently valuable, correct? On some level, yeah. Okay, having some amount of like social status. So you've got the attention of a lot of people and you're influential. We all agree on that, right? I mean, I don't having understand of, none of this shit, my nigga. I, I'm confused as to what the fuck <laughs> what is that, nigga? Yeah. This, this is this is um this is unbelievable. Um the people trying to define something. First of all, I don't even agree with high value, man. I I yeah, never either. Me either. I never did. I, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Right, right. But but they're trying to pin some shit down on on a mythical man <laughs> and then they're trying to put names and then they're they're taking dudes off the list like ben 
Brandon Carter's on, Ben Shapiro off. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, what? Dude, a, like, dude, <laughs> dude, dude be like, the, I'm going to tell you what the problem is with the high value thing. <sighs> the whole premise of it, and this is the reason why there's a problem with it, because when you really get down to the nuts and bolts of it, it isn't based on men defining anything. It's based on how the women view you. You see what I'm saying? They don't agree it, with that. Shit. It's based on how the women, they're, they're never going to admit that. Right. But if you look at the whole list of things, it's something to make you more valuable to a to bitch. Women. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's and the and the crazy thing about it is it doesn't make sense because dudes smash chicks riding on their bike with a wife beat on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take like, care, bitch. Going the into the liquor dirtiest, store, buying some Hennessy. The dirtiest nigga in the hood, if he can't get a sandwich from Subway, he can get some pooch. <laughs> right. You right. feel what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta be damn you gotta be damn near uh uh on the spectrum, don't even know what a bitch is not to get no pussy. Pussy ain't hard to get. Oh man, mm-hmm. even if you on the spectrum and you got some homeboys, they'll still get you laid, bro. Yeah, like you're right, you're right. Some spectrum pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the whole high value man thing is a bunch of niggas that women don't gravitate to on a genuine tip. Like, like I really want to fuck with dude. So what a bunch of nerds did that didn't get no pussy until they was like in their 20s and 30s and shit, they finally got some money and they started tricking mm-hmm. and they started getting attention to women and they're like, I'm high value. I got money. Women are finally paying attention to me. All, all of that shit is, all it really is is for guys to say, I'm not the type of guy that women gravitate to naturally, but if I if I can get my money up, if I can do certain things, or if I can leave with my wallet, now I can get a woman's attention. And and, and what they want to do is separate themselves from, from dudes that women typically fuck with. Because they want to feel like they're they in a special group. That whole high-value man shit, it's a bunch of goofies. Right, but they but real quick they they okay they would say stay away from angry man stay away from Greg fifty you and me because we got street game they don't want they don't want niggas to know about the street they want to keep these motherfuckers book smart and use the same shit they use with the pickup artist thing all that book smart shit but they don't want to teach them they hey the real motherfuckers on the streets that got the game and know what the fuck is going on. Motherfuckers on the gang on the street they ain't talking about no fucking high value because they didn't give a fuck about the bitches like you said, uh, uh angry man. You can wear your wife beater and, and, and ride your little case. Matter of fact, you can ride your bike. The bitch get a flat. You call the bitch up, and she will come pick you up and buy you a new goddamn bike. Mm, <laughs> hashtag will. her they debit will. card Where works too. Hashtag if she paying, she staying. Y'all got it. All right, here we go. Let's see this motherfucker. They, they, they arguing over bitches right? liking you. Him to take of your family, retire if you want to, even at an early age. We all agree with that, right? Okay. And having some level of success with your family and friends. Right, we all we all roughly agree on that, right? Okay. If you have those four things in check, you're probably a high value man. No, it's more than that. See, here's what he's saying. I can add more to it because for me, in my head, what high value is, is way more than that. To you, that might be important, but to me, it's not. That's not everything. What's a part, What's a key component missing from what I said? Is a high value guy the guy that marries somebody from a foreign country and brings her over here so she can get citizenship? Because, because that's your family dynamic. My family dynamic is different than that. Does that make me high value or low value? Exactly. It's going to depend on the, on the person. The if, I'm, if, I'm in, if I'm in a heterosexual marriage for 27 years and not in a polycule or some shit, like it's like some people will say you're high value because you do that. People will say, Rolla, you can't be red pill because you're married. Or you can't be married because you're red pill. OK, it, and suddenly I'm blue pill because I am actually He's in a relationship place, where it's bro. like he close on her and close on, her, on, on her end and close on my end. But if I go and I talk to the top G or I talk to somebody who's like in an open relationship, is that guy high value because of that? I'm not. This is not a judgment call. I'm just saying that the definition is going to be different. Even if you have all those things, even what each one of those things that you just mentioned is still a, it's still subject to the context. I agree with what you said, Destiny. What I'm saying is that from within each one of those attributes, people are going to have something something wildly different. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to use that for fucking blog fodder and topics to. Go- Go and do you know quick hit videos on because they just want you know click through rate for something like that. What would we say about women? If we say what is a high value woman? 
What do you mean? Now it's like again, it's this is like your wheelhouse. There, there is not a such thing as a fucking high value one. Hell no. What the fuck is a high? No. Hey, when when do we start elevating the help? I, I I don't understand these motherfuckers out here elevating the motherfucking help. These bitches are put on this planet to take instructions, but we are we are we are naming high value. I've learned a lot in YouTube. I tell you, I've learned a lot. I knew it was some bozos, but motherfucker, I didn't know it was at this scale. Yeah, no, man. They they out here wild. They be like, this girl, <laughs> they be like, she out of your league. I'm like, dude, there ain't a woman out of your league. There ain't no girl out of your league. Greg, that's, that's fact. Like, ain't no woman out of my league. Are you serious? Like, there ain't no woman out of your league. What, what, oh, what the hilarious. fuck are they talking about? Got, they, they, these dudes got their egos attached to women, right? Oh, and I get it, man, because there's a there's a level to it. There's a level to it, right? Right? Because, you know, in their world, every woman validates them. So every body count they get. They they feel more validated, yeah. You know that that because I, they started late. I have no idea, but they scrambling right now. No, nothing they are saying is making sense. All, right, well, let's find out. All over the place. Here we go. Your chance to steamroll. I don't think you understand why fucking wheelhouse is. Quite honestly, I don't <laughs> think you do. Shit, isn't that what you do? Your so name you should is know, for like, rational high, male. Yeah, a high value woman is. I, I don't talk about high value women, dude. I keep talking. In fact, if anything, I say there's no such thing as a quality woman because it's an ideal that guys have in their heads. There's no such thing as a quality woman. No such thing as a quality woman because guys have this. I, the, the quality woman is an ideal, but we, I mean, we can talk about that when I get there. But the thing is, is this is like when you're building a relationship or when you have this idea in your head, you want to know why guys get into so much fucking trouble in their marriages It's because of that ideal. Because every guy, every guy who ever got married thought that she was the best fucking thing in the world. Otherwise, he wouldn't have got married to her. And then until he gets the across problem. the divorce See, table from is, her. Now this is how you get people telling themselves when they speak. When when men talk like this, you know this is how he rolls. He's rolled like this forever. So what he's doing, he's, he's saying this is what men do. But really what he's saying is this is what I do. This is what I've done. So this is what affected me. So I'm going to tell all you motherfuckers because I I don't know how to uh, uh, take charge of my shit. I, I love this woman going in this relationship. She, she was everything I needed. I and now it. he's pandering. This motherfucker is pandering to the fresh and fit audience, like you said, Greg. I would have told I would have told Rolo, look, bro, you ain't got a lot of kicking. Yeah, there you go. You, you yeah. sound like he sound like the dude that ain't never did nothing in the street. But every time you see him, he talking about, yeah, man, I was at the club and I threw 20 bands and yeah, I'm about to go pick up 10 bricks. And like, man, look, just stop lying. Just be you. Tommy, yeah. like on Martin. Like there you go. Job. Yeah. That, yeah. Just be you. Yeah. Because just be you like I, if you if he was a nerd, if he was a, if he was a dude that was a lame back in the day. OK, cool. It is what it is. You can grow into to whatever type of man you want to be. But this whole thing, this whole act where he's like pretending like like there's nothing about him that says I was a cool dude. Well, <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. I mean, but but I think where he, he he could bring it home, he he could save his old life if he just if he just said, I'm a happily married man. Yeah, there you go, Greg. There you go, Greg. Gotta be high value by showing you that I can make marriage work and blah blah blah. But Greg, that's a contradiction, my brother. Because if he does that, then he kills his own arguments. He's got to fall on the sword. He got to fall on the sword then. This shit ain't working, though. This shit ain't working. He's afraid. I tell you, he's afraid. He's afraid. This is what it is, right? He's afraid he's gonna lose his audience. Right. Oh, that, that's a fact. That that's a fact. I mean, yeah, but look, he can, he look, he's 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 I don't know, he's he's end of his 50s right now, right? Yeah. He could save the rest of his life not fucking with fresh and fit and trying to clout chase by yeah. switching up. He could switch up now and go, "Hey, you know what? I was a player and I was a rational male. Now I'm a I'm in love no, with my wife and we're going to ride this shit out." He was never a player. Not, see, I know that. I I'm, I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> That's some look, that's some next level game right there. Because look, yeah, here's the thing with him. 
he could do that. He could pivot. Pivot. And it would work for him, but there's only one problem. What? He's he's too afraid to take the hit. He's too afraid to take that hit of when he first initially loses the audience he has now. But he'd rather do this time to gain the new audience that he's gonna get. He don't want to get him hit. now, though. He already look, but, but you know, man, as men, when we mm. try to avoid the hit, the hit worse when the it hit, hit come in. Anyway. Oh man, it's, it's coming, coming too. Anyway. It's yeah. coming. So the hit coming, he taking a hit right now because he's a facade. He yeah. he's fake. He's for gazy. So it, he should have just flipped. He should have just flipped now. He should just pivot right now. He should just yeah. say fuck all that shit. He should That's lean right. into it. it. Lean, he into should lean into it. it. Like what, he should what, just be like, God, what does Myron do though? What, 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 what Myron this, do though? But this is what he could have did. It, it would have he would have ruined his relationship with Fresh and Fit. But this is what he could have did and saved face. Yeah, he could have said, "Well, I don't know what y'all complaining about. My shit worked." <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> he could have just leaned into that shit, bro. <laughs> Right, yeah, but he's like, fuck what y'all talking about. I got, I got, look at what I, I got. got. I'm I good. Got all that shit. I, I, I got a family. I got a wife. I got, I got children. I That's got a family. Right. Y'all niggas That's don't. That's why you blue hair bitch. I did it. <laughs> right. I did, I did everything none of y'all have done. That, like you said, he should lean into that shit. And you know yeah. what? He should be like, you know, the red pill shit. That was my ride. Uh, but it's time, it's time to uh, show you, show you how the high value man wins in the end, which is fine with me. Look, you got marriage, you got family, you got kids, you put through college or what? I don't know what the fuck, but that's where your lane is now. And it's time to pivot. He need to leave me alone. He need to leave everybody alone, fresh and fit. He need to get rid of that shit because that shit is dead. I mean. But then he can't be the gatekeeper no more. He won't be the godfather anymore. Where's my, See, where's my and, 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 he, already, he ain't now. And he, he, he knocked him off already. And that's what he wants to hold on to. Mm. Well, that's that's, that's hey. like that's like we learned. We thought there was such thing as a Santa Claus till we learned our parents fucking had the toys in the fucking closet type shit. Hey, Steve. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey Steve, we can't you can't take it from him, bro. He's hanging on to that shit <laughs> the same way he's hanging on to that ponytail, bro. Ooh, shit. <laughs> you know, you know, he don't know, but he he got to go to the beauty supply store to buy scrunchies, nigga. <laughs> this is a bitch ass nigga right here, bro. Here I'm sorry, go. nigga. Any, any nigga to wrap it up like he about to give some fucking dome. <laughs> I know you, man, you, man, you a player. You know that. You don't. You know when the bitches get to doing like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, from whenever, you, don't, you genuinely don't think that there's quality women in the world. I don't think. I think that there are there are women who have different attributes than others that match very well with this uh, with nigga guys. Mary sure, they're good talking clicks, like this, course. bro. But the thing is, is like the idea of the quality woman is an ideal that guys have that gets them into a lot of trouble. That's why they're in love with the ideal, not the actual person. Well, That's there are high value men, but there aren't high value women. I'm not saying that there are, I said there, there, there aren't high value men and there aren't high value women. Okay. It's, it's, it, it just depends on who we're talking yeah, about. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, bro. I don't even know what the fuck yeah, we're talking about. With me. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Sneeko. Like, I'm lost. There isn't, there isn't, but he just said there is because he made the list. So now he's saying there isn't. He just said there isn't. This is tragic. This is tragic. He just, I mean, he, damn, this is a meltdown of the century. Oh, my he, 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 he's exposed. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is. I mean, I, I mean, people be like, "Why don't you debate him?" I'm like, "What?" Looking at this shit, I'm like, "Man, I'm like, gonna need a moderator here." This is like, this, I don't know what are you talking about? This is like watching the last episode of Game of Thrones, bro. Oh, oh yeah, shit, it's tragic. <laughs> he should do. He should do. You know, how you get your ass beat on Madden. And all of a sudden, mysteriously, your internet drop. He should just fucking drop his internet right now. Bro, hey, 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 50. Y'all remember when we was teenagers, we would have them little tournaments, and we would play the video games, the nigga would get mad because they losing and unplug the shit. Unplug the shit. He should hey, fucking, he, he should lose all internet connection right now, dog. It'd be, it'd be in your best interest. Hey, 50. Yeah. He should start a sentence and then just pause in the middle of it. <laughs> like the damn screen froze. Up, 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 and just pop out right and fall out. Here we oh, go. Shit, yeah, I get what hilarious. you're saying. But once I feel you like get... I need to do mushrooms before I come on this show. That's what it feels like, the kind of conversation we, we, we are right now. No, no, you know what it is, Destiny, is you don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. No That's why. On any of this, and I'm surprised because you write about this all the time. You wrote a whole book about it. People, they really respect it. And I have and no you guys, idea. You guys might be confused because I'm the one that says there's, there's no such thing as a high-value woman. A woman that's high, high, A woman gets her value directly from a man that she gets in a relationship with. 
because all women have value, but not all men have value. All women don't have the same value. Did he say all men don't have value? He, 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 he said all women have value, but not all men have value. I never. What? What, what is that? that? I've never heard no shit like that in my life. I think he messed up. I think he meant to say something else. Yeah, maybe he. Maybe he missed. He uh, said something else. He started off. I thought. I don't think that's what he. Wow. Don't even He's think about. It. You know wow. that's not true. If I give you a woman with a hundred bodies and a woman with zero bodies, if I give you one that's five hundred pounds, if I give you one with five here, kids, so here's yeah. my thing. Okay, here's my thing because I've said this before. I know oh. men must become and women are. I know yeah. you're about to do this yeah. speech. No, no, but I'm just saying there are some that. women that are better that. than others. I wasn't going right? to say that. Of, okay. course, yeah, of course. But all women have value to some level, but not all men have value because men have to build their shit up. So what I'm saying is that oh my that's, God. Oh that's my God. that whole ass nigga shit I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> see, did, see I, look, and I know, like I said, man, I, I don't know like a lot of this little common kinds. I didn't know about the one thing I do know is real <laughs> motherfucking man shit. And one thing I I've never heard this saying in my entire life. A motherfucker telling me like men have to build their fucking value, my nigga. This is when you Uh-oh. know you struggled in life with 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 just everything that you've ever thought you represented, my nigga. Like I've Uh-oh. never understood any motherfucker that don't believe in himself to know they got motherfucking value on their own. Nigga, I used, to, hey, I used to have a motherfucking mattress on the floor, nigga, when I was 22 years old, smashing bad motherfucking bitches. You understand me? Mattress Chronicles. Nigga, you know I didn't even have a mattress, nigga. I had an empty apartment because I moved out and I told some chicks I met, hey, come to the crib real quick. Nigga, we ain't had no blankets, nigga. We ain't, it was just carpet burning, burning nigga. Fuck nigga, burning. I was 21, God, nigga. Man. I had a bottle, nigga. I, I, I had two bags. Uh, of of bottles, nigga. Uh, uh, that we that that I this, I told this bitch, hey, come pick me up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, 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 get these bottles up. I'm gonna get some money off this shit. This bitch picked me up, brought it over to the recycle place, got my little money, came back, and she rolled me backwards. This this what this what we did. <laughs> these motherfuckers out here don't understand, my nigga. You know what I mean? Well, here's nah. the thing. Here, here's the things. They're they're only basing a value on what women think about them. Yeah, that's so what it is. That's, that's, that, that's, that's the crux of the pro- that that's the problem. Now, if that's if that's what the belief is, then he's right. But I think I'm the shit without women validating it. Right? At all. At no all. Has to oh, go no doubt. No, doubt. Go no, doubt. no woman has to say, you know what, you the shit or not. You know what I mean? But a lot of mm-hmm. dudes aren't. Are, a lot of dudes don't have that. A lot of dudes got to be like, okay, in order for me to get her, I got to build these things and then now my ego's attached to what she but not but most guys aren't understanding you got to take your ego away you got to take your ego away from women yeah but see, right. this is this is what's crazy this is what's crazy about this right in the first godfather movie luca brazi said may your first child be a masculine child hmm. the reason why he said that is because a dude had value the moment he was born a son had value the moment he was born. So, like, I long time ago, oh, yeah. that was like extreme value. But, exactly. but you, know, you know why? You know why I am? Yeah. Men are natural born leaders. The problem is that the modern day male doesn't want to lead. That's the problem. But as men, we were made and built to lead, it's just doing our upbringing. A lot of dudes get sidetracked for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? And we, we can name all the different reasons, single motherhood. We can name all the different reasons why. You know what I'm saying? But but for whatever reason, a lot of guys, like, they think men and women are equal. We're not equal. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Now, now, we could be equal in the workforce where we make right around the same amount of money. But in the home, we're not fucking equal. And I think a lot of guys, they think that, and this is why they... uh they, they give up or they relinquish their power as men to the woman because they want to keep the woman. Well, men can't be men. Men and women can't be equal because men, men um, make too many sacrifices. Right. right. Well, I, I agree. I, I, I don't know what equal is. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. High value woman gets her value from being with a high value man. I don't even think that's true. Because all women, all men have value. The, to some the extent. metric of success for a female is being able to get the best man that they can get. And men can build and do things in places like China, where you have where you're limited to the amount of children. What mm. do they do? They opt for boys. 
because they could go out and work and, and fucking get jobs and shit and do things around the fucking house or whatever. Right. Yeah, and, the fucking 1980s. The one wild, the one, the one child policy hasn't been around since the mid nineties, dude. Sure, but when it was, it was grossly favoring the birth of boys because you could do more with boys than you could with women. Just the idea that, like, that, that was a prescription and until they, and now, and now they're, and now they're facing the consequences of that. True. Well, so is Japan. That's a super I mean, homogenous. That's, that's blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, you're using China, but let's be honest here. Where, why does it say women and children off the boat first, mm -hmm. not men? Well, women know, have it's always a had. Thing? Wait, wait, no, yeah, it's a shivery no, thing. But, but why is that? Because if you have. 100 women and one guy you can still continue society but if you have 100 men and one woman we're fucked There's women so are vulnerable have, sex and men are the disposable yeah, sex yeah, that's why women have value inherently so what, what i'm saying is this is going for, on ever, since every woman has value for a woman to be high value she's got to be able to lock down a high value guy there's a reason why women take a man's last name and not the other way around but, but women, wait pause they, it for a second pause it for a second and see look this is where bullshit. this is where bullshit. this is where i couldn't be on the show because i would have pointed out to myron number one Having more of something doesn't make it valuable. Mm. Mm. Having something be mm. rare is what makes it valuable. Yes. So the fact mm -hmm. that you can take, if you take a hundred women and and um one man, the man is valuable in that situation. You understand what I'm saying? Because the one man can produce a bunch of children. Wow. But if you have one woman with multiple men, that woman is not she's still not valuable because like, like the shit he said, he said it. I get what he was trying to say. I get where he was trying to go, but he's misconstruing where the value is located. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, what he says makes sense. I'm not gonna, that that's a good point he made because the, the, the timing of it. Right. Yeah. Um, hundred, like one man can impregnate all hundred women and now we got a hundred babies. So he's saying that. Right. But I, I get what you're saying too. He's saying the value still belongs to the one guy. He's still yeah. way more valuable to him, to to them, even though there's a hundred women that survived and they got the safety. And yeah. only one man survived. He's the most valuable. Yeah, he's the most valuable. They can definitely stomp his ass out if they wanted to. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Each other and hug. The first thing they ask typically is, "Oh, do you have a man? Do you have a relationship? You Tell me about your kids, etc." When two men meet, what do they do? Shake hands. What do you do for a living? Men are judged on creating value. Women are judged on creating children. I don't ask Typically. niggas what now, the fuck they do for a living. out there that chase success and making money, whatever? Sure. What the fuck are they talking about? That is the main goal of a female. The main goal of a female from a biological sense is to procreate. For a woman to procreate, she's got to be with a man. Typically, they want the best guy. For a man to procreate, he's got to create excess resources to be able to attract that woman. We're, so that, that, That's not true. That's, 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 that's the other thing, too. That's the other thing, too. The woman's value is not in just creating children her first fucking value is act like she got some goddamn sense mm. now compliance that cooperation and submission exactly that's the problem that we have in the day is that the women are just on some they on a whole other program well you know you got bitch ass niggas giving push gifts you right I mean? well, that's crazy well, yeah i mean like just like a woman being able to produce kids that's not enough. That, that doesn't make. I, I always tell people that does that doesn't make women unique. And I'm not trying to take child uh, birthing from them, but 80 percent of women that already lived that they procreated, right? So yeah. not only that, it's it's a very easy thing to do. They don't even have to think about it. But what they do need is the seed of a man, yeah. right? Without that, they can't create a goddamn thing. I don't care. Just tell mm -hmm. her the thing. She ain't create nothing without that man seed. Then once the seed is planted in there, the man has to provide something around her to protect it. She, if she was out there by herself with my seed in her belly, she'd be eaten up by the saber tooth tiger, alligators. <laughs> I still have the value. Yeah. I still have to produce something yeah. for her, even when I impregnate. And, you know? and I always say too, we're we're the only ones walking around with life in us at all times. Out like all time. living living life. Yep. They don't walk around with living life. Right at all, they are the incubators of the life we've given them. That's we it. We are the creators of life, and whenever I hear these men are here praising all oh, these women, all oh, you know, you got to give it up to the Mother Earth, to the mo these mothers of the world, and like I'll be—I don't think these men understand their value. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's wild to me, man. Right, 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 right. Well, it's different, and what I would argue—I don't disagree with any of that—but yeah. there are high-value okay. women. And they're probably a high value. Man. I think a woman's only high value. She could lock down a high value guy. That's my take. Okay. On it. Well, at least you have a definition. That, for that's it, my, yeah. Sure. That's my definition on it, which again, I see all of us here at the table have different opinions, which is great. 
but that's my take on it. Like with a high value man, a high value. I mean, no, no. I mean, what, what, what you want me to say is, is a woman who has a low body count, who is, uh, you know, a, a girl from the Amish Dutch country in Pennsylvania, who's never, you know, known another man, doesn't have any social media. I mean, there's, there's a lot of ways we can go with this, but again, it's, I, Oh, there you go. And those yeah. are ideals. Okay. Yeah, the other ideals is, are important because ideals are what we strive for. An ideal is the whole thing. And, the and those ideals are also what lead us astray, which is why this list is fucking useful. That's ideals why. Ideals lead us astray. Ideals lead you into a better oh, life. That's the whole point oh, of an ideal. It's the best version of yourself. This, You're never going to be the best horrible. version of yourself. This is but the path bad, to being the best this version of yourself. Every guy who ever horrible. thought he found his fucking soulmate who ended up on the opposite side of the fucking divorce table from her had a fucking ideal about that woman. Sure, and every man that <laughs> dies happily surrounded by his family who had a long... Oh, yes, I know. The, the pastoral scene with everybody fought, well, yeah, we're surrounded by his family. You know what? You you know that like 90% of the, like, the population in the United States doesn't die I like that they actually die in assisted living and nobody knows about it until the next morning okay as opposed to you who was tweeting about dying this, 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 I'm gonna I'm a keep it a band bro I, I know what I know what it is now he fucking has a terrible life he hates life mm. he has not had great experiences in his life so he is upset at anyone with an easy life and what he's trying to do it's kind of like you ever heard that term? I know, I know, we use it with women a lot. Misery loves company and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of company, and he and he's. This is where he lives at. He lives in that misery. Everything he says has to do with the negative. It, it, it's never great yep. experience, never none of that because he hasn't experienced that. So I, 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 I know exactly who this man is now, dog. Well, he you got to remember his life. He's married. And he probably regrets getting married to the woman he got married to. I mean, he probably yeah. hates his life and shit. There's a lot. Although, he's, that, although he chose it, he hates it. Well, you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know about his life uh, that de that in detail. But I can tell that he's losing this argument because every three words is a curse mm -hmm. word. Yeah. I'm in out there. He. I'm like, boy, yo, man, you boy, you drowning. I've never seen nobody drown like this and just you know just give Blue. up. The Blue. Mouth. Blue. Him up. He did. He and and he brought some shit up. Like they they forgot about him, and then he actually took the opportunity to come back in. And he was like, "I know, I know you want to do this." And I'm like, "Man, you should have just shut up and stayed over in the corner, man." Because now they're gonna get a chance to roast your ass again after Myron distracted it. That is a fucking fantasy. Let me hit these chats real fast. We got another show coming up. We got another show coming up. We're going to go through this real fast. Get out of there. Because she happens to have no body count. She's like 100% in love with him. And I mean, I can go and rattle off all these extremes. And you know who's going to disagree with me? Every fucking guy in fucking Daily Wire is going to disagree. Say what you really think. Don't say it ironically. Say what you believe. What I'm saying is what I believe here, okay? This is the whole thing. It's the point of the fucking tweet is that it, it, it's your fucking definition of what it is. You keep That's saying that you said Ben Shapiro. You said Ben Shapiro is not a high-value man. So you must be comparing him to some standard in your head. You said Bezos is not a high-value man. You said Elon Musk is not a high-value man. So there's some standard in your head that you're comparing these guys to that they're not matching up to. What is that standard? Right. Well, let's, let's, all, all you would have to do is look at their personal lives so you could understand this. Oh, Again, do I have time to go and uh, enumerate all that? No, I I don't but if you go oh, and you look at what they're doing like oh, look at okay look let's just use elon musk for a sec for a second here. Yeah, let's use ben shapiro that was a good example ben shapiro no yeah, we can look at ben shapiro how did he meet his wife do you know how he met his wife what did they go arranged, like, right was it an arranged or family friends i don't no, know you know basically what ben shapiro did was he, he wore this chick down over the course of god knows like three or four months right he would he would meet the definition of stalking and, and being a creeper on the if he wasn't ben shapiro right if he didn't have this his background in three to four months what does that mean Basically, he what he, um, he, he wore her down is what he did. He's and he's very proud of that fact too. Yeah, okay, hold on, real quick. You seem to have a problem with this. When somebody asks you what is X, and then you go, "Well, it's X," you're not really answering the question. You've done this like three times. What when you say wore her down over three to four months? What does that mean? Did they date? Did he see her after school? That mean, what that means is he kept he was persistent. He just kept wearing her down over <laughs> over course of time. <laughs> Bro, that's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I, you know, I will send, you, I will send you the fucking. I will send you the video. I will. Let, let me, the video. These dudes are embarrassing him. Can you pause it? They they are embarrassing him. Okay, yeah. as, as as goofy as, as he sounds, 
there are women who do deal with dudes because they're like, I may as well. He the only one coming at me this hard. Okay, you know, but that I'm fucking, you know they fucking me and bouncing. He the only dude trying to come at me this hard. So women do settle because they feel like they got worn down by a nigga. That do happen. Right. But he's got Am I the a, only one that think this shit? No, nah, he got a personal vendetta. This is personal. That's why, because you know why? Because the people who roasted him the hardest on Twitter were was exactly who he's naming. So that's why he's going in on him. Um, he's pissed off at him. Just just to be honest, I, I saw the tweet on Ben Shapiro's platform on Twitter. That's how I saw it. So the reason why he okay. keeps bringing him up is because Ben Shapiro torched his ass on this tweet. Just to be fair, that's the only reason why he's coming up. And now he's okay. calling him a stalker. Right, and that yeah, he called him a stalker, and he he didn't get the girl, and he was a high value, and he and he wore her down. That that's the only reason he keeps bringing her up. Just so just so we know. All right, cool. What's what's up? So for everybody okay. listening, y'all yeah. got context to why he's talking about what he's talking about. I don't even know who Ben Shapiro right. is. You, could, you guys should have viewer Collins more often. It's cute. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And you should send your OnlyFans girls to come at me to uh, debate me in your proxy next time. I mean, we're asking to debate you right now, and you can't <laughs> even. Yeah, except next time, time please find the girl who actually puts lenses in her fucking glasses. <laughs> a little weird. You're so triggered, dude. Are you okay? Not very rational. I think. True. I think uh, oh, he should, his six month like, will be the emotional male. I think everybody is. I would consider. Damn. Tear his ass up. Oh my god. Fucking the most all time. All time collapse. This is worse than the the Chargers and the Titans last year. This is worse than the goddamn Falcons and the Patriots of the Super Bowl. Oh my god! You know, all this is worst time performance of a. I mean, this guy he he, he, he caught up the rational shit. That, that, that was kind of dope. They threw that in there. He threw that in there. The emotional mail. Oh, <laughs> all right, here we go. You're a bench bureau high value guy. I would. Person. No, everybody but, would obviously. Uh, but wait, yeah, you disagree with the, on it. with the grandmaster, the Godfather, the great great granddaddy <laughs> of the Red Bull. The great great granddaddy, nigga. <laughs> God, oh nigga, I, you had to, hey nigga, you had to kiss my face, nigga. <laughs> At some point, you lose and fuck it. We just gonna fight. I would have got on the chair. I would have got. Hey, I would have pushed that chair off. Man, I'm, I'm getting on a plane. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be in Brickell, Miami. Hey, oh my god! Oh, yeah. It's a great, great granddaddy of the manosphere. Yeah, yeah. Blue is a savage. He hold just, on. Hold on. And, 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 and he's not a dummy either. You know what I'm saying? He, he's well. Oh, oh they gotta hurt on. He's the great, great granddaddy of the manosphere. Hey, yo, for the record. To everybody that's watching, that tried to say, "Oh, Angry Man and Destiny had a debate." Destiny ain't say none of this wild shit. No, nah, he wasn't. He, he, he didn't say none he of didn't that. Do none of that crazy nah. shit. He's Damn. going in on this dude. Oh my god! It, they know they got him cornered. And it's, they know it's, they got him cornered. It is Destiny though, and with blue hair, the blue the hair liver is roasting you. The blue yeah. hair bully. The blue hair bully. Cheers. Any any man with blue hair that have no bass in their voice and call me the great great granddaddy. God damn. damn. We, we, had, look, we had a respectful dialogue. <laughs> this man is roasting the shit out of Rolo, bro. <laughs> well, 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 I am because he respects you as a man, but he don't respect him as a man. Yeah, here that's we go. really what it comes yeah. down to. See that? Yeah, here we go. Myron, Myron, would you would you agree with his uh, outlook on women? Uh, with Ben Shapiro's outlook on fem- on women? Yeah, he, he, Ben Shapiro has literally come at you for exactly this. Ooh, for yeah. everything that these that these guys are talking about, he's come at you for exactly the same thing. Yeah, so you guys did a full show on this. No, no, for sure. I disagree with him on uh, as far as like the female stuff. Like, oh yeah, that like having sexual experience isn't is, is like bad for you. Like he was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think objectively speaking, from Chris. the things that I listed as far as what I think makes a guy have value, he has all those things. Now, he's limited on his knowledge of females for sure, right? Because I think he only See, got Chris. with one girl, and hey, you know Paul, she comes from a certain Paul, family. Paul, Paul, she comes from a family. Paul, and a certain. Hey, so, Paul, do you see fresh? He tell him to cut this shit off. Is he? Yeah. Re- rewind it about. Oh, rewind it a bit. oh shit! Rewind oh. it. Fresh, tell him to cut this shit off. Oh, cut. Shit. Watch. Hold on. Let's go back. There we go. Let's Watch see. Fresh. 
I emotional that before, mail, I think. I think because I, I would consider Ben Shapiro a high value guy. I would. Yeah, no, everybody but, would obviously. Uh, but wait, you yeah, disagree with the, on it. with the Grandmaster? He, the he Godfather. Yeah, he the, the great, great, great grand. Watch. He tell him. You don't think it's trolling, man? Grandmaster. Would you, Myron? Myron, would you would you agree with his outlook on women? Uh, with Ben Shapiro's outlook on fem- on women? Yeah. He, he, ben Shapiro has literally come at you for exactly this. Ooh, for yeah. everything Ooh, that, these, that, that these guys are talking about, he's come at you for exactly Don't the same fall thing. Don't for it, yeah, so, You guys did a full show on this. Yeah, so no, no, for sure. I disagree with him on uh, as far as like the female stuff. Like, oh, yeah, that like having sexual experience is, isn't, is, is like bad for you, like he was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think objectively speaking from the things that I listed as far as what I think. All right, you see, he kind of leaning over. Somebody tell me yeah. to cut and pull the plug. All right, here we go. Watch him. Watch him. Right, he's got high value. He has yeah, no, no. all those things. Yeah, right. Now, cut that shit. he's cut limited shit. on his yeah, knowledge of females shit. for yeah. sure, right? Because I think he only got with one girl. Damn. And, you know, she. Oh, like, damn. Be like, cut this shit. This shit ain't going nowhere. We yeah, done. Don't realize, hey, don't nigga, you're taking our bag. He think they got the camera on Myron. Yep. But he like cut this shit. Oh, he like, hey, Chris, get about it here, nigga. Dude, the engineer in the back. He like, man, just blue cut hair, blue, blue hair body. This nigga with the ponytail. Yeah, yeah. That's she it comes from a certain fan type. She comes from a fa- yeah, dude, family yeah. and a certain yeah. family. I don't want to say because we're on YouTube. But, <clears throat> but I think that set her up. Yeah, Cha-ching. That set her up to be a girl that would be to his liking. But the point I'm trying to make is, I think Ben Shapiro is a high value guy, but I don't agree with his stances on women. Them. Same thing with with Steven Crowder right now. You guys were just talking about Crowder not too long ago, like like right up until he got this divorce and all this stuff started coming out and Candace Owens and all that shit. Guys, but I don't know. would have said he was a high value guy Crowder until now. I, I think they're high value guys like Crowder and Ben Shapiro based on what they've accomplished in life. But I agree, but I don't agree with their standpoints right. on. Rolla thinks that if he disagrees with them, then they can't. Be- <sighs> You guys are so, yeah, like, go back to fucking Twitch. Just go back to Twitch and start playing games again. You have no fucking point. There's no point for either one of you to be on this fucking show. Quite honestly. Dumbledore has spoken. Because here's the thing. Oh, my God. Did he call him Dumbledore? Oh, my goodness. He called him Dumbledore has spoken. I mean, Is that what he said? That's what he said. That was what Destiny said. Dumbledore has spoken. Uh, and he tried to... Go here's ahead. Thing. He, he doesn't want to... He's telling them to go back to Twitch and play games, but it's like... I mean, if you're watching this, Rolo, you don't want to have a conversation with guys on this side. Mm-hmm. Right. So who do you want to have a conversation with? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, people that mimic him, probably. Here we go. What, the, <laughs> the traditional conservative beliefs don't necessarily work in today's sexual marketplace when it comes to dealing with women. No, we agree. But that's the reason he thinks Ben Shapiro's not high value because he disagreed with you on relationships. No, I'm, what I'm saying is that that well, yes, I, I would actually agree with that simply because. Okay, so there's he, a point. Does, he, that, okay, does does Ben Shapiro does Ben Shapiro the way his life what his disagreement with you does that then at least in some way diminish him as a high value man? No, we can disagree. I disagree with that. I'm, asking, I'm, asking, I'm asking Myron. I mean, because it's Myron who says, "Yo, well, he's a high value guy," but like describe that he disagrees on the traditional relationship. If you're like money, if you're like money, muscles, and game, okay. In this case, it's the it's the. Yeah, uh, it's, really it's, say, it's a Steve, can, can you pause it real quick? Can you pause it real quick? Did he really say money, muscles, muscles, and game? And game? Did, he really, did he really say that shit? Yep. Yep. He said money. This, this is corny to me. This yeah. is crazy. There's a reason why that. It's a reason why I'm not letting the YouTube doors, nigga. This is corny hey, to I'm everybody. Too raw, nigga. I'm too raw. Go. My question is, like, if if that was the if that was the barometer. Why is Rolo Rolo? Mm. Well, he's not really Rolo. That's his fake name. He took a. He's, no, that's his name. Yeah, but but does he have either one of those three? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, ah, uh, there you go. Uh, like, there you go. Just take a look. I mean, he. He's right. Hard to, he's it's right. hard. To say. The money thing, I can't. I don't watch pockets, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. But the muscles in the game is definitely not that. So he ain't got, the in the game. He ain't got no undershirt on. So what motherfucker got beads oh, around his neck. <laughs> Don't get me started, my nigga. Don't get me started, man. No game. Nigga had no a game. denim coat on on his bare skin. <laughs> and you know that's early 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wild nigga right there. Shit. Man, I gotta bounce, man. Yeah, me too, man. It's like yep. all right, man.
Peace. All right, Greg, we appreciate you, man. All right, Greg. Lead them furries Peace, along, Steve. Lead them damn furries along. Nasty right, nigga Greg, right there. Greg going to send me an email talking about, yeah, you're right, Steve. You're right about that furry shit, dog. I get you. All right, so. <laughs> I'm going to fuck with y'all, though, man. I got to get up out of here, man. But I'm going to catch right, up with y'all. Yeah, we're going to catch up. All, All right, right man. man. All right. Peace, peace, out, peace, 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 man. peace. We appreciate you, angry man, dog. Peace. Come right, on, peace. man. We got love, respect for you. And, and peace, Zach, peace. thank you very much. So we go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Y'all take care. Thank you, angry man, so much, man. Hey, 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 hey we know about the furries, angry man. We good. Yeah. No, we, we, we understand each other. So, dog, yeah, we appreciate you, dog. We, we love you. Got more respect for you. And we thank you very much, brother. Okay. So, yeah. Word, we, I, I'm sorry. I bet y'all fellas, man. Appreciate you. No doubt, man. All appreciate right. the angry, the motherfucking angry man with the cigar, with the loving. All right, all yeah, all man, right. he's the man. All right, guys. We're going to wrap this shit up, guys. We're going to holler at